Okay, so it was a little bit of a slow start. Break in the middle of 2012 when he was sober. What happened? What happened? He told to X speed? That he was hitting you in 2012, though. Is that right? He was hitting me in 2012. He just took a break in the middle. Thanks so much, Xia. I left the last of Reddit and now I'm subbing he here. Thank you for your you, content. Right? He did. And you told them that Mr. Depp was in and out of sobriety in 2012. That is correct. You told the jury then to quote, in 2012, I was in the beginning stages of this, just learning these patterns. I was learning that drinking kind correlated with the violence. End quote. Is that right? That is correct. So it was during these cycles of violence in 2012 that you gave Mr. Depp a knife as a gift. I gave him a knife, um, I think for a birthday present early in our relationship. I believe it was around 2012, but I'm not certain. We see a picture of that knife, but I think we should bring out the real thing. Master Deputy Alusa, Master Deputy Sheriff Alusa, may I please have you chat, show the chat, knife chat, to chat, the chat. Ten when it starts, okay? Ten when it starts, like the actual uh, live. Yes, uh, we'll probably come back and watch. That's the knife you gave to the man who was hitting you, right, Mister? I wasn't worried he was going to stab me with it when I gave it to him. That's for certain. But you gave it to him while he was abusing you, allegedly. I gave it to him that year. Master Deputy Sheriff Lisa, will you please show the knife to the jury? Thank you. <laughs> this is the knife you gave to the man who would get drunk and violent with you, right? This is the same knife that I gave him as a present in 2012. Yes. Now, Mr. It is play, it's just funny to be the way he's doing it. You testified that at some point during the incident you described, you witnessed Mr. Depp bashing the phone against a wall, right? That is correct. You testified that the phone was breaking into pieces. I was watching it disappear. And Mr. Depp smashed it, I think your word was smithereens. Yes, that is correct. And according to your testimony, this was a wall-mounted phone in the bar area. That is correct. Let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1820. I believe this has already been admitted into evidence, if we could have it published. Slow down. No. Thank you. You saw this photo during your direct examination, right? That is correct. And you testified that the wall-mounted phone that you saw Mr. Depp smash is on the wall on the left. That's correct. So if you were looking at this picture, the wall-mounted the wall -mounted phone would have been behind you on the left-hand side of your shoulder. But it's not depicted, depicted in this photo, correct? Whoever took this photo standing right in front of where that um, mounted phone was. It's convenient. Um, the pieces of the phone Mr. Depp smashed aren't in this picture either, right? You don't see it because it's whoever took this photo standing in front of that. Whoever took this photo, it's Mr. Interesting. Benjamin, correct? Interesting. That's what I believe. Yeah. Mr. King testified under oath in this trial, right? Well, that's correct. And he testified that there was no wall-mounted phone smashed in the that he had to replace, correct? I didn't hear him testify to that, no. It's too fast. Yeah. Your counsel elicited it. I disagree with that representation. We also saw this picture. Actually, can we please bring up Defendant's Exhibit 1821, which is also admitted into evidence? You also saw this picture during your direct examination, correct? That is correct. And so this is the bar area to the right of the wall-mounted phone you just described. If you were facing in that direction, if you're facing this direction, it would be behind you. This phone on the counter isn't the phone that got smashed to smithereens, is it? No, they brought that out um, during my testimony in the UK as well, and I said this in the UK trial as well, that that is not the phone. Obviously, because that one's not smashed and it's not wall-mounted. Yeah, they already know so this. The there, there was a wall-mounted phone. I don't know if it was decorative or what, but it was white, like it looked antique, large and antique. And, and what the large and antique one that's not depicted in any photograph, including ones you took, is the one that Mr. Depp damaged, correct? That is correct. I only took pictures of the mirrors. Is it back live? So there's already? no picture of that damaged phone. I didn't... Why am I getting shoulder? It's 15 seconds, dude. 15 seconds, dude. We could have had valuable information in 15 seconds. Dude, now, now I have to look at this fucking blue screen for eight, eight, six more seconds, man. Clock. Yep, clock. I, th I, th I think it's not. It's time to add yep back. Jerry. Okay. Wait. It's still two X. No, I'm just kidding. I want to add yep back. Fuck yep. Yep is search trash mode. I'm not, I'm not standing up. Today I'm breaking all the rules. Nope. Today I'm just gonna be a rule breaker. Is what it is. One bad cheddar is all it takes. One bad day is all it takes. Alright, thank you. You'll be seated. Alright. Your next question. Thank you, Your Honor. 
Ms. Hurd, you've testified repeatedly that you were concerned about Mr. Depp's substance use during your relationship, right? Yes, that's correct. And, but you weren't concerned enough to stop using drugs and alcohol yourself, were you? That's correct. I did not use drugs when I was with Johnny, like in his presence, aside from the times I testified about with you. So you weren't concerned enough to stop using drugs and alcohol the times you've testified to in front of this jury, right? As I testified to earlier, I took drugs um, in Johnny's presence on those two occasions um, early in our relationship in 2013. So you never changed your own behavior to support Mr. Depp and his sobriety, did you? I did a lot of changing to support his sobriety. I tried everything that I could possibly think of. But you drank wine around Mr. Depp on a regular basis, correct? I did drink wine. And you took Mr. Depp to Hicksville to do, quote, laffy drugs like <laughs> mushrooms, end quote, right? That's correct. And you testified that despite what supposedly happened in Hicksville, you decided to take MDMA with Mr. Depp on a plane to Russia in June of 2013, correct? As I mentioned, those are the two occasions. You testified that this was the last time you would make that mistake, right? That is correct. And when asked if you would ask Mr. Depp to get you MDMA in Australia, you said that was, quote, ridiculous, right? That is correct. Because you had learned your lesson the hard way on the plane to Russia. Russia, yes, that's correct. So hard that she did MDMA uh, again. Um, yours and Mr. Depp's wedding in the Bahamas was in February of 2015, right? That is correct. Just, so that would have been after the Russia flight. Yes, when I did. That was my um, argument too. When we had mushrooms on the island for my hen party, my wet bridal party before. We were not with Johnny. I was not with Johnny at the time. It was your wedding with Mr. Depp on the island, right? To be clear, we were both on the same island. We just weren't around each other that evening. We had kind of separate parties, a bridal party and a groom's party. And, and your wedding was a month before Australia, correct? That is correct. And you arranged to have drugs at your wedding, correct? Uh, like I said, we had mushrooms um, for my bridal party beforehand. On the island for your wedding? Before the wedding. On the island? On the island, yes. Okay. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1262? Oh, what is 1262? I don't remember 162. Is that... What is that? 1262. This is an email you sent on February 1st, 2015, correct? I remember 1... one. That is correct. Uh, yes, that's correct. Okay. I'm going to move to admit and publish Plaintiff's Exhibit 1262. Any objection? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, please. What is 1262? Dude, 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 dude. Stop with the drama shit, dude. I told you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys I'll, I'll, we'll do it later, okay? Dude, you, uh, you guys act like you're not drama Andes? I'll do drama afterwards. Two, two, three, one at a time. I'm trying to watch this shit, man. Christ, man. Holy, dude. Holy, dude. Do drama now, fours and angry. Holy shit, man. That hoodie is gas? What does it mean gas? Is that bad or good? Gas is good? Okay, good. Cool, man. Yeah, I like it. It's my brother, but it's my brother and his girlfriend that chose it. No masks, lol. Listen, man. Listen, man. Just choose your dude. Choose your battles. Dude, I I I want to be a a a, a Kikon Andy. Uh, choose your battles. Your Honor, if we could please have what Miss Hurd's email published to the jury. All right, twelve sixty two in evidence. Twelve 
This is a schedule for your wedding weekend, right, Ms. Hurd? No, it's not. It's a proposed draft of a schedule. It ended up being quite different. Do you that. see where it says 7 p.m. rehearsal dinner? Yes, I see that. And the next item on the list says, quote, after dance party and drugs and music, end quote, right? <laughs> that is correct. So you plan to have drugs at your wedding to someone you characterize as a drug addict? To be fair, we were going to have parties, as I mentioned. So a bridal party before this, the schedule ended up changing quite a bit. And this is a draft, clearly, that was sent before there were a lot of changes made. The bridal so party. So your original and idea, Ms. Heard, Ms. Heard, your original so idea was no, to not. have a rehearsal dinner with your husband, the drug addict, the monster, um, and then do drugs with your girlfriends on the island after your rehearsal dinner. I realize that's what the email suggests, but that wasn't no. A plan. It's not what it suggests, Ms. Heard. It's what you said in that email. Right, but what I'm trying to say is that the schedule ended up changing. We ended up doing the little. So your original as I idea it, was to do drugs. Before. After. Yeah, your idea, original idea was to do drugs on an island after your rehearsal dinner to the drug-fueled monster that you were about to marry, she right? The, the, as the email suggests, there, were go there was going to be weed on the island. This does not reference the cuddle puddle that I just referenced to you. Is it broken? You like to do drugs on special occasions, right, Ms. Hurd? I have before. And, and you did drugs again for, for your 30th, 30th birthday, birthday, right? That, that is correct. That was a huge mistake. Your 30th birthday dinner was on April 21st, 2016? Yes, it was the day before my birthday, correct. And you testified that Mr. Depp was running late to the celebration, Chad, do not correct? get twisted. That do is not, correct. Do not do drugs. And you asked Mr. Depp to bring you alcohol when he arrived. Is that right? So the utility closet where we kept the wine was right by the elevators. <laughs> and I also told him he could bring in a joint. I wouldn't bite his head off if he did. So that's a yes? That's correct. I, I told him I wouldn't be angry. Let's look at Plaintiff's Exhibit 1263. Your Honor, I'm going to ask to show, first of all, this one hasn't been produced. This has not, it's a brand new trial exhibit, so I don't have it. I'd like an unredacted copy, and then I'd like an unredacted copy to be shown to the witness. Sorry, do you have an unredacted copy? We can, we can make one, Your Honor. Okay. Your Honor, may we approach about all this? Right. Approaching again, approaching again to get it going already. Oh, the sun is blaring in his face, dude. Chat, do not, guys, guys, do not get it twisted. Guys, I get it, Chat. They talk about drugs very openly on, on, in this, okay? But don't do drugs, seriously, though. Seriously, I want to make a meme about it, but you shouldn't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Drugs are, are, are mostly unsafe, and even though um, a lot of drugs don't have a, a, a direct and immediate uh, neurotoxic effect or negative e effect on your uh, physical form, uh, but sometimes the, the, uh, the uh, negative uh, mental things that can stem from it uh, are, are subtle and sometimes not so subtle, and they happen for various reasons to different individuals based on things that you cannot control or cannot know about. Sometimes some things can happen to you that you don't even know can happen and they do. And unfortunately, you're stuck for that forever. So don't do drugs. Do not get it twisted. Yeah, and, and instead, um, don't do gambling either. Only I can do that because I'm a hypocrite. If it's fun, well, a lot of things are fun, but um, a lot of things are bad too. A lot of things are bad for you. Let me give you an example, okay? Let me give you an example, okay? See, you see the drug that they, they talk about, like MDMA or whatever. See these drugs on paper, on paper, at certain intervals, they are not neurotoxic and they don't really do much physical harm, right? So. In the in the realm in, in these realms, they could be considered safe or whatever. But these are psychedelic substances, okay? That 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 impact your mental 
and 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 your 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 psyche. Okay. So then, so then, yes, that, that is, yes, that is true. That is true. That is true. What I just said is a factual statement. Okay, I know my shit. Anyway, it's not a second to like you. Okay, I think you need to stop the making chat. That's just brain dead. Stop. Source, trust me, bro. Shut up. You're an idiot. I'm literally correct. I'm going to show the unredacted messages to um, counsel for Ms. Heard on a laptop because I don't have a hard copy. Okay. Yeah, could, could we, let's just pause for a minute. I don't want to see it. What's that? Okay. No, I had to see it because um, I had to like, oh, dude, like, ah, fuck it, dude, fuck it, dude. Uh, I'm drugs, drugs, that, dude, dude. MDMA, cocaine, out the wazoo, ketamine, fucking injections of fucking heroin up my butthole. And it's like, dude, you know, like, yeah, it's funny because they, they kind of talk about it like, very openly. Okay, but, you know, don't do it, man. It's, it's dangerous. Okay. So, Ms. Heard, I'm only going well, to... Your Honor, I'm going to object to asking questions while I'm looking at this. No, if you could give her a moment, please. Sure, thank you. Man, she's being annoying. I'm only going to ask her about text messages on the screen. Man, she's being really fucking annoying. That's just how it is. You're a piece of shit, you're not allowed to make these takes. Thanks. Okay, true and not true. True and not true. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Okay. Okay, let's see it. So it's any objection 1263 as redacted? No, no, Your Honor. All right, 1263 in so, Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Heard, directing your attention to the plaintiff's exhibit 1263. This is a text message that you sent to Mr. Depp, correct? That is correct. And, and you sent this message to Mr. Depp the day you had your 30th birthday dinner, right? That is correct. And you write, quote, hey, baby, bring up something to drink and or a joint. I'm in if you are. See you in a minute, question mark, XX. <sighs> Did I read that right? <gasps> that is correct. Oh my god, a weed? Not a weed, dude. And then the oh next day you god. went to Coachella and consumed MDMA and mushrooms. Right, Ms. Heard? I, I did. Yeah, she candy was not there for that. Right. Let's talk a little bit more about your 30th birthday. You testified about this incident multiple times, haven't you? That is correct. But yesterday you told this jury that you were not called upon to provide a detailed accounting of all physical and sexual abuse by Mr. Depp until February 2020, is that correct? I testified that I had not been able to do so until February 2020 in uh, uh, outside of the context of a cold deposition. Actually, I, I misspoke. February 2022, this year. Right, sorry, I, I did the same thing you did. Okay. And you did, some, you did that, that in something called an no, interrogatory. Is that correct? The interrogatory response was the first time that I could do that outside of the context of being asked the certain questions in the deposition. And, and you testified about your 30th birthday in this interrogatory, <laughs> correct? I believe so, yes, yes. Nonetheless, you testified to a new detail about your 30th birthday for the first time in this courtroom, didn't you? Uh, no, that's incorrect. Huh? Sexual assault, no less. 
I had just not placed when that happened. I was never, I was never sure if that was the same time that he did that on the night of my birthday. And I maintained that as well in my deposition. You told this jury that the evening of your 30th birthday dinner, Mr. Depp, quote, grabbed you by the pubic bone, pubic area, end quote, end quote, pushed you down, right? That is correct. This detail isn't in your interrogatory response, is it, Ms. Heard? That detail is in my interrogatory response, yes. Let's pull up your interrogatory response. If we could please bring up. Oh, my God, dude. Um, Ms. Bredehoff, thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, generous. Honor. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You know she's about to go down when they ask the, the other attorneys for the fucking book, book, book. Dude, binder that yay big, dude. Four stacks of papers. Holy shit, dude. We can go to your interrogatory responses at page 57. These are signed under the penalty of perjury, correct? That is correct. And you testified again to this jury that this was the first time you were given an opportunity to write down everything and include all your evidence, right? That is correct. Okay. So let's go to page 57. She's got the binder, it's over. The Bible. At the top of page 57, Johnny and I were not in a good place. The, the, I begged him to make I like this guy's again. eyebrow. That? Oh, sorry. That is correct. Okay. So, starting on page 57, you start describing your birthday dinner, correct? That is correct. All right. On page 59 of your interrogatory response, you write, fourth paragraph down, Johnny grabbed me while holding me down, and I remember him asking me if I thought I was so tough. He asked me three, four times up close to my face, you're so tough. Are you such a tough guy, huh? You think you're so tough. What are you going to do now? I stood up at some point after getting off the ground. Do you see that? That is correct. And then you write after, I remember crying, I remember feeling exhausted and frustrated, and it hit me, meaning the realization of how sad it was that I was going to wake up tomorrow on my birthday without him. That's correct. Okay. Where in this interrogatory response, Ms. Heard, you describe Mr. Depp, quote, grabbing you by the pubic bone, pubic area, and pushing you down. On page 64. Where? Page 64, uh, one, two, three paragraphs down. Johnny grabbed me once, did this taunting thing on the side of the bed in penthouse three. He grabbed my vagina and held me there, asked me if I was so tough. You're not describing what happened after your 30th birthday? I am. I just had not prescribed it to that date with the limited evidence I had at the time. Only in the course of looking at the evidence, preparing for this case, have I put those two pieces together. But I've always said what happened. What, the evidence? Well, the evidence, it's, it's her testimony. You were upset that Mr. Depp was late to your 30th birthday, weren't you? I was. You knew Mr. Depp had a scheduled business meeting or a money meeting that evening, right? No, I knew he said he did. I didn't know if he had one. Addicts lie all the time. So you didn't trust him? I took it with a big grain of addict salt. Okay. And Mr. Depp texted you that evening to let you know he'd be late, correct? Yes, he did text me at some point. It was a big deal to you that Mr. Depp was late to your birthday dinner, wasn't it? Yeah, it, yeah, it did matter to me. And you were upset he was late. I was. I was hurt. And when he finally did arrive, you felt, quote, invisible to him, right? I did. The day after your birthday dinner, you and your friends went to Coachella to celebrate your birthday. Is that correct? That is correct. 
You made a video driving to Coachella with your friends, didn't you? That is correct. I'd like to pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1264. Oh, and no. For the record, Your Honor, this only has um, music without any words on it. Well, it's Again, driving. It's a new one, so I'd like a copy of it. It's Let's going to be. Is she going to drive while Kenny flipping it? That's, ins that's, that's incredible. There, there is no sound other than a Can song. You yes, sure. Uh oh, it's coming, is it not? Uh oh. Addict shit? Well, I don't think they're addicted to these substances uh, in, in that regard. Uh, I, I, I think said drugs that they're talking about have a very low rate of um, uh, addiction and whatnot. What do I mean? Um, it, it just it just means on, on the on, on the scale of, of, of addiction, these these aren't like bad, bad. Stop talking. I'm tr I'm trying to give you actual uh, factual information. How do I know? Because I know. If you wanted to fact check me, go fact check me on on the on the on the scale of addiction. These aren't too bad. Saying addicts, when it comes down to these substances, it doesn't make sense. Okay, then, okay, then, then you know what? You, you want, you, you want, you want, you want to play Any like objection? this? Any objection? No, Weed is probably more addicting. If we could please publish this to the jury evidence yes, with a sound. Oh, oh, now you're molding. This is not a bad video. Let's see if it's this lagging. is a video you made when you drove to Coachella with your friends for your 30th birthday, right? That's I'm correct. I'm not quite not, sure which one of video. us made the video, but that's correct. You're featured in that video, driving. That's correct. And oh. it's set to the song Miss You by the Rolling Stones. Is that right? That's correct. That was a message for Mr. Depp, wasn't it? No. That's ridiculous. You consumed drugs at Coachella, didn't you? Yes, I did. You took MDMA and mushrooms at the same time. I, I did, yes. And it made you feel sick, right? I felt horrible, yes. So you left Coachella? Yes, that's correct. You testified yesterday that, yesterday that when you left Coachella, you left with, quote, your entire group. That is correct. And you were, quote, never alone with Starling, right? That is correct. You weren't anywhere near him? Not alone, no. You sat here when Starling Jenkins testified that he collected you from Coachella when you were sick, right? He picked up my entire group. And Mr. Jenkins testified, quote, I collected her, got her in the vehicle. She didn't want anyone else to know that she was sick. Take her back to the Parker, which I assume was in reference to the hotel, alone. I took her to 7-Eleven where I retrieved hydrating fluids, Advil, and let her have those. Got her back up to the Parker, got her in the suite, and then went back to pick up everyone else. Oh, damn. Wait a minute. You were there when Mr. Jenkins testified, right? Yes, he was wrong. So it's your testimony that Mr. Jenkins is lying. He's just wrong. I don't know what his intentions are. He was just wrong about that. We were a big group of us. I wasn't alone with him. Isn't it possible that you don't remember correctly because you were sick from taking MDMA and mushrooms at the no. same time? No. Uh, I remember everything about that night. Okay. I'd like to play for you Plaintiff's Exhibit 1229, which oh is already in evidence at 1720 through 2128. Um, I did not for it. I actually did not. Oh, That's what I came to figure out. You're not going to call your lawyer. 
stop the process. I don't want to do this. You're not going to do that. Okay, I don't want to divorce. You don't? How which one? I don't want a divorce. I never wanted a fucking divorce. I never wanted a divorce. I didn't want you to fucking go to Coachella without fucking talking to me. Because I left you because you, you were fucking... You fucking haymakered me, man. You came around the bed to fucking start punching on me. Why? She doesn't deny it. Jesus. That's what really happened the evening of your 30th birthday, isn't it, Miss Hurd? No, Miss that's incorrect. Mr. Depp was in bed, and then you came around the bed and started punching him. That's incorrect. Wow. You don't deny that in the recording, do you, Miss Hurd? I'm not having that conversation with Johnny. I'm not denying anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm not having that conversation with Johnny. I was trying to get out of that hotel room. Uh, that was a mediation attempt. That was the recording you just heard. It was us meeting in a hotel. But you're talking about your 30th birthday. No, we're not. And you're not talking about going to Coachella and... Johnny's talking about that. I am not arguing with him about any of that. Right. You don't deny anything, do you? I'm not talking to him about that. Okay. Going to um, publish exhibit or ask that the witness be shown exhibit 1265. Holy shit. This is you and your friends at Coachella, correct? That is correct. Is that a good look for her right now? to admit plaintiffs 1265 and publish it? No objection. All right, 1265 in evidence. You can publish it. There's no injuries to you. Are there, Ms. Heard, visible in this picture? You cannot see any visible injury, no. Okay. Thank you, Tom. The Dawn. Can we shoot a picture, please? Oh, no, it's, it's not published yet. Ms. Heard, you remember during Mr. Depp's examination, a number of recordings were played, correct? That's correct. And in one of those recordings, you told Mr. Depp, quote, I hope to God Jack's stepfather teaches him more about being a man than your fucking, your fucking left nut, end quote. Do you remember that? I do not remember what exactly I could hear of that recording. I remember I heard, heard myself make a mention of uh, Jack's huh? new stepfather or potential stepfather, I can't recall. Jack is Mr. Depp's son, right? That is correct. And I believe that the, I was referencing a marriage that his ex-partner was going to have or getting into, I suppose. Well, that you is were referencing weird. that uh, Jack's new stepfather would teach him how to be a man because Mr. Depp couldn't. Right? I don't recall exactly what I said, but it was something to that effect. Let's listen to some of what happened before well, that's we said fucking that boiled. Uh, to Mr. Depp. Um, if we could please play Plaintiff's Exhibit 397, which is already in evidence. And for the record, it's at 3504 through 3547. And then the next clip is 3635 through 4308. Oh, no, again. Oh my god! Presence, your fucking goodness, your sweetness, all the lies. I yeah. wish I hadn't bought into the months of you being you. I wish I hadn't bought into the promises. I wish I hadn't fucking. 
fucking thought I could have well, kids with you. Well, you are fucking kids yourself. I wish I hadn't bought into any of the lies you sold. Talk about fake bill of goods. Well, You're the biggest baby fucking producer. You're the biggest you. fucking seller of fake fucking bill of goods. Talk about presenting yourself as something. I did myself the fake suck seller of goods. Suck my dick. Goods. Suck my I dick. fucking, <laughs> you, you, you left nothing and I've left suck everything. So suck, suck your dick. dick. Which is probably your next suck. move to this fucking No, I don't want to suck your dick. I don't want nothing to do with your fucking Oh, suck. You need something. Well, go get it, man. Because I need something. Suck. 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 It's not really true, Actually, it kind of is. It kind of is? What about some of you? No, I... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll let you know. Oh, I'm sure she is. For her yoga vlog. <laughs> that fake laugh. That fake oh, laugh is too much to take. No, I'm sure she's... That fake laugh is so, just... so disgusting. I'm sure she's great. I'm sure she's great. <laughs> I'm thinking that you're going to give me some no, of the best performances in no, the world. No, no, you're right. I don't. It's all about performance. It's about performance. How am I? I don't regret. I don't regret. Oh, what else? I don't what else regret. that you do? Oh, come on. I don't regret. Come on. Leave it on me. What else? What else other things do you want to add? Yeah, you to fucking lie to people. You want? Oh, no. I want to know. Oh, yeah. I want to Get out of your Uber's I'm out. kind of waiting. Go get it. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in the Wait, there's no other place for you to run in your 15 other houses to go run? Come on, go be a real married man. Go deal with your shit the way that a man does. Go run to the next house. Every man does. Yeah, go. go run away. I know it's hard to look at yourself. Your fucking ridiculous plan. It's hard. Panic fucking plan. It's hard. It's hard. Screwing everybody else. She's actually fucking nice. That's what I do. You're the most spoiled fucking brat. You got everybody out here almost full, but it don't last long. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. You got to figure it out. You don't have to figure out what you have to offer as opposed to going out and getting your kids out. You're right. That's what I do. Well, yeah. Okay. Let me do this. You're right. Excellent choice. I wonder what we else. <laughs> I wonder what else we can reach for in the last sixty minutes. <laughs> oh no, it was four years ago. You're right. So I'm sure there's other things that you can. Can't... How could anybody That's enjoy nice. that? Good laugh. No, I'm not laughing. Or, uh, no, matter of fact, I'm laughing. not laughing. I'm not. It's oh. serious. I'm sure you can find other things. Oh. As a couple dynamic, I mean. <laughs> I know. I know. And stripping. Yeah. Well, there's always no. that. You can always right. go back. You can write that. a book. Another, you can write a book. I know you can write a book. Oh, is this gonna be good for your book? Oh, should I have you sign an NDA for your book? You don't need your book. Is this gonna be good for your book? You don't need is this gonna be good for your book? Hey. I'll write what hey. I want. I'll write what I want. I have a good idea. I'll be somewhere of your journals. You don't want to sell out or anything. Let's sell you journals. Oh, wait. Hey. Hey, you know, no, yeah, you're not watching. No, no, you're not selling you don't out. Sell out. No, no. You don't yeah, sell out. no one does no. Ju- 21 drunk straight when they're in their 20s. No, you're right. That's not selling out. No. When you're in your 20s, you should really know what you want. Like no, selling no. your journals. I don't, <laughs> if, you didn't, if you didn't know who the fuck I was. You're right. Go sell your journals if you're real non sell out. Five year old. Or, um, sorry, 50. Six. Two. 51. I don't know. It doesn't matter at this point. No. I don't think so. I don't really think so. But you're right. I mean, hey, at least I didn't do, like, a TV show where I was hard for in my 20s. God, that would be, like, embarrassing. Wow. If only I was with someone in their 50s that could point that out to me. Imagine, Mike, you're right. When you play a non-sexualized object. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. 
You're right. You got me. You got me all figured out. I don't even know what movies I've done. You haven't even taken an interest. If only I could be like you. If only I could be like That's what she's trying to sign up. Fucking direct and you trying to like. You're a joke. Spew out your fucking lines. You're a joke. You're a joke. Yeah, I'm the joke in the industry, Amber. I'm the joke. I'm the joke in the industry. I'm sorry, I can't really hear you. I'm sorry. The reruns of all my bullshit are playing too loud for me to hear you. I'm gonna just go and pedal my way back. Sorry. What? <laughs> I heard uh, reruns. Oh, 21 is whatever it was. I was like. I was 20. No one cares. <laughs> You're fucking watching. Watch that piece of oh, shit. Watch that piece of shit. I can't hear you. <laughs> Your jealousy is so tragic. Your jealousy is so tragic. Fucking like thinking that I'm going on a road with a band. I can't hear you. I told oh. Mr. Dip to, d Dab to suck your dick multiple times, didn't you? Yes, I Nobody did. Nobody watches the Aquaman reruns. Nobody watched the first houses, ones either. Right? That's correct. Because that's what he would do when you behave like this, isn't it? Eventually, he would go and stay in one of the other houses. You call him a sellout, don't you? I was expressing frustration uh, about his criticism of my career and how many problems that caused within the dynamic of our relationship, yes. So you call him a sellout and a joke? I called him horrible, ugly things, as you can hear. Sellout. We spoke to each other in a really horrible way. Pretty sure we just heard you speak to him in a really horrible way. You called him a sellout. I just disagree. Right, Miss Heard? Um, you oh, called I, him a sellout, right, Miss Heard? I called him a lot of ugly things. And a joke. I called him a lot of ugly things. You called him a joke on that recording. You called him a washed up piece of shit. I think we both called each other that on that uh, yeah. occasion, yes. Mr. Depp mentions Aquaman, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? Excuse me? Mr. Depp got you that role in Aquaman, didn't he? No, Miss Vasquez, I got myself that role by auditioning. That's Mr. how that Depp works. Mr. Depp says, quote, your jealousy is so tragic. I heard him say that, yes. You were the jealous one in this relationship, weren't you, Miss Heard? I think he was indicating I was jealous of his career. But now you've twisted it to say it was Mr. Depp that's the jealous one. Johnny's always been very jealous when I worked, when I did anything, friends. Yes, he's always been very jealous. Mr. I'm going to ask you to take a look at Plaintiff's Exhibit 120E. This is a series of text messages uh, well, well, between well, you and be Mr. Jealous? Depp. That is correct. Jealous has a, jealousy has different meaning. Um, I'm going to meaning. move to admit and publish these text messages. Um, Mr. Depp's messages have been redacted. All right, any objection? No, Your Honor. All right, 120E in evidence, you can publish. It's true. Jealousy means something that you don't know. with a text message know. from you to Mr. Depp on September 26, 2015, right? That is correct. You write, monster is back, this is him. Did I read that right? That is correct. And then in the next message you write, quote, ran away, first sign of trouble. This is not the man you promised you would be. Did I read that correctly? That is correct. Then in the next one down, you write, promised, swore to me you would be. That right? is correct. The non-monster. Ms. Heard, you're talking about Mr. Depp running away from you at the first sign of trouble, aren't you? No, I'm, um, I'm recognizing the clues at this point when he would run away at the first sign of trouble, often that was a clue for me to know that he was back using again and that we were about to enter the next phase of the cycle. And you describe his running away from you as the monster, right? That wasn't what was a monster. The monster is the man who beat me up. The running away was just a, attached to that. It was a sign, a signal to me as a clue, as somebody trying to put together clues um, that we were entering in the, into that phase. But in these messages, huh? Ms. Heard. The exactly. monster isn't Mr. Depp doing drugs, is it? It was always um, the man who did drugs and beat me up. Yes, that's always been the monster. 
That's not what you're saying in these messages. That is exactly what I'm saying in the messages. You don't describe Mr. Depp being violent, do you? I do not describe that in this text message, no. In any of them, actually. So it's a cowardly monster this time? No. Okay. And going down the page, you write a long series of text messages to Mr. Depp that don't get a response. Is that correct? That is correct. You write, come groan, face the shit, and we can do anything. You go on a little later to say, please come home. Let's apologize to each together. And continuing on page 77, you write, not go to bed mad. And then you say, sound okay? Sound like the priority in the long run? Come home. Don't be the monster. Be the man. Please. Please call me. Please. Continuing on page 78. You write, I don't want the monster. I need my man. I need to talk to you. Please, Johnny. Don't force me to be something else to you. This is taking me for granted and I can never stop before this turns into something far darker. Hmm? Describing yourself in that text message, right? The exact opposite. I'm trying to interrupt him starting a new cycle where he starts using again. He's I'm not trying responding to you, to... Ms. Heard. Yeah, that's why I'm trying yeah. to desperately stop him. Please answer the phone, you say. Doesn't this mean anything to you? And it goes on. And I won't read all these messages, but you're saying, please answer over and over again, right? It was very important to me. I was running out of time and I was trying desperately to stop him. He wasn't with you, Ms. Heard. Exactly, which is how I knew it was about to get a lot worse. He would leave, use, and come back way worse, with way less reality, with more delusions. He'd be more drunk. He'd I'm be gonna more under the everything after I was trying to stop the answer that. Answer to her question. No, no, you're right. She was responding. I'll, I'll, I'll overrule the objection. That's fine. Thank you, Ron. This is a situation where you were trying to get Mr. Depp to pay attention to you. Isn't that right? No, I was trying to stop him from using. And because he ran away from you at the first sign overrule of trouble, you call him a monster. I right? was trying to stop him from turning into the monster. The drugs are the, are the key that opened the door. Who is the real monster in this relationship, Ms. Heard? Lives in Johnny, half of Johnny. It's not all of Johnny. The other half of him is wonderful and beautiful and the man I love. I'd like you to take a look at Plaintiff's Exhibit 120F. Uh, she's, she's trying it. It is what it is. There's another set of text messages between you and Mr. Depp, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. I'm going to move to admit and publish. Any objection? No, you're on. All right, 120F in evidence, you can publish. <laughs> this is a set of text messages and it's from October 2015. Do you see that? Yes, I do. In fact, you sent all these messages to Mr. Depp on October 22nd, 2015. Isn't that right? Uh... And again, I'm not going to read them all, but you start off again by trying to get Mr. Depp's attention, right? You write, please come home. I was trying to stop another bender. You write, please come home, right? That is correct. Please answer. Don't break us up. Please answer. Please. Who's spamming text like that? I, I, I would just block 97, it. You write, give me some piece of your heart. Please, no fight. I promise. I would have blocked her a long time ago. Please. This is how I do it. Uh, no fights. Please, just pick up. Please give me two minutes. I'm dying. Please. And continuing on page 98, you write, Please come home. Please come home, Baba. I am so sorry. Who the fuck is Baba? Actually, you didn't say Baba. You said baby. Apologies. And it goes on. Did I read those correctly? <laughs> that is correct. That was another time I'm trying to stop another twist off. This is what would happen when Mr. Depp would try to take some space from you, right? No, this is what would happen when Johnny had moved into the next phase of the cycle, decided to use, no, and our lives heard, were getting a lot worse at that Ms. point. Ms. Heard, I'm talking about your actions. This is what you would do to Mr. Depp when he would leave you. You would harangue him. I would try Isn't that to. correct? 
You would harangue say, him. Your Honor, at least let her answer the question. Those are interrupting. That's fine. Go ahead and answer the question. Uh, I do not think uh, I would characterize my behavior that? that way. I was trying to stop him from using. You were texting him incessantly. What did Isn't you that get correct, this? It was imperative for my life. It was very important My question is to me. much more simple. What did you get this? You were texting him incessantly. I would yes try or no. everything to Ms. get Heard? a hold of him and so to stop yes. the cycle. That's a yes, right? I would try everything to stop the cycle. It was that important well, to me. Ultimate. And he's the monster for not responding to you. That's not what made him the monster. For no. needing space from you. Sorry. The monster was not the guy who needed space. The not monster was who drugs. he was when he came back. Not for doing drugs, Miss Heard. Not for being violent. Just for needing space. That's when you called Mr. Depp the monster. Incorrect. Okay. Let's listen to Defendant's Exhibit 598C, which is already in evidence. A lot of evidence in this case. Let's not do this anymore because I'm really getting frustrated. And I'm really, really, really sick of this Stop. argument. Stop. I'm sorry. Okay? So let me go, and you go, and I'll speak to you in a couple hours. Okay? Okay? Stop. Okay. Why are you saying stop? Because May I so, go? Please. It causes me so much stress when you when you walk away from me with that. It's like you're, you don't understand how much worse you're making this. I can't believe this. Please, you're making it worse for me. Okay, I'm sorry for you. Please, I'm only trying to tell you. So that you know, you're causing me immense stress right now when you walk away like that. That that is not There's right. There's no reason then. to be mad. Well, then say goodbye. I haven't walked away. You're not saying goodbye. You won't let me fucking leave. Let me leave. Oh Stop rushing me. Stop pushing me in the corner and then poking me with a stick and then saying, "Why are you saying the words you want me to say?" Stop poking me. Stop rushing me. Stop throwing me against the wall. I'm going, what? You don't like that wall? You don't like the fucking wall? Stop pushing me. Remember, I'm not pushing you. I'm rushing you. I said, I need space. I don't want this conversation anymore right now. I need space. And I will take my space. Whether you like Crazy. it or not. Crazy. I will take it. And you will take your space. But if you keep... Halting I'm not doing anything this to you. and continuing I'm with not the continuing rhetoric. It. I'm ble begging you to stop. I don't. Okay, stop. I'm just. I'm stopped. I'm stopped. Now I have to go. Okay? So we will speak to each other in a couple. And that is weird, though. It's, it is rare than in the religion dynamics that yeah, no, sounds like we'll just see when i get home we'll it's redacted. Talk or we won't talk or we you know we'll it's redacted finish this or we won't finish it but this is not well please this is not happiness this is not this please is stop doing this please you're causing so much fucking stress i'm gonna die this eight, i'm gonna fucking die you're causing me so much stress please stop Please, I, I feel like I have a heart attack almost every day. Please stop. Please then, then stop doing, doing it. Please stop. He's so fucking mean. Why are You're you fucking with me? bully. Stop. Please stop. I've been begging you not to fight. I just said, can we please have a normal argument? Just even a normal conversation. Fucking like normal argument. And for the last hour, I've been begging you to please just leave it at that. Let's just go on with our night. I would have been able to come in with you. We would have been able to let it go in a few minutes. It would have been fine. If we just, if we allowed ourselves to have fucking normal arguments. Please, you're killing me with this. You're killing me. You're fucking killing me. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, Sean, could you, uh, please, I, I want you to just go, I want you to take your medicine or whatever. I'm sorry that I've upset you. Yeah, I think, thank you, Sean. I'm ready to go. Thank you so much. I'm really sorry. I'm really ready. Thank you. That's you and Mr. Depp in the recording, correct, Ms. Heard? That's correct. You just won't let him go, will you? That's not true. We were outside of his studio and he wanted to go and use. It was a pretext. The 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 claim that he was upset with me was a pretext so that he would go and go on a bender. I knew that pattern by the time this recording happened. 
Better than deal with this shit, to be it's honest. Is your testimony now that you were outside Mr. Depp's studio? I believe that the he was recording go was... Use? Excuse me? He was going to go use drugs? That's your testimony now? We were outside his studio, his man cave house, if you will, in the car, I believe, during that recording. And he was going to go inside and use? That was the pattern. And as you can hear from my voice, I'm very, very, very scared of entering into the next cycle under under what I had been conditioned to understand we were at at that point in our relationship. That's not true, is it, Ms. Hurd? Mr. Depp was trying to go inside his house to see his daughter, Lily Rose. She might have been over that day, but so that's not your what he was getting now? out of the car to do, and that's not what I was stopping him from doing. Okay. Let's play the beginning part of that recording where Mr. Depp tells you that he wants to go inside to see his daughter. Wait, did it... Was that a bait and switch? Then let's not do this anymore because I'm really getting frustrated. And I'm really, really, really sick of this argument. Stop. I'm sorry. Okay, so let me go and you go and I'll speak to you in a couple hours. Okay? Okay? Stop. Okay. Why are you saying stop? Because May you, you I so go? We'll circle back to this, but it's your testimony that you were outside Mr. Depp's studio. We were in the car. You were in the car outside mm -hmm. of Mr. Depp's studio. That's correct. And he wasn't telling you, please let me go inside my house to see my daughter. He was indicating to you that he wanted to go inside to do drugs. That's your testimony. I know my testimony is that I knew what he was going inside to go do. I okay. knew what stage of the cycle we were in. I knew the patterns by then, and I was desperately out of time trying to interrupt that cycle. Let's go to May of 2016. Oh, it's redacted. Or uh, yesterday, Ms. Heard, uh, Ms. Bredehoff, your attorney, showed you certain pictures um, from May 21, 2016. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Was that a throw? If you could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 710, which has already been admitted in, into evidence. Ms. Heard, you testified yesterday that this is a photograph taken of you on May 21st, 2016. Do you recall? Yes, that's correct. And keeping this exhibit up, if we could please do a split screen, Tom, and also pull up Defendant's Exhibit 714, which has already been admitted with redactions. Ms. Heard, you testified yesterday that this is the photograph that was also taken on May 21st, 2016, correct? Yes, although the one to the right might have been taken the next uh, day. I can't be sure. The reason I say that is because there's light in the background. Uh, metadata? So. It looks like it was taken in the daytime, which means maybe it was the next day. Didn't you testify that you uh, took different lighting, pictures in different lightings that on is, May 21? That is correct, yes. Okay. And, and you're wearing two thin necklaces in this picture on the right, is that correct? That is correct. And you testified that these pictures were taken the same night. The one on the right looks like it was taken in the daytime because I can see the daylight behind me. But you testify that they were taken the is same day. Is that daylight? Uh... Uh, I don't know if I, th I think I testified that they came from the same incident of the same day, not necessarily taken on the same day. Okay. Let's please pull up defendant's exhibit 712, which has already been admitted. Uh, you testified yesterday, this is another photograph of you on the night of May 21. That's correct. And keeping this exhibit up, can we please do a split screen and also pull up Defendant 713, which has already been admitted? Oh, split screen combo. Wait a minute. Ms. Heard, you testified yesterday. This is also a photograph of you from the same night, correct? That is correct. You testified yesterday that the only difference between these two photographs is that the light was turned on. That's what it appears to be, yes. The light is on in both of these pictures, though. Isn't that right? It looks to me like the one on the left has the vanity light, the makeup m lights, you know, the more yellow-hued ones it's that go around the mirror on. And then the one on the right looks like it doesn't have those. Isn't it true you just edited these photographs? No, I've never edited a photograph. Didn't you just enhance the saturation for one of these photos to make your face look more red? Wait a minute! Uh, no, that's incorrect. I didn't touch it. You were sitting Wait, here in this courtroom every hair when Mr. String. Isaac Baruch testified to see you, seeing you the week after May 21, 2016, correct? I was here. Mr. Baruch testified that he saw you on May 22nd 
while you were changing the locks of your penthouse. Do you recall that testimony? I do. I just don't know if he was right about the date, but I do wait, remember him wait. saying that. Testify it was his birthday, the day after his birthday. I believe it was. Mr. Baruch testified that he saw you repeatedly in the days following also, correct? It's, That's correct. Yeah, it's one to one. And Mr. Baruch testified that he saw no marks or injuries on your face, correct? That is what he's testified to. You were also here in this court when Mr. Sean Bett testified to seeing you on the evening of May 21, 2016. Is that right? Um, you were here. Can anybody overlap it as much as That's possible? That's correct. See what it looks Mr. like? Mr. Bett also testified that he saw no marks or injuries on your face that evening, correct? I realize that's what he said. You were sitting here in this courtroom when Officer Melissa Sines testified by deposition about being called to the Eastern Columbia Building on May 21st, 2016, right? I saw her testimony, yes. And you heard Officer Sines testify that she did not see any injuries on you that night, correct? I heard her testify she did not consider this injured. No. Ms. Officer Sines testified that she met with you and she did not see any injuries on your face. Isn't that correct? She did not consider this injury. Ms. Hurd, my question is a bit more nuanced. So is my answer. All right. Sorry. Um, now, what I want to say earlier, uh, before I cut off, is that um, I'm not a relationship expert, okay? But in couple dynamics, uh, from my perspective, uh, it is it is a rare occurrence that uh, asking for a timeout or asking for time or uh, splitting up from a from a from a, a heated discussion is a negative thing. Most of the time, if not the vast majority of the time, it can only be beneficial to take a timeout and take a chiller and to think. Uh, that's just how it is. Unless it's done, it's done uh, maliciously, intentionally, every time, and you have a pattern of it, which could be something like this here. It's like, um, it's usually people that you argue with that just will not let go of an argument unless they reach their conclusion now. If they don't get it, they throw a tantrum and they throw very manipulative loopholes and fucking uh, mental gymnastics for you not to leave the argument, which is a very, uh, down, please. it's very toxic think, and damaging for the confusing the witness. Like I know anything? I don't know what you're doing. My well, question is more nuanced. Nice about that. You sat in this courtroom while Officer Science testified that she saw you the night of May 21, 2016, face to face and didn't see any injuries on your face. Isn't that correct, Ms. Hurd? I believe she was testifying I overlap it? about these photographs, and she said that I was not injured in them. Is it your testimony under oath now that Officer Signs testified that she saw injuries on you when she saw you in person on May 21? Sorry, let me clarify. I was testifying that I know that that's what Officer Signs said, that she didn't consider my red puffy face injured. That's what she said. The red puffy face. That was your counsel's is it? question, correct? Is this over that? That was her testimony in the UK. That's incorrect, and you know that, Ms. Heard. I disagree. It's just inconvenient for you that Officer Science didn't see injuries on you on May 21, 2016. Isn't it doesn't that matter right? what's convenient for me. Right. Officer Tyler Haddon also testified by deposition about being called to the Eastern Columbia Building on May 21, 2016, and he also testified. No injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that correct? They both said that they did not consider me injured. They did not see injuries on your face on May 21, 2016. Isn't that what their testimony was? What their testimony was is that they did not consider what my face looked like to be injury. They didn't consider what they walked on in the house damaged, but it was. You were sitting here when Officer William Gatlin testified by deposition about being called on May 21 to the Eastern Columbia building, and he also did not observe any injuries on you, did he? 
And that's what he testified to. He didn't even know which one I was. No. I think we all saw on video camera you identify yourself. Isn't that correct? I, I had to because of how far away he was. He didn't even know. He didn't even know who he was. But after you see. identified yourself, he looked at you. Isn't the that one you correct? Are. From a distance, yes. And he didn't see any visible injuries either, did he? I don't know what he saw. He testified that he didn't see any visible injuries. That's, so that's literally that perjury. Yes. You were also in this courtroom when Alejandro Romero, who worked at the front desk at the Eastern Columbia building, testified about seeing you on May 25th, 2016. Isn't that correct? How's it not? That is correct. I think he said the 25th. Yeah. And Mr. Romero testified that he didn't see any swelling or bruises on your face when you were talking to him at the front desk. He wouldn't have. No, he wouldn't have, even though he had a habit, because his parents taught him correctly, to look into someone's eyes when speaking to them. Isn't that correct? I know that's what he testified to, yes. You testified yesterday that you sought a temporary restraining order on May 27, 2016 because you wanted to change your locks. Do you remember that testimony? Yes, I do. Those locks were to the penthouses at the Eastern Columbia building, isn't that correct? That's correct. But you changed the locks to the penthouses on May 22, 2016. I attempted to. That's why you felt comfortable having James Franco over the evening of May 22, 2016, Ms. Hurd? I do not know when, I do not know when James came over. Okay, let's remind you. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 304, which is already in evidence, and play from 254 through oh, 439? Shit. Caught in black and white CCTV. Was <laughs> guys, 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 where's the ghost going to appear? Right here. Pause. Michelle, pause. Put the red circle. Did you see it? Did you see it? It appeared for only one second. Did you miss it? I saw it. Oh, wait a minute. Um, madam? That's you and Mr. Franco on May 22nd, 2016, right, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. And you're taking him up to the penthouses, aren't you? That's where I lived, yes. And it's past 11 p.m. at night, isn't that right? I'm not quite sure of the time it looked, it looked like that. Why don't we pull that video back up? <laughs> oh, we can see. Oh, sorry. Twenty-two fifty-one. Almost midnight, right? It's, uh, or, oh, excuse me, almost 11 o'clock at night. Exactly. Okay. You knew Mr. Depp was out of town the week of May 21, 2016, didn't you? Huh? I don't know what I knew of his schedule at the time. You knew Mr. Depp was out of town on May 27th when you went to get the domestic violence restraining order. Isn't that right? I don't know if I knew that at the time. You knew, you knew Mr. Depp was heading out on a European tour that week. Isn't that right? I'm not quite sure what I understood of his schedule at that time. Oh, you please. You knew he wouldn't be back for weeks, right? No, that's incorrect. Let's uh, go back to that recording. Oh, please, dude. It's uh, Defendant's Exhibit 598. Uh, so you testified that you and Mr. Depp were in the car outside of his studio. Is that right? 
Oh yes. no. And you were trying to prevent him from going into his studio to do drugs, right? Uh, yeah, to effectively start another cycle. Right. Not that Mr. Depp was just trying to go into his house to see his daughter, right? His daughter might be one of the people that was in the house at that time, but that's so neither here nor the there. The house? Your testimony is now Mr. from entering a cycle. Your testimony is now that Mr. Depp does drugs in front of his children? Well, first of all, I know he does. Um, second of all, it wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have stopped him from using with his friends, which is the problem, not whether or not his daughter was there. Okay. Um, let's play, please, defendants 598. Well, that was filed. 4948 through 5035. Here it comes. Wait, so is it the house or the studio? Which one is it? 5035. I'm not. I'm itching. I don't want to be doing this. I want it just to, why don't you just say, okay, baby, I understand. I'll go home, and you do your thing, hang out with your daughter, and then I'll see you in a couple hours, and we'll talk about it. Is it that difficult to say that? Or you just fucking hate me, and you want to be shitty about it? Please. Just fucking, it's not that difficult. Okay? I don't want to stand here in a driveway and argue with you. Okay, well, I'll see you in a little bit, okay? Please? Please. Just let me know if you're going to go somewhere. Just let me know, please, so I know. And almost an hour later, you're still arguing with Mr. Depp outside, right? I don't know how long that argument lasted, no. Ms. Hurd, you testified about seeking a domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp, correct? Yes, I have. And how you wanted to do it discreetly? That's correct. That you wanted as much privacy as you could have? Yes, that's correct. And how you walked out to a sea of paparazzi and cameras and photographers, right? That is correct. Chat, try show remote. And how this overwhelmed you? It was overwhelming, yes. Because you didn't want this attention on you? That is correct. If we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 800, which has already been admitted into evidence. <laughs> this is a photograph of you taken inside the courthouse when you obtained the DVRO, correct? That's correct. And your friend Raquel Pennington took this photograph? Yes, that's correct. Because you needed to document your time at the courthouse getting a DVRO? She just took a picture of me. I, I, I'm assuming it was um, in relation to my divorce, yeah. If we could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 801, which has already been admitted into evidence. Ms. Heard, this is another photograph of you taken inside the courthouse, isn't that right? That is correct. Were you having a photo shoot inside the courthouse while you were getting a DVRO? I would not characterize it that way, Ms. Vasquez. You have a mark on your face, right, Ms. Hurd? That's a beautiful. Yes. You didn't use your bruise kit this time to cover it up? No, it was the only day I actually walked out of my house without makeup on. I had to be stopped. My best friend saw me in the bathroom starting to put makeup on and told me not to. Please pull up Exhibit 1. That's Plaintiff's at 1? Yes, thank okay. you, Your Honor. No Apologies. Problem. That's fine. It's already been admitted into yes, evidence. Yeah, I thought her face moisturizer has foundation and she always has it on and she never leaves the house without adding you makeup on. You wrote this op-ed, right, Ms. Heard? With the help of the ACLU, yes. And that's what you testified to in this courtroom, right? That is correct. And this was published on December 18th, 2018, correct? That is correct. She looks like scuffed Jennifer Aquaman Lawrence. was released on December 21st, 2018, right? That is, uh, yes, that sounds correct. And that was your first big blockbuster, big budget role, right? I, I disagree, but it was the first time I had like a, a leading role in a movie of that size, yes. Well, second time, yes. What was your first time? But the first one was the film I talked about before. I mean, yesterday, um, Justice League, it introduced the character. so. You know, technically, it was the second one. But you were the love interest in Aquaman, correct? That is correct. Right. Now, at least parts of this op-ed are about Mr. Depp, isn't that right? It's about what happened to me after. 
You sat here during opening statements when your attorney argued that the context of your statement. You're kidding, right? The first one was the film I talked about before. I mean, yesterday, um, Justice League, it introduced the character. So, you know, technically, it was the second Slo one. Slamina, this YouTuber. You were the love interest in Aquaman, correct? That is correct. Right. Now, at least parts of this op-ed are about Mr. Depp, isn't that right? It's about what happened to me after. You sat here during opening that statements when your true. attorney argued that the context of your statements in this op-ed matter, correct? That's correct. So let's go through some of that context. Friends and advisors told me I would never work again as an actress, that I would be blacklisted. Dude! Statement, aren't you? I'm a, in general, I'm referring to being associated with domestic violence. And you're referring to what you claim happened after you got an ex-party. Guys, 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 what's happening today? Is it my fault or not? You sat here during opening statements when your attorney argued that the context of your statements in this op-ed matter, correct? That's correct. So let's go through some of that content. Friends and advisors told me I would never work again as an actress, that I would be blacklisted. Statement, aren't you? I'm a, in general, I'm referring to being associated with domestic violence. And you're referring to what you claim happened after you got an ex-party. So questions arose as to whether I would be able to keep my role of Mira in the films Justice League and Aquaman. This is also referring to your accusations of domestic violence against Mr. Depp, right? This is referring to what happened to me after I got my TRO, my restraining order. Against Mr. Depp, right? That is correct. These questions arose only after you accused Mr. Depp of domestic violence in May of 2016, allegedly, right? Yeah, from the time I got the TRO, being associated with domestic violence, that's what it's in reference to, yes. You also wrote, quote, Imagine a powerful man as a ship like the Titanic. That ship is a huge enterprise. When it strikes an iceberg, there are a lot of people on board desperate to patch up holes, not because they believe in or care about the ship, but because their own fates depend on the enterprise. In this op that you're saying Mr. Depp is a ship, right? I'm making an analogy to a powerful man as a ship. The powerful man you're referring to in this analogy is Mr. Depp, right? Uh, I was I talking about a bigger issue actually than just Johnny. I was talking about what we as a um, as a country were talking about at the time of writing this, which is when powerful men in general do something horrible or something they shouldn't, how there is a system in place to protect them, clean up after them, maintain them uh, afloat. You know, this is a reference to not just Johnny, it was about what was happening as a culture when we were addressing a lot of Me Too issues for the first time. The iceberg is you in this analogy, right, Ms. Hurd? Um, I would not say that. I had, that had not, that was not what I intended, no. So, this what? is another reference to your accusations against Mr. Depp. So what is the iceberg done? Uh, no, this is about what happened to me once I left uh, that relationship and got a TRO and became associated with domestic violence. But it's your testimony that this op-ed isn't about Mr. Depp, right? It's about what happened to me after. That's it's correct. It's about your experience after obtaining a temporary restraining order against Mr. Depp, right? That is correct, among other things. But it's not about Mr. Depp. It is not about him. Mr. Depp is making it about Mr. Depp, right? Ironically. It's kind of like that Carly Simon song, right, Ms. Hurd? I don't know what you mean. Let's talk about the defamatory statements in the op-ed that you also claim are not about Mr. Depp. What was that? Then two years ago, I became a public figure representing domestic abuse, and I felt the full force of our culture's wrath what for women that? who speak out. This is about Mr. Depp, Oh, isn't the it? mirror reference. No. <laughs> you wrote this in 2018, right? Exactly. And two years prior was 2016, right? That's true. Okay. That's correct. So it's not about May Johnny. Two, it's about Heard, what happened to me Ms. after. Heard, my question was May of 2016 <laughs> is two years prior to December of 2018. Correct? That's correct. All right. May 2016 is when you publicly accused Mr. Depp of domestic violence, right? I got my restraining order at that time. And you publicly accused Mr. Depp of domestic violence. Yes, that was in, attached to my restraining order. So yes. May of 2016 is when you sought 
a restraining order against Mr. Depp. That's correct. Correct. And I had to provide testimony for that. Right. And May 2016 is when you walked into court with a mark on your face to obtain that restraining order. Yes or no? That was the day I walked into court with a bruise on my face. Yes. And you were photographed with that mark on your face, weren't you? I walked out to a bunch of photographers, yes. Oh, May 2016 is when unlucky. you told the world that Mr. Depp had physically abused you during your relationship. Isn't that right? Well, that I had to provide testimony as part of my restraining order application, yes. And that's how you became a public figure representing domestic abuse. Right, Ms. Hurd? From that point on, yes. That's when you claimed you faced our culture's wrath. That's right? when it started, yes. But it's your testimony under oath that this statement is not about Mr. Depp. It is uh, not. It is about what happened to me afterwards. That's the more interesting, was the more interesting thing for me to write about. The next statement reads, I had the rare vantage What's point of seeing in real time how institutions protect men accused of abuse. This is also about Mr. Depp. Isn't that right? Not just about him, but he is included in that, yes. He's the man you accused so of abuse then? two years prior to this op-ed. Isn't that right, Ms. Hurd? Yes, but I wrote this op-ed in the context of many men at the time that were public figures or in this public eye being accused as well. Name so one. it was a reference in general to a larger phenomenon, not just Johnny. Not just Johnny. Not just Johnny. Okay. And then you write, I spoke I up against Chad sexual violence and faced her, her culture's wrath. This one's also about Mr. Depp. I did not write that. Well, you've accused Mr. Depp of sexual violence in this very courtroom, haven't you? Yes, but I, I was intending to keep that private when this was published. I, I, I had not pub publicly ever accused him of that. I'm going to move to strike everything after the word yes. No, no I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead. You may not have written this title, but you published it, didn't you? I did not publish a title. I, I retweeted the article that included the title. That is not even true. Article. That's also lying. Let's pull up, please, Plaintiff's Exhibit 3, that, which that is, is evidence. That is also a lie. Chat, that is a, a, a lie. This is not a this retweet. This is a tweet from your Twitter account on December 19th, 2018, correct? This is that a is correct. tweet hyperlink. It's not a retweet. It's not a quote tweet. Not, this I is an original tweet oh, with a evidence. hyperlink. It is an evidence. Yes. Thank you. So on the December difference 19th, is a major. You tweeted, quote, today I published this op-ed in the Washington Post. Did I read it that It is right? not a quote that tweet. It is not. And the tweet includes a link to the op-ed we were just looking at, correct? That's correct. And you can see that the title of the op-ed in your tweet is, quote, opinion, Amber Heard. I spoke up against sexual violence, right? Yes, you don't get to change the title of an article you're retweeting. You're, that's not. And that's the title that you put on your Twitter. Correct? I did not put it on my Twitter, no. You linked it to your tweet. I, I retweeted the but article. You published it. I retweeted a link to an article that no, she did not. I wrote. And you published it on your Twitter account. All right. I retweeted it. She didn't testify yesterday. That's a lie! You didn't have any control over the title and just now of the op ed when you retweeted it. Is that correct? That is correct. This wasn't a retweet, though, right? Uh, a tweet? Perhaps not retweet? I don't, I'm not quite sure. It was no, you know. Tweet. You, don't be. I'm, I misspoke. Excuse me. Tweet. Not Fuck retweet. off! You included a link to the electronic copy of the op-ed in your tweet, right? That's what I was trying to say earlier, um, and I might have misspoke. It's like I, I'm trying to attach it. Right. So you incru included a link, right? Yes. To the she tried to play the card the whole so time. You must have seen the title of the electronic version of the op-ed before you tweeted it, right? I may have, I just didn't notice it. Not very careful about what you publish, are you, Ms. Hurd? I just didn't notice the title. That's... You didn't need to include the link to the electronic version of the op-ed in your tweet, did you? Nope. How else would I have linked it? Well, you didn't need to include the link to tell the world that Copy, today paste. you have published this op-ed in the Washington Post about women who are challenging their rage and about violence and equality into political strength despite the price of coming forward. Right? I couldn't attach it with a paper clip. No, but you didn't need to attach it at all to tell the world oh, that you had published an op-ed. No, the goal was to, to tweet about it and to provide a link so that people could read it. The, the op-ed is in your name, right? That's correct. So if you had noticed the title of the electronic version of the op-ed before you included it in your tweet, you could have asked the Washington Post to change it. Isn't that right? Uh, no, that's not. 
But you didn't do that, right? You never asked the Washington Post to change the title. I didn't notice it, and I didn't ask them, nor do I think I needed to. At the bottom, do you see that there's another tweet from December 19th, 2018? Yes, I do. And in this one, it reads, I am honored to announce my role as an ACLU ambassador on women's rights. Did I read that right? That's correct. So you announced your ACLU ambassadorship the same day you posted the op-ed on your Twitter. I'm I think right? that was always the plan, is to attach the article with the, uh, the announcement that I was an ambassador. Your Honor, if, if I may, uh, would this be a good time to stop for lunch? No, it's too no. early. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> we got to keep going at least till 1230. Okay. okay. Thank fine, you. Your Honor. Thank you. You testified yesterday about your counterclaim against Mr. Depp in this case. Do you remember that testimony? She hungry. Uh, yes, I do. Your counterclaim is based on three statements made by Mr. Depp's attorneys, Adam Waldman. Is that right? Uh, that's correct. Guys, the link she copy pasted we'll has the words of the title right? in it. That's correct. And the first statement was from an April 8th, 2020 article, right? That's correct. And that's defendant's exhibit 1245 that's been previously admitted. Could you please pull that up? Thank you. She didn't notice. If we could oh. please publish that. Thank you. We can scroll down to the eighth page. Mr. Depp's, excuse me, Mr. Waldman's statement is buried on the eighth page of a 12-page article. Is that right, Ms. Hurd? I don't know how many pages are here. Well, let's, this is the eighth page. Let's go to the twelfth. Let's pull up, please, Defendant's Exhibit 1246, which has already been admitted. An, an ambassador for victims and good movements and retweet stuff without even looking at the title. That's and if we could please go to Mr. Waldman's statement on page 10. And go on to page 11 of a Bless it up. That's Mr. Waldman's statement, right? Bro. That is correct. Okay. Uh, I think it's um, Mr. Waldman speaking on behalf of Johnny, yes. You don't have any evidence of that, do you, Ms. Heard? This is Mr. Waldman's statement, right? I think it's included in the article as well. That this is Mr. Waldman's statement. Correct. Uh, that a, a representative or an attorney, I don't know which word it says in the article, that it says it says very clearly that they're speaking on behalf of Johnny or representing Johnny. Um, can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 8818, 881A, excuse me. I'm going to go over here for now because um, they're putting a lot of evidence. Oh, well, now we're going to miss Johnny now, though. I'll be over here with the voice. If we could please go to page eight of this article. Do not get it twisted. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. May I just All approach? Right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I, I, I think one of the one of the bigger problems is um, how meticulous she is with public perceptions, <laughs> and how much she says that um, she takes notice of all these small things and these all these these small little details, especially when it comes down to like uh, appearing in public and posting stuff, and then and you're missing the title. Nobody buys that, but I don't know why she's pushing that lie so hard. 
Is it that big of an, of an admission of guilt? She says, we'll come yeah, back to I, this. I, I tweeted Sorry, about it. Heard. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Your Honor. Um, Throwing. Let's go ahead and take this down, please. Thanks. You testified yesterday about how your reputation was before these three statements were made, correct? Uh, yes, I did. You testified that your career was going very well before. I think I said the trajectory was positive, yes. You testified you had a global campaign for L'Oreal, right? That is correct. You testified you were waiting on a schedule for Aquaman 2. That is correct. You testified you were scheduled to do a press tour for the TV show The Stand. Press obligations, yes. And then you testify that after the articles, you were no longer actively involved in the L'Oreal campaign. Isn't that right? They suspended using my uh, material. And that you were no longer involved in the publicity surrounding the stand after the articles, right? That's correct. And you didn't hear anything about the schedule for Aquaman 2? Correct. Ms. Heard, you have no evidence that Mr. Waldman's three statements are the reason you are allegedly no longer active in the L'Oreal campaign, do you? Um, well, I mean, other than my awareness that they can't use me because of all of the online um, attention not generated. And you have no evidence that Mr. Waldman's three statements are the reason that the Stan media opportunities allegedly stop, do you? Yeah, I know they couldn't attach my name to their promotional materials because of the online stuff. In fact, there was a lot of reasons why you were no longer active in these endeavors, isn't that right? Um, I disagree with that. Reasons that had absolutely nothing to do with Mr. Waldman's statements. Uh Uh-oh. Isn't that right? Uh, I disagree Wait. with that. There was a lot of publicity about your relationship with Mr. Depp around the time Mr. Waldman made the three statements at issue, right? Uh, I do not recall. A lot of really negative publicity for you, Ms. Heard. Isn't that right? There's been an ongoing smear campaign, yes. An ongoing negative publicity campaign. It's an orchestrated smear campaign. You have no evidence of that, do you, Ms. Heard? Just look me up, you'll see. Ooh, damn, Let's Google take a look me. at some of that. Dude, Google me, bro. All right. I'll I'll join the audience. Wait. Yeah, I'll quit. You said I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it yet. So done, so done. Because I'm not, I'm talking about gambling, I was, I was, I was talking just fucking family shit. I'm not gambling, man. You said I got smoked. Uh, green screen I, I, I could be Michelle right here Michelle's doing a pretty good job
Fuck, man, it ruined it. They ruined it, dude. Sorry, chat, guys. This is, guys, this is my fan. Guys, guys, sorry about the fan, boys. Look. I apologize about the, about the fan, guys. Hey, guys, uh, listen. Look. <laughs> No! Oh, that's pretty good! Shit, dude! Well, now I need a green screen. Michelle blew that blow that shit up. Oh, you don't need one. Nvidia broadcast. Interesting. I don't I don't think I have that. I can't be Johnny to be too disrespectful. Come on now. I have another idea, hold up. Promoted. Now what? Promoted. Fuck me. Let me watch the fu Let me watch a trial, dude! Let me watch this shit! Stop panning, dude! DUDE! Dude, at least let me sit here, man. At least let me sit here, dude. DUDE! What they're doing, they're just waiting, man. I wish I could fit it properly. I wish I could, I could fit this properly to it act the way it actually works. Guys, ha can you uh, on OBS uh, make it stretched like diagonally? But how? Is, is there a, a, a key? Transform. Transform. Edit transform. RTX green screen. Watch this. Display. No, it's not gonna work. Oh, I got, I got one. This is this spicy, spicy. Oh. 
um, add image. Fuck, it, it's inverted. Fuck, dude. There's opacity, it's bugged. Fuck, man. Fuck, dude. I wish I was better at this. I could do it on the fly and do it better. It'd be funny. But no, this is kind of scuffed. You rotate it a bit. How do you rotate? Transform? Edit transform. Oh, rotation. Oh my god. Oh, come on! Because I'm learning more about streaming. This is actually a learning curve. You know what? Filter. Come on. Dude, dude, somebody's gonna have to edit something good. Dude, dude, he he is dude, he is playing Clash Royale. You cannot, dude, stop it. You cannot convince me he is not playing a game of Clash right now. You cannot convince me. I do not care, dude. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. So, Ms. Hurd, my last question to you was that there was a lot of negative publicity for you around the time that Mr. Waldron made these statements. Isn't that correct? I believe that they were made, uh, I mean, I believe that the statements kind of kept being attached to new defamatory, or, you know, um, articles that were like smear campaign sort of attack articles is what it. Okay. Let's go through some of the articles that were out in the press. So, Plaintiff's Exhibit 1267. Just publish that just for the witness. That would be great, thank you. This is an article published on February 2nd, 2020, and the title is, Hashtag Justice for Johnny Depp Trends After Amber Heard Admits to Hitting Actor in Audio Clip. Do you see that? I see that. And if we can go to Plaintiff's Exhibit 1268. This one was published on February 3rd, 2020. It reads the title Amber Heard admits to hitting Johnny Depp in recording. Yeah, you that's see that? when his lawyer leaked an edited tape. <laughs> Ms. Heard. Edited tape. Do you see the title? Amber Heard admits to hitting Johnny Depp in recording. Do you see that? I see the title. Okay. We could please go to Plaintiff's Exhibit 1269. Edited. This one was published on March 17th, 2020. Amber Heard slammed door into Johnny Depp's head, reveals new audio. Do you see that? Yeah, these are more of the PR. Let plans. me show you something that's edited. Let's go to 1270. This one was published on March 31st, 2020. 
Amber Heard to be sacked this from Jason Momoa's Aquaman after Johnny Depp's controversy reports. Do you see that? I do. We'll go to Plaintiff's Exhibit 1271. Do you see the title that says, Johnny Depp says ex-wife Amber Heard sliced his finger off and it, quote, erupted like the Vesuvius? Vesuvius? I just don't know when that was. Um, I've never seen that article. We can go to 1272. Yes, 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 yes. This one was published on May 29th, 2020, and it says, when Amber Heard confessed to smashing a door into Johnny Depp's head, clocking him in the jaw. Do you see that? I see that. In the jowl. Um, I think she's getting antsy. Into she, they, 1275. They this one was published on July 15th, 2020. Amber Heard stole my sexual assault story. Ex aide tells libel trial. Do you see that? This was Adam Waldman as well. Doesn't say Mr. Waldman. It actually says Kate James also says she often received abusive text messages from Johnny Depp's ex wife, doesn't it? I just know because he threw down the article. Miss Heard, isn't that what that Mr. Says? Waldman threw the newspaper Ms. Heard, at me afterwards? Miss Heard, that's not my question. Oh, Jesus. What my was your question, question is. I'm sorry. The title of the article says, Amber Heard stole my sexual assault story, ex aide tells libel trial. Kate James also says, Your Honor, she opened the door yeah. by saying it was Adam Waldman. Can they let her talk? Okay. Let's go to Plaintiff's Exhibit 1276. Amber Heard admits to hitting fucking baby Johnny Depp in court audio. Do you see that, Ms. Heard? That's correct. Okay. Go to 1277. Published July 28th, 2020. Amber Heard's sister thought she was going to kill Johnny Depp, claims witness. Do you see that, Ms. Heard? I see that. And 1278. Published on July 28th, 2020. Johnny Depp was the victim of, a, of abuser Amber Heard, London's High Court told. Do you see that? I do see that. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Go ahead and take our, our lunch recess then. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go ahead and take our hour lunch recess at this point. Do not discuss the case with anybody and don't do any outside research. Saved by the bell. No, we need it. No, we need it. We need long, long, long questioning, right? And they get hungry and they get mauled. And then the truth comes out because they're, they're getting hangry. All right, we'll come back at 1.35 then. Is that fine? All right, thank, thank you. you. All right. Chat, what is this, chat? Oh, uh, what about this? I, 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 don't, I don't remember the motion he does. Forget it. There it is. There it is. Okay, chat. Guys, guys, I'm sorry, chat. Guys, I kind of want to look at some of the stuff that I missed earlier. Was there a good part, chat, that we missed earlier? There's, there's got to be a lot of it. There's got to be a lot. Came on the first night after he decided to take the bag of MDMA. Ms. And Heard. I went to check Ms. on Heard. him. And... Chat, from what point did, we, did I miss? Oh, no, no, no. That, that, we already saw this, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, one hour. 
one hour, two hours, so about from, I would say, one hour, one hour. One, eight, one, six. Um, beginning to the to first break. One and a five, okay, one, two, five. So I would say, so that would, that would be, that would be two, two, twenty. This part? This one's, this is another note from you to Mr. Depp? That is correct. The whole book is love notes. Mm -hmm. So this is dated August 15th. Defendant's Exhibit 371 as redacted. All right, 371 in evidence as redacted. Yes, we have like an hour. We're going almost watch all of it. Yes, ma'am. If we can publish that to the jury, thank you. Always so you be, write always Mr. the beginning. To talking about that sequence. Then on page 4521, starting at line three. This morning or not? You testified to being bent over backwards on the bar, right? Okay. Is, it, is this a good part? Yeah, we could go one to, uh, one to five so we have more time. I think we can go through all of it real fast. I think I think something a big uh, okay, guys guys I want to be weird okay I don't want, I don't want to disturb the public too much okay but what I've no, what I've noticed on social media and on Twitter what uh, and whatever is that people downplay the existence of a uh, uh, couple dynamics and it could to in an incredible degree an incredible degree people act like oh dude you shouldn't do this black on the white N that's impossible that is impossible okay there there are. When it comes down to social dynamics overall, okay, there's no, it's very rare. It's like, oh, uh, it's complicated. It's complicated. People just, people do stuff. Things happen. What? Directing your attention, Ms. Heard, to page 4521, starting at line three. You testified to being bent over backwards on the bar, right? That is correct and then feeling pressure on your pubic bone like Mr. Depp was punching you. Yes? That's what I thought. And then further down... I get it. You shouldn't put up with abuse. You shouldn't put up with abuse, okay? One way or the other. But in this case, it seems that there's a lot of back and forth, and they are, to a certain degree, both abusive, mo both mentally and physically, to some degree, whereas one, regardless of, of uh, one being uh, a, a repercussion to the other, or, or one, is, one is in defense, doesn't matter. It, there is... We're, they're already committed to this, and it's a long, it is a long standing of it. Stop saying question mark. This is very important to understand. Okay? Stop it. Guys, it's, 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 to some degree, there's no shot. It's all, okay, just stop. Just stop. On page 4521, and on to 4522, you testified that you were concerned Mr. Depp was using a broken bottle on you. Yes? Guys, what I'm saying is, nobody is perfect. Nobody is. Even in some of the videos, he does some stuff that is very mild compared to some stuff that, that, that she does. Right? But it is still characterized as abuse or things that are abusive. Therefore, 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 it is an entirely abusive, toxic relationship. It is a very deep... Uh, 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 you know, it's it, it it is a it is a deeper relationship, and it's it has more dynamics than people think there are. Okay, so when people say people when people isolate one celebrity and say, "Wow, you should never do this in a couple," or whatever, it doesn't make sense. You have to apply the scope of the whole thing, otherwise, none of it that makes was my sense. Fear. Okay, that's what I remember feeling. That's right. I'm going to show you defendants. Exactly. People act like they know what it is to be married to have a. Be deal with cheating, abuse, when they've been single for 30 years! Literally! 1816. She's already been admitted. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You saw this picture during your direct examination, right? No, I did. And you testified that this is a picture of the bottles that were next to Mr. Depp on a desk when you found him drinking in the morning, right? That's correct. And this was the morning after Mr. Depp had allegedly sexually assaulted you, right? It was the morning after he did assault me. 
Yes. And if I understood your testimony correctly, you testified that this is the maker's mark bottle that Mr. Depp sexually assaulted you with. I was never sure it was, but it was definitely that shape, felt like that shape. But you testified in this courtroom that you had not seen this bottle until Ben King provided these photographs, correct? And not in the course of the trial. I hadn't seen the photograph. I want to say. You claim you had serious injuries after this alleged incident, right, Mr. Depends on what you would call serious. For me, um, you know, having a sore jaw and some bruises uh, at the time of my relationship wasn't that serious. Okay, um, okay. Let's testify. Relative. Let's well, focus that? on the testimony that you gave about the injuries. Mr. Depp, as you testified yesterday, wears rings on every finger, right? Sometimes. I mean, often. And certainly in the later part of our relationship, that was more normal than not. But if he's filming or something like that, of course, he's not going to have his own jewelry on. Your testimony in this trial was, quote, I don't today? know if I've ever known Johnny not to wear rings. Correct? You need to put your microphone on, Miss. Thank you. Objection, Your Honor. Improper impeachment. There, she's going to ask her question, then she has to show where that was, and then I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead. Thank you. Your testimony yesterday was, "quote I don't know if I've ever known Johnny not to wear rings." Right, Mister? That's, that's what I testified to. Yes. Okay. And he was wearing rings on every finger in Australia. Correct? Not all the time. Not literally every single ring, every single day. But he often wears rings. Not often, Miss Heard. Your words are, "I've never known Johnny not to wear rings on every finger." That is what I testified to. Okay. And you testified that you bled as a result of the sexual assault, correct? That is correct. All right. And you testified that your forearms were cut. My forearms and my feet. And your feet were sliced up. That's correct. And you testified you had a bruise across your jaw. That is correct. And there was not a single... Guys, guys, the cuts were from rot. Guys, what did she claim that the cuts were from? Was it the glass being thrown at her and, and cutting her arms? What was it initially? Medical record reflecting treatment for any of those injuries. Is there mishurt? I didn't seek treatment. And the day after you sustained all these injuries, Dr. David Kipper came to the house in Australia, right? Well, he came the third day uh, along Broken with glass. security. The day after you sustained these injuries, this Dr. David Kipper came along with Nurse Debbie Lloyd, correct? Well, the f that fight went into the morning, like early hour morning, so technically that last day. Dr. David Kipper is Mr. Depp's, or was Mr. Depp's uh, physician, right? I believe he still is. But yes. he was at the time? Yes, that's correct. And he was also your physician? He also saw me. No, not uh, saw you. He was your physician, correct, Mr. Heard? Uh, Johnny was the client, but he also treated me. All right, let's well, please pull up. Do you remember giving testimony in this case in a deposition, Ms. Heard? Oh my yes, God. Yes, I do. I've given a couple. Guys, her fighting so hard, but on specifics, please, this, it's not uh, a good look. It's just pull not. Pull up the deposition transcript, uh, day two, um, at 589, lines six through eight. What do I mean? Excuse that means that. Her fighting on the very small specifics, every time as it arises when she knows it's wrong, it's a bad look. Thank you. It's every question she does it. Every question. Okay. It's court? Yes. It's not court. Um, it's a trial. Honor, There's a jury. We're going to play Ms. Hurst's deposition for the jury. Uh, lines day two, page 540, line six through nine. If we have permission to publish it. In a court, but excuse yeah. me, I'm yeah. sorry. Day two, page 589, line six through eight. All right, could you just give us a minute to get Of course. There? 589. Nice. I'm sorry, what were the lines again? Page 589, line six through eight. Did you say 540 or 589? 589, uh -huh. lines six right. through eight. All right, thank okay. you. Thank you. I have no objection here. And he was your doctor at this point, right? Yes, he was. Uh, Debbie Lloyd also came to the house that day. Uh, yes, she came with Kipper. Yeah. Miss Lloyd is a nurse, correct? That is correct. Malcolm Connolly also came to the house that day. Yes, that's correct. Mr. Connolly is one of the security guards, correct? That is correct. You had known Mr. Connolly for years at that point. Oh, here it comes. Yes, that's correct. You flew back to Los Angeles the next day with Ben King. Is that right? I can't be certain if it was uh, the next day or the day after, but somewhere around there, yes. And the day you arrived back in Los Angeles, you saw Travis McGivern, correct? I don't recall seeing Travis, no. You don't recall Mr. McGivern picking you up from the airport with Ben King? I don't remember that, no. In the same Why day is she looking left and right when you're doing her answers? Because the jury is on her right. So basically, whenever she has an answer and wants to show something, she, she looks at the jury and answers them, not her. You also saw like your own nurse, half. Aaron Barem Flotti, that day, correct? The day you arrived in Los Angeles? I don't recall if I saw her that day. You saw Ms. Flotti's testimony in this case by a video deposition, correct? That is correct. And you heard her testify that she saw you the day you arrived back from Australia on March 9th, 2015. I believe she testified that she came to dinner where I was with friends. Yeah, I believe that. So she saw you that day? 
I believe that evening I saw her at dinner. Okay. And then you saw Aaron Baranthalotti again the next day for a private meeting, didn't you? I, I'm not sure if that if that's what she testified to. I'd have to just see the records to know. You heard her testify according to her notes. She met with you privately on March 10th, 2015. She met with me at some point upon my arrival, but I don't remember the exact date. Just give the testimony. And when you were in Australia, Ms. Heard, you didn't take any pictures of the injuries you claimed to have sustained, right? I did not take any pictures, no. But you did take two pictures? Of the mirrors. I took yeah. two pictures of the bathroom mirrors that um, was the master bathroom where I was. Let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 374, which is already in evidence. You took this picture, right, Ms. Heard? Yes, that's correct. And this is a mirror in the bathroom in Australia? That's correct. And this black paint on the mirror is from Mr. Depp? That is correct. He wrote on the mirror in black paint after his finger was cut off, right? Uh, yes, uh, I only know that because there was blood as well as paint. So you took this picture after Mr. Depp had injured his fingers, correct? This was while I was packing, when I was leaving. That's, that's a yes, right, the photo. sir? That's, what's the question, I'm sorry. You took this picture after Mr. Depp had injured his finger? That's correct. And you took this picture after you had allegedly been assaulted by Mr. Depp, yes? That's correct. Yeah, you didn't capture yourself in the mirror, did you? I don't see myself in the mirror, no. Okay. Let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 375. You took this picture as well, right, Ms. Heard? That's correct. And this is from one of the bathroom mirrors in Australia? That's correct. So this is also a picture taken after Mr. Depp had injured his finger. Way, you're right. That's correct. That's a good this point. is also a picture taken after you had allegedly been assaulted by Mr. Depp. That's correct. You didn't capture yourself in the mirror in this picture either, did you? I do not see myself in the mirror in that picture. Is that because good, you didn't have any visible point. injuries on you? It's because I was taking a picture of the writing. Let's talk about the writing on this mirror. So the writing in black paint is from Mr. Depp, correct? It's all from Mr. Depp. And it's your testimony under oath that you did not write the red text that says, quote, call Carly Simon, she said it better, babe, end that's, quote. That's correct. Because if you did write that, it means that your husband was walking around the house bleeding from his amputated finger and you're writing snarky messages to him on a mirror, right? I don't know what your question to me is, I'm Chat. sorry. Chat, couldn't they have a, uh, a, a a writing expert or whatever, a calligraphist or some shit, to check uh, if, if this matches or his handwriting compared to this? Because this looks different. Let's please take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1830. And I believe this this picture is also admitted. Wait, let me, let me look at it. Let me look at it real fast. I'm not, a, I'm not an expert. Obviously, everybody knows this, okay? But, uh, eh, could be it. Three zero. And I believe this pic this picture is also admitted into evidence. That's correct. This is a picture of the same mirror, right? This That's correct. The same. But you didn't take this picture. No, I did not. This is the one that Ben King took. And I don't see him in the mirror either. <laughs> He's. I don't believe he claimed he had injuries, though. Is that right? I did not hear uh, Ben King talk about his injuries. No. Okay. So you would agree, Miss Heard, that the black tax on the mirror says, "quote She loves naked photos of herself. So modern. So hot." I had not read that yet. I mean, before, but yeah, that's what it says. But you were taking pictures of the text, but you had not read that before? I haven't seen this. It didn't make sense to me at the time when I read it in person. Okay. Again, Mr. Depp wrote that. Uh, I don't know who else would have. So, Ms. Heard, just to be clear, it's your testimony that Mr. Depp also wrote the message in red about Carly Simon saying it better, right? That's correct. You know Carly Simon saying the song, You're So Vain, right? I was told that. So, it's your testimony that Mr. Depp was writing messages to himself in the mirror back and forth. The best I can describe it is it looked like a crazy conversation. It was on the walls, it was with on himself. lampshades, it was on cushions. It's your testimony, the crazy conversation was with himself. That's what it looked like okay. from the bloody messages I found. And you would agree with me that in this photograph, the red text has been smudged with black paint, right? Yes. Okay. Wait, Let's so please pull up, if we can, Defendant's Exhibit 35, excuse me, 375 again. Well, yeah, it, it's got, it got tampered with, so what happened? That smudge isn't in this picture that you took, right? That's correct. So Mr. Depp must have not liked his own message to himself. I'm not quite sure what was happening when Ben took that, the, his photograph, no. Okay. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 343, which is already in evidence, and play a portion from... I, I get it. She wrote in blood and in black a message, then she wrote with her lipstick in red some message to say something back, and then he was probably mauled about it, and he blacked it out, and then he went out when his, uh, then he went out to probably get healed, and Ben King come in and took the picture. Why is it so it's black smudged? through 158.54. It's recording, Your Honor. Okay. It's, it's not to get you mad. It's, not to get, it's just to 
get out of a bad situation. Well, that seems like the most likely. Worse. In Australia, when we had the big fight where I lost the tip of my finger. Wait, hold up. Also, also sorry, 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 it seems like the uh, the A is different and the L's are done differently. See this? No, definitely. De the, the, the L's are, 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 are much different. At least five bathrooms and two bedrooms I went to. To, to, to avoid talking to me. To, to avoid working out. That's to escape the, the fight. You don't escape the fight. You escape the solution. No. You escape the solution. No. You s escape figuring it out. We cannot work it out if you run away to the bathroom every time. Listen to me. Listen to me. A boxer can't go 12 rounds without a fucking minute break. I'm not not giving you a minute break. You do it at minute three at the beginning of an argument. No. There are rounds, man. And when it gets too fucking hairy, the ref splits them apart or whatever. But I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is... You, 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 you can't have a solution if the argument just keeps mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting. I fucking go to the, into the bathroom and sit on the floor. Bam, bam, bam. Here you come. I come out. Fight, fight, fight. Crazy. Escalated. I go, I split again. I go to another fucking bathroom or a bedroom or something. Knock, knock, knock. Bang, bang, bang. You kept coming to get me. It makes a lot of sense. Every this is what really happened in Australia, isn't it, Miss Heard? Uh, I did knock on a bathroom door on the first night. Not a bathroom door. Five bathroom doors and two bedrooms. Uh, is that right? Is not an accurate historian of what happened during Ms. Heard, that uh, Ms. period Heard. of time. I'll guarantee Ms. you. Ms. Heard, that's not my question. Five bathroom doors, two bedrooms. That's what you knocked on. I that's what there. actually happened in Australia. Is a historian? I was there. So that's I remember it. I knocked on one bathroom door. I came on the first night after he decided to take the bag of MDMA. Ms. Heard, Ms. Heard, I'm going to move to strike everything after I knocked on one bathroom she door. She can't do that. She's answering the question. But, uh, not quite, so I will sustain the objection. Okay. Just answer the question, okay? Also, her testimony about the, uh, about the MDMA it doesn't even make sense. Uh, uh, the amounts that she said he took are, are completely outrageous and don't make sense at all. The recording we just listened uh, to. Just, That's exactly uh, what happened in Australia. It's, fabri it's fabricated bullshit. Mr. Depp lost the tip of his finger after you threw a bottle at him. Isn't that right? That is incorrect. You're the one who assaulted someone with a bottle in Australia, isn't that right, Ms. Heard? I didn't assault Johnny in Australia. I didn't assault Johnny. I know. I know. I I know. And then after he was injured, he okay. She had, she had stated under oath that he took it took seven, eight, a handful amount of pills, which normally would have about about 150 milligrams, 200, 200 milligrams at most, uh, unless you're kind of kind of absolutely fucking cooked up. Okay. Now you're talking about getting uh, more than a gram of MDMA one tap instantaneously. Now you're now you are going absolutely mob mode. At that point, you must be fucking hallucinating both visually and auditory. You're you losing it. Right? That is in incorrect. She said 10. No. That, that is incorrect. Doesn't make sense. And you would pursue him. That is incorrect. Because he was avoiding talking to you, right? He did that first night when he was I avoiding, tried to talk to him about the drugs. Christ. And he was avoiding working it out. No, he was uh, avoiding agreeing to not fight about the drugs. You weren't scared of him at all, were you? I have a... Uh, a mixed relationship with Johnny, and one in which I'm scared, one in which I love him very much. I'm not talking about your mixed relationship. That night, in Australia, after you cut off his finger with a bottle, you weren't scared of him at all, were you? This is a man who tried to kill me. Of course it's scary. Huh? He's also my husband. Mr. I'm going to show you what's been marked as Defendant's Exhibit 371. As far as we're concerned and what we heard, she came out with no injuries. Uh, uh, um, uh, on record, and I think I think he's missing a finger. Do not believe these have been admitted into evidence. No, I don't. Okay, I don't have. Them. I don't know who's closer to dying. If we can scroll down, please. No. Miss Berhoff, if you don't have your microphone on, I cannot hear you. You still don't have it on. Redacted. Oh. I need to take a look at the unredacted for a minute, Your Honor. Just bear with me. All right. I'm not admitting that into evidence yet. I would like to just okay, talk to the witness about it. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. Also, Mr. Hurd, I'm going to show you what's been marked as Defendant's Exhibit 371. Do you recognize these text messages between you and uh, Dr. Cowan? I don't recognize these, no. Who's Dr. Cowan? He was um, my therapist that uh, was recommended to me from Dr. Kipper. Uh, he and Dr. Kipper worked together. He was your therapist at the time, correct? That's correct. And you had been seeing him for almost a year in March of 2015? Uh, 
my guess would be about six months at that point. Your text messages are in gray, correct? Your Honor, I'm going, I'm going to ask that she show her the unredacted so that she can see the text exchange back and right, forth if, if she wants to talk Absolutely. about right, moving we'll the unredacted sure. later. That's good. Thank you. Pull it up. Well, Mr. Lewis' credibility also is the, is the fact that, oh, what happened on that, on the, that night from your perspective? Oh, he took his finger, did this, that, this, that, this, went this, did that, did that, did that, sent me a text, went to get some food, got a cookie, went upstairs. But whenever it's time for her to admit something that, that, that she did, what happened to you? What did you do? Um... Um, I don't really remember. Oh, uh, what did you eat? I guess a portion of, let's say, food, perhaps? It's like... I mean, how do you not see through this shit? Seeing these unredacted messages, does this refresh your recollection that these are indeed communications between you and Dr. Cowan? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Doctor, your text messages are in gray, correct? Yes, that's correct. And Dr. Cowan's are in blue? That is correct. Okay. Do you see the text message at the bottom of the page from March 8th, 2015 at 8.29 p.m.? Yes, that's correct. March 8th is the day that you Who's were going? allegedly sexually assaulted by Mr. Depp in Australia, correct? That is correct. Right. So on March 8th, 2015, you were in Australia? That is correct. And Mr. Depp's finger had just been cut off, right? That is correct. And you write to Dr. Cowan, quote, I feel so lost. I can't talk. I don't know if I'll ever be able to change." End quote. Did I read that correctly? That's correct. You weren't able to change, were you, Ms. Heard? I very much wanted to leave the relationship I was in, but I didn't have the power. I didn't feel I had the power to leave. I knew I was in a very toxic relationship with Johnny, and I knew I needed to change that. I knew it was, at this point, horrible for me. And I'm I talk to my to therapist often about that. That exhibit. is not what she... Okay. Defendants exhibit 371 as redacted with just Ms. Hurd's messages. All right. Your Honor, I object because she has left out the next two lines from Ms. Hurd that clarify even further. And I also think Ms. that Dr. Cowan's... Your Honor, may we please approach... This is... Yeah, so this is something that I, I, I have noticed only Amber's lawyers do, is that they'll do objection something... But then they're gonna slam a bunch of information that shouldn't be a public, that the jury shouldn't, shouldn't hear. Yeah, you can strike from the record, but they 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 spam info as soon as they go for an object. They don't do objection. This they go. Oh well, well they did this and she did that. It's like, dude, why are you doing that? Objection. This or ask to approach. What the fuck is the problem? We can move to it. Defendants Exhibit 371 as redacted. All right, 371 in evidence as redacted over objection. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. We can publish that to the jury. Thank you. So you write, Ms. Heard, to Dr. Cowan, I feel so lost. I can't talk. I don't know if I'll ever be able to change. Right? And I said, I clearly can't figure this out, meaning the relationship. You didn't say that. You said, I did. Not the relationship. Your text messages, clearly I can't figure this out. I feel so lost right now. What I was saying to him no, no, no. is clearly Ms. Heard, I can't Ms. Heard, figure this Ms. Heard, out. That's not my question. The text, just the text. That's exactly what, you what I was saying. What you texted. Clearly, I can't figure this out. I feel so lost right now. That's, that's what, what I was saying. saying. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah today's very spicy, uh, Lee Cox, just so stick around. Ms. Heard, you contend? Your Honor, just for clarification, so those two next lines did come in. They are in the redaction. Okay, copy. good, all right, thank you. Ms. Heard, you contend that there's another incident of abuse in March of 2015 after you and Mr. Depp returned from Australia. Is that correct? That's correct. And this is, incident took place on March 23rd, 2015? That's correct. And this supposedly occurred in the penthouse at the Eastern Columbia building? That's correct. You had found text messages between Mr. Depp and another woman, right? That is correct. So you confronted him about cheating on you? That's correct. And this was about two weeks after you had returned from Australia? That's correct. So this is shortly after Mr. Depp supposedly sexually assaulted you with the bottle, right? It was two weeks after he assaulted me, yes. And you decided to confront him about cheating on you? Um, I, I didn't decide to. I, I, I wanted to. Mr. Depp's finger was freshly injured at this point, right? Wait. He had a cast on it. Wait, so what? And you decided to confront him about cheating on you? Um, I, I didn't decide to. I, 
I, I, I wanted to. Mr. Duff's finger was freshly injured at this point, right? He had a cast on it. The top of his right finger had been cut off two weeks prior. That is correct. And he had a pin in his finger, true? I don't recall when the pin was placed. The skin graft? I'm not quite sure. He had several different procedures and they were kind of spread out over a period of time. So I don't remember what happened and when One of those exactly. procedures was to treat the MRSA that got on his finger too, right? At some point I knew he had an infection. And his right hand was in a bandage, right? It was casted. So it's your testimony that Mr. Depp was able to attack both you and your sister with his hand in that state, right? That is correct. He had a hard plaster cast on it. Debbie Lloyd was present in the penthouses when Mr. Depp supposedly attacked you. Isn't that correct? That's correct. In fact, you claim that Mr. Depp threw a Red Bull can at Ms. Lloyd that evening. Yes, that's correct. And you put in a sworn statement of that effect in the UK case, right? That is correct. But that's not true, is it? That's what happened. You know what a deposition is, right, Ms. Heard? I've had several, yes. Yeah, so you know it's when someone provides testimony under oath. That is correct. You're aware that Ms. Lloyd was deposed in connection with this case, correct? That's true. And Ms. Lloyd's deposition testimony was played earlier in this trial, right? I'm going to take time to make we approach. All right. Oh, 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 now they say, can we approach? Dude, where's the spam now, dude? Dude, where, where's the load of garbage information out? Dude, where's the spam now? What happened with it? it disappeared. So in a deposition, Ms. Heard, you know it's when someone provides testimony under oath, right? That's correct. You're aware that Ms. Lloyd was deposed in connection with this case. That's correct. And Ms. Lloyd's deposition testimony was played earlier in this trial. Yes. So you heard Ms. Lloyd testify under oath that Mr. Depp never threw a can of Red Bull at her. I can't remember uh, if, she didn't rem if she didn't recall that or if she said it didn't happen. I don't remember. I vaguely sense she didn't recall anything. Anything. Amnesia. So it's your testimony that Ms. Lloyd would forget that Mr. Depp very famous patient of hers threw a can of Red Thanks, Bull somehow. that nearly missed her, according to your version of events. It's my brother who got me to be fair. I just don't remember if she said when she testified that she didn't recall that incident or if it didn't happen. I don't remember what she testified to, but I have a vague sense that she didn't recall much at all. Dementia feels bad. She recalled and she testified in this courtroom that Mr. Depp never threw a can of Red Bull at her. That was her testimony, wasn't it? I don't recall what her testimony was with regards to that one incident, no. You actually filed a complaint against Ms. Lloyd's nursing license right before she was supposedly deposed in this case, didn't you? Uh, no, I don't, I don't believe I did. Are you aware that someone filed a complaint against Ms. Lloyd's nursing license in connection with her care of Mr. Depp for failing to report abuse? No, I had no idea. You're the first person to let me know about that. It's your testimony under oath, that wasn't you? That is my testimony. I didn't even know about that until now. Travis McGivern was also present when Mr. Depp supposedly attacked you, correct? He walked in at some point. And you heard his testimony that it was actually you who punched Mr. Depp. Isn't that right? It's always been my own testimony that I hit Johnny. And, and you who was throwing things at Mr. Depp. I hit him in defense of my sister. I didn't have anything to throw at him. I never threw anything at him. I hit him when he attacked me and my sister, specifically when he moved for her. That's when I hit him. So it's your testimony, Andrew. You threw nothing at Mr. Depp. Mr. McGivern's lying. I have thrown things at Johnny, no, no, to no. be clear, not but not that occasion. Things. That evening. Not, that okay. not, not on that occasion. So it's your testimony, Mr. McGivern. Imagine that you were throwing things at Mr. Depp from the mezzanine level down towards where Mr. Down. Depp and Mr. McGivern were standing. Well, he certainly wasn't going to say it about his client. What? Ms. Heard, you and Mr. Depp kept a journal to- What? Client. Mr. Depp and Mr. McGivern were standing. Well, he certainly wasn't going to say it about his client. His client. Ms. Heard, you and Mr. Depp kept a journal together, didn't it's you? It's a witness. Yes, we did. You wrote each other messages in that journal, right? That is true. If we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 91. I'm only going to be showing you certain portions of this, so if we could please call That's this not, Plaintiff's I mean, Exhibit 91A. Yes, it is.
The journal. This is the journal that you and Mr. Depp kept with each other in electronic form, correct? That is correct. And if you, we could scroll through, these are all entries that you made in the journal, correct? Hmm? The journal? What is that? Chat? Is it done? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I'm going to move for the admission of Plaintiff's Exhibit 91A, and I've gone ahead and redacted Mr. Depp's writings as he, on hearsay grounds. I'm going to object, Your Honor. May we approach? Okay. Of course, I want to approach. Let's start with the first page. It's a picture. Your Honor, I'm it's a picture. They haven't given me the pages yet. Your Honor. You tell me the Writing them down. Okay, let's write them down first. Sorry, Judy. Let's write them down first. It's not back, guys. Guys, they have a lot, a, a lot to go through. Guys, the lunch break is like an hour. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah, all right. If we could please publish this to the jury. 91A in evidence. Thank you. Over objection. Oh, no, 20 minutes left? This is a picture that's on the inside cover of the love notebook, correct? That's correct. And this is a picture of you and Mr. Depp? That's correct. You're in Australia in this picture, aren't you? Yes, but that's much later once we returned. You can see that Mr. Depp's right hand is bandaged, right? Yes, that's correct. That was after it had recovered significantly. That's not what it looked like uh, during the incident we were just talking about. So this is a picture after the events in Australia in March of 2015, correct? Yeah, yes, that photograph was taken months later. We have the jury look at that photograph again, please. Let's now turn to page three. This is a note you wrote in the journal to Mr. Depp, correct? That's what it looks like, yes. This is actually the first note you wrote to him in this journal. Sorry. I don't up. remember what the first note was. The date on this note is May 22nd, 2015, correct? That is correct. That was during our honeymoon period. This is just a little bit over two months after the events in Australia in March of 2015, right? That's correct. We were back in a honeymoon phase. That was the period of sobriety I spoke about yesterday. When Mr. Depp, after Mr. Depp had allegedly assaulted you with a bottle, right? It was after the stairs and it was after the Australia incident, yes. Nice. And he got clean and sober and we went back to Australia. So it's also two months after Mr. you punched Mr. Depp because you allegedly thought he was going to throw your sister down the stairs, right? I hit him when he swung at my sister. And this is written months later, yes. You thought he was going to throw your sister down the stairs like he had thrown Kate Moss down the stairs, right? He swung at Whitney, and I had heard a rumor, a vague rumor about that. And so it's what I thought of. In this first message to Mr. Depp in your journal, you write, quote, true love isn't about just the madness of passion or instead picking the safety of peace. No, it's about having both, falling madly in love with your friend. That is what has surprised me perhaps the most that I have seen in you the true bones of friendship and respect. But of course, I still, perhaps more than ever, want to rip you apart, devour you, and savor the taste. Fret not, XX Slim. Yes, it's a love note. Did I read that correctly? Yes, you did. And you're slim, right? That's correct. Ms. Hurd, I'm now going to ask you to take a look at the very last entry you wrote in this journal, which seems to be from April 8th. Maybe she tried to eat his finger? That would be April 8th, 2016, correct? I'm, I'm not quite sure. I don't see the year written on there, and I don't recognize it yet. 
would be a couple weeks. April 8th would be a couple weeks before your birthday, though, right? That's correct. Just to confirm, this is a note you wrote to Mr. Depp, right? That's what it looks like, yes. And on the second page of this note, you wrote the following. Quote, I'm sorry I can get crazy. I'm sorry I hurt you. Like you, I can get wicked when I am hurt, when I feel provoked, shattered. And last night, I was. I felt abandoned about the Lily Rose thing, felt absolutely bewildered about your not coming home on my last night here, and was heartbroken and angry after many attempts in vain on my part to rectify the situation and make amends on the last night of what was otherwise a gorgeous trip with you. I am so sorry for my part. None of this is meant to be an excuse for hurting you, because the truth is, nothing is. There is never a reason good enough to hurt you. You are the last thing in the whole world who deserves it. Last person I ever meant to hurt. I love you, Steve. I am forever yours, Slim. Did I read that correctly? That's correct. Thank you. Mr. Reed, let's take a look at Defendant's <coughs> Exhibit 423, which is already in evidence. Steve is the guy from Minecraft. This is a picture of you with what appears to be straight red marks on your arms, correct? Those are scars from the broken glass. And they're straight and red, right? I, um, I disagree with how you characterize that, um, but they are red, yes. And they're on your left arm? Yes, that's correct. And sir, do you have a history of cutting yourself, don't you? I do not. Uh-oh. You cut your arm once as a teenager, isn't that right? No, I said I wanted to. Um, when I was put on birth control pills when I was a teenager, I got, I felt crazy. And I said I felt suicidal. So it's your testimony under oath that you didn't report to Dr. Hughes, your retained psychologist, that you had cut yourself as a teenager once? I said I had told my mom that I wanted to when I was a teenager. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. Ms. Hurd, we heard some testimony from you yesterday about a trip you and Mr. Depp took on a train and guys i feel like if this isn't a home run and you're sure what you're saying and that it, that it's gonna it's gonna hit because it's true i feel like uh um, asking or proposing this as a possible is wrong southeast asia do you recall that yes that's correct that was when you and mr depp went on your honeymoon trip correct that's correct and that was in july of 2015 that, that's just my take sorry yes that sounds right let's take a look at plaintiff's exhibit 162 which is already in evidence You were here in this courtroom, right, Ms. Heard, when Malcolm Connolly testified to taking this picture? That's correct. This is the picture. This picture shows an injury to Mr. Depp's face, doesn't it? I disagree. I've seen this, this is, picture. Uh, okay, Ms. Heard, I've seen I this got picture the answer. Thank before, you. and it, you disagree? he's not injured in it. He's not injured in this picture. Mm -hmm. That's your testimony. Fine. This one is uh, Photoshop. Ms. Heard, I have your answer. Thank you. It's, this is the only photograph from our honeymoon. It's what? Testimony. Fine. This one is uh, Photoshop. Ms. Heard, I have your answer. Thank you. This is the only photograph from our honeymoon that shows someone with an injury, correct? That's not true. We haven't seen any photos of injuries to your face from that train trip, have we? I don't believe my face was injured on that trip. Let's take a look at Exhibit 91A at page 46. That. Going back to the love journal. Does metadata not disprove it's any edit or not? This is a note from you to Mr. Depp, right? That is correct. This is a note you wrote on July 22nd, 2015. That is correct. And it starts off with the words, my husband, happy honeymoon, right? That's correct. Ms. Heard, please take a look at Plaintiff's Exhibit 91A at page 67. This is another note from you to Mr. Depp in your journal, right? 
That is correct. And this one is dated August 1st, 2015. Wait! That's correct. And you write, that's enough. You've held this book hostage long enough. Although I can't wait to read my note, I also couldn't wait to tell you how much I adore you. What a beautiful, extraordinary, magical, memorable, wonderful, stunning, surprisingly evolving and impulsive adventure. I couldn't have imagined a more gorgeous honeymoon. I love you more and more every passing day. XX Slim. The wise is the giveaway here, thank you. The wise? Did I read that right? That is correct. Let's take a look at the journal entry starting on page 68. Chat, does somebody have the mirror pick again? Chat, show, yes, show me the mirror pick. Yes, I want to confirm it. Is it, it this actually, is another it entry like from it. you writing to Mr. Depp, right? That is correct. And this one's dated August 2nd. That is correct, yes. And this one is a longer one, so let's go to where it ends on page 70 of the journal. I'll, I'll Google it. Wait, wait. I want to go back to it. I think it's kind of important. I just want to know. I just want to know. I want to put it to rest, man. So, we, so, we, so, we, so I, I stop bidding myself. Guys, I don't want to be the dick of Andy, but this is kind of cool. Yeah, this, this is the same. Right? If the, if she wrote this, this this is her. Or if he wrote this, this is him. It's got to be. Look, I guess I think I think the wise biggest giveaway, dude. Small on the on the side, long on the right side. I think this is I think this is I think this is legitimately uncommon. I mean, not a lot of people do do uh, do wise like this. It's very uncommon. And the the the, the look here again, right here. Small on the left side, long on the right side. The chance that it's the, 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 that somebody that two people do the wise the same like this is it's insane. It would be insanely rare. Even if they're together as a couple. Here again. There. Where else? The S's? Um, the S's, yeah, they, they look like, they're like um, it's like a... Let me see. Where are the S's at in here? Memorable. Impulse. Yep. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you have it. Yeah, the S's. Same thing. Same thing with the S's. It's like a weird dance. Yeah, this is her writing, 100%. Couldn't they, guys, couldn't they get somebody who works in, in forensics or whatever, that does things for writing? Like, like a Zodiac expert or some shit? And you write. And then, and then, she's lying under oath. Guys, that wouldn't be the first time she's lying under oath in, in, in this trial, would it? Quote, I hope the Edited pictures, said, anger and pain were just Liked in the picture. Handwriting, and miss it's and all lies. Too. And that is what matters most to you. You may say you stand by everything you said and did, and that there is nothing you can learn from this, but I don't feel that way. And it's important for me that you know that. I love you and I'm sorry. I miss my warm, loving husband. XX Slim. That is correct. Slim Shady. And sad, the word sad. It's crossed out. That is true. Next, we have a journal entry from you on page 89. This one's, this is another note from you to Mr. Depp. That is correct. The whole book is love notes. Mm -hmm. So this is dated August 15th, correct? That is correct. And here you write, quote, my love, why do we? This is Johnny's wise, you're right. Bilka, right here. Can you see it? This is how he does his. So it's it's two strokes. It's two strokes, and it, and it crosses in the middle. This, it's not even close to the same thing. It's not, 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 even, not even not even close to it either. That's lowercase. Hmm. We fight ever. Why? 
I love you more than anything else. Are we that uncomfortable with being vulnerable? Were we scared? Or is it something else? I don't know, but I'm sure of one thing. And if it's that I can't imagine living, that I can't imagine my life without you. I love you. I will do better. I am sorry. X Slim. Did I read that correctly? This that is correct. This is my chicken, dude. It's your testimony. This was a love journal. That is correct. It was primarily love notes and... And you know, apology over. notes from you to Mr. Depp? The book was more of a love notebook, um, and part of that communication, obviously, since we fought so much, uh, it was important for me to, um, you know, try to nurture as much peace as we possibly could. And when things were good, they were really good. Is it good. live now? Is it live? And it's also an opportunity for you to apologize to Mr. Depp for your behavior, isn't it? I think it's important in every relationship to apologize when you're trying to move past fights. Nope, it's not. Let's look at an entry from August 17, 2015, starting on page 90. Here you write, quote, I'm sorry I shook the wheels so hard. I'm sorry we've tested the shocks and brakes to this point. God damn, I love you, Donnie. I love you. I'm tied to you forever, you know that? So I'm tasked with making this work for that reason and many others, of which there are many. Let me try to fix this. Let me try to patch this. Let me try to make your heart better. I you deserve it. Hell, maybe even I do. I need you. We need each other. You're my cornerstone, my heart, my all. You are my life. I hate it when we fight. I hate having you hurt. I hate that you're hurting. I love you more than anything. Let me prove it. I need you. I love you. Slim. Should I read that correctly? Yeah, another example of me trying to fix it. I was always trying to fix it. Fix it by apologizing for your bad behavior? I tried everything. I tried apologizing, I tried reading, I tried therapists, I tried everything to fix but it. But yet you couldn't change like you told Dr. Cowan, right? I couldn't change my relationship. Okay. No, nobody says that. Nobody talks like that. Let's talk about December 15th, 2015 again. Okay, if you want to if you say if you want to say I I I can't change my relationship, nobody nobody in it would say I can't change. That nobody, nobody would ever say that. Aaron Filotti, your personal nurse, saw you two days after the incident on that December 15, 2015. Talk. Isn't that right? She did not see me as in a medical visit. She just dropped off meds in the late at night. She saw you personally, though. Right? She physically saw me, but did yeah. not see me in a medical sense, the way a doctor might see a patient. She did not see me in that way. She was your personal nurse, right? She was a nurse assigned to me. I didn't hire her. Johnny did. She was assigned to you, and so when she would see you, it would be physically, in person, in your home, and traveling, correct? She would sometimes see me as like a medical professional would, and then other times she would just drop off meds and physically see me, like as in with her eyes. You testified that during the incident on December 15, 2015, Mr. Depp broke it's the bed, lying. correct? That is correct. And more specifically, you described that he broke the bed frame with his boot while trying to get purchase. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. Let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 509, which is already in evidence. Could please have that published to the jury? Thank you. Yeah. Mr. this is a picture that you indicated depicts the broken bed, right? That's exactly it. And it's your testimony that Mr. Depp caused this damage to the bed with his boot, right? He did. Is that a pocket knife on the bed there? I cannot tell what's on the bed. Did you use that to damage the bed? Uh, I did not damage the bed. Johnny's boot did when he was punching me. I could feel him slipping. Mr. Do you also testify that there was blood all over the pillows on the bed, correct? On the pillow top, yes. That's correct. But you didn't take a picture of that, though, did you? I did not take a picture of this. About a week after the December 15, 2015 incident, you went with Mr. Depp and his children to the island of the Bahamas, is that correct? To celebrate See, Christmas? The, uh, the, the incident was on the 15th, and we went on the 23rd, I believe? While you were there, you did a photo shoot with Greg Williams, correct? Uh, a few days later, I think the photo shoot was about two weeks after this assault. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 99. Two weeks? This is a photograph of you on Mr. Uh, Duff's Island shortly after December 15, 2015, correct? Uh, no, this was taken weeks later. On the island? On that trip? It was taken on the island. On, on that, that trip. trip? Yes. Weeks later? Weeks later. December 15th. You traveled to the island December 23rd? That's your testimony? It's my recollection that this picture was taken on New Year's Eve or the first day of the year. I think Listen. New Year's Eve. And this is the photo shoot with Greg Williams. Hey, guys. What is that? Woodwork attorney debunks amp... Okay, Jesus Christ. Law and Lumber. Okay, guys, I don't, I don't think you can argue with somebody whose whole entire channel is called Law and Lumber. Okay, I'm not going to watch a video. He, he, he wins. He, he's right, probably. Correct. That is correct. I'm going to move to admit and publish. No objection. All right, 99. We can publish.
That is incredibly Let's specific. Have a zoom into Miss Hurt's face. Thank you, Tom. Last seconds. You want me to watch it? Last last seconds. I'll watch it the last minute. Hey guys, welcome to Law and Lumber. My that type of break is caused by this sharp knife leverage, and I'll tell you why. That makes me very curious. This is why Amber Heard's testimony bothered me that day, because what I saw was this type of damage, which is what's reflected on that particular bed. That damage is caused by a knife. Now, I'm not saying what this is. I'll leave that for the judge, the jury, and the trial attorneys to decide if they want to argue that point. But to me, I don't know. What do you guys think? Why don't you leave your answers in the comments below? Thank you very much for watching this video. If you wouldn't mind, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, uh, it really does mean a lot. This community has been fantastic to me. I Thank you a lot and lumber. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 100. I like it. It's cool. It's like a, the craziest cross, and it just applies to that I'm very specific thing. to admit thing. and publish. No objection. All right, 100 you're in right. evidence. You can publish. Mr. Sorry, this is another picture of you from that photo shoot, correct? Yes, this is the same photo shoot that you asked me about earlier, and this is yeah, um, kid, like several it. weeks later. Right. If we could zoom in on Ms. Hurd's face. I go to Dips Logs. Thank you, Tom. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 101. 101, coming through. Michelle Blois, shut up. I'm going to move to admit and publish. Any objection? Uh, can we just have the foundation first, please? This is a picture from the photo shoot, Ms. Heard, that was taken on the island. This is the same photo shoot, yes. Then no objection, Your Honor. All right, 101 and evidence can publish. What am I looking at? If you could please scroll, zoom in, excuse me, Tom, on Ms. Heard's face. It's your testimony, Ms. Heard, that you were wearing makeup for this photo shoot? That is correct. It's a photo shoot. If we could please pull up exhibit 102. Where are the eyelashes? Her eyelashes are gone. Uh, Ms. Heard, is this another picture from the photo shoot? I can't exactly tell from the background. It looks like the, the same thing, but I can't really tell without it being... This is, a, this is a picture of you, though, right? It is a picture of me, yes. I'm going to move to admit and publish. All right. Any objection? I, I'm not going to object because she identified herself. I just... Juice or hairline? Her, when it was taken, that would help. But I'm not going to object. No, object. no objection. No object. Okay, there we go. 102 in evidence. Can you publish? How's that funny? Uh, let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 103. What is that? What was that? Ms. Heard, this is yet another picture of you from that Greg Williams photo shoot, correct? That is correct. This is from the same shoot. Yeah, we'll we'll move to admit minutes. and publish. No objection. All right. 103 in evidence. Publish. And again, if we could zoom in on Ms. Heard's face. Cool pictures, man. I love photo shoots. And finally, if we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 104. And Ms. Heard, this is a picture of you from that photo shoot, correct? Again, this is the same photo shoot weeks later. Uh, I'm going to move Formidex. to admit and publish. No objection, Your Honor. All right, 104 in evidence. Thank you. Cool, man. Again, if we could zoom in on Ms. Hurd's face. Well, I mean, okay, I mean. Thank you, Tom. You testified that you and Mr. Depp got into a fight while on the island in December of 2015, correct? That's correct. And this all started because you perceived Mr. Depp as nodding off during the trip, right? I thought he was passing out again in a similar fashion to what he had done uh, the previous year. And, and when he nodded off, he spilled wine on you, correct? Yeah, two, three times in a row. You testified that Mr. Depp's son, Jack, was there when this happened, right? At the beginning, he was there. He, he was there when Mr. Depp allegedly spilled wine on you two or three times, right? He was there for that because he offered me help. Right. You also testified that Mr. Depp then sexually assaulted you in the bathroom, correct? That's correct. And you testify that after this, you needed minutes. to get away from him, right? That is correct. So you ran out of the house? That's correct. And you admit you threw something at him, right? I did throw something in, at him to get away. You sat in this courtroom when Tara Roberts testified, right, Ms. Heard? I did. She's Mr. Depp's manager on the island. 
Yes, that's correct. You heard her testify that she witnessed an argument between you and Mr. Depp on the island in December of 2015, right? I, yes, that's correct, yes. And you heard her testify that Mr. Depp was trying to escape you, right? I don't know if, she, I don't know if she characterized it like that, but that was the gist of it. She, she kind of misrepresented it to seem like that, yes. And she misrepresented it. How convenient. That's correct. Okay, and then you kept apologizing to Mr. Depp, right? That's what no, that's Ms. Not Robert correct. said? Begging him to come back to the house with you. That's not correct. Clawing at him, she used those words. That's not correct. When she interrupted us, Johnny had me by the hair. Yelling at him. We were screaming, both of us, but uh, I don't know what she um, would have heard. And that you, she observed an injury on Mr. Depp's nose from something that you threw at him, right? I don't know what she observed. You also heard Ms. Roberts testify that she included all this information in a sworn statement in the UK in May of 2020. Isn't that right? That is correct. You put in a witness statement in response to Ms. Roberts' statement in June of 2020. Isn't that correct? In the UK? Um, I made several, I did several, I think seven witness statements and each one contained different information as per recent filings. That's what counsel has you do in that. In and in that response to case. previous filings, correct? Including testimony from people that contradict your story? Sort of. So what you have to do is your counsel asks you to respond to things Slow and down. put it in a declaration of sorts. I'm catch and up. that happens back and forth over the course of preparing to go to trial in that country. And that's what I did. So that was your fifth witness statement submitted in the UK? I don't recall which one I was asked to comment on Taylor Let's, Roberts' testimony. I'll remind you. Um, if we could have Ms. Hurd's fifth witness statement from the UK. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Four minutes, I know. Uh, let me just fast forward this bullshit. It's correct on the island. Uh, I haven't read through the statement. I just don't know if I had commented on it before in a previous witness statement. As I said, there were several. Three minutes, shot. But starting on page six, Ms. Heard, you describe the incident that took place on the island, correct? That's correct, but what I'm trying to say is I'm not sure if I describe it in full okay. in the statement. Okay. I'm going to show you Why not? your confidential schedule to the fifth witness statement that accompanied the fifth witness statement in the UK. You describe Mr. Depp sexually assaulting you in the Bahamas of December 2015, right? That is correct. And that's the first time you ever claimed that Mr. Depp had sexually assaulted you in the Bahamas. That is incorrect. You only submitted the confidential schedule in the UK claiming Mr. Depp had sexually assaulted you after Ms. Roberts had said that she saw you on the island chasing, clawing at Mr. Depp. Isn't that correct? That is incorrect. Wait a minute. If we could please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 394. It's back. So, Your Honor, um, this is another recording I can represent to the court. This only contains Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's voices. Um, I'm going to move to admit the entire recording. I'm only going to play from 1-1744 through 1-2002. All right, any objection? Um, which, which plaintiff exhibit, Your Honor? 394. 394. Oh, besides, besides, right? I'm laying on you for falling asleep. And screaming in front of my kids and freaking Jack out. No. Nope. And that's trying. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Johnny. That yeah. fucked him up, you know. I'm sorry I fucked your son up. No, it's, it weirded him out. You never... I'm so sorry I, I fucked your kids up. You didn't fuck my kids up, but I'm it so was pretty sorry. fucking... It was pretty fucking weird for him, you know? Because I jumped up and screamed and I wanted him to come. That's amazing. Yeah. You're right. I'm not surprised he's here. I'm sure that's terrifying. I, I don't need your... Uh, your clever uh, comebacks. No. You're, you think you're controlling your, yourself? Your you is, think you're controlling your yourself? Your character has become so clear, especially when you use them. It's embarrassing for you. I'm going to walk away now because you're actually making it, making me see you even worse. And believe me, I'm not going to be calling you at 3 o'clock in the morning after I'm in the ambient and think, oh, I'm going to just fucking forget and move on. Trust me. It is gross. I it's not no weird. But be there for them in a good way. And Take 
Yes, Lane, Gertrude. That recording, right? That's correct. And you're discussing what happened in the Bahamas Lyman. in December of 2015, right? Boom. Uh, no, that's boom, not correct. Boom. 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 Why lie? Why is you lying to me for no reason, man? I'm behind it. Oh. So this is live, but um, yeah, we're going to the future. It is what it is. Welcome back to For the Record here on the Law and Crime Trial Network. I don't have many characters in Joma. I'm the main character. I choose if we go forward or not. trial of Johnny Depp versus Seymour Heard is in a lunch break. Gene Rossi, a former federal prosecutor and Virginia lawyer, is here with me. And we are taking your questions. Linda Kenny Bodden is in New York. And Marie Pereira, a criminal defense attorney and former prosecutor, is with us as well. Uh, so let's start out with some questions, guys. Um, Gene, I'll throw this one to you. Okay. True Justice asks... Uh, this case is about the article only, the op-ed. Mm -hmm. Camille is no better than an ambulance chasing lawyer. You cannot badger a witness and make snide comments trying to influence the jury. Case for a mistrial, is that valid? This no. <laughs> if, if there was a mistrial every time a, an attorney was obnoxious, rude, or inconsiderate, then you'd have a lot of retrials in the United States of America. And on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 the worst, 5 average, uh, Miss uh, Vasquez is three. probably a 4. And it, it doesn't bother me. It may bother some people. But this is what you do on cross. You have to, you have to control the witness. It's not for people who are weak and timid. And Ms. Vasquez is doing the right thing by trying to rein in Amber Heard. And this is really the, the nature of cross-examination, I want to add as well. Yes. This is how it, this is how it works. This is how cross-examination... Camille Lee is it, insane. Is, she's she's is, really good. You're not having tea. Yeah. Cross-examination is the, the, the greatest legal tool to get out the truth. It's a beautiful thing. But you can't cross that line into being obnoxious. And Camille Vax says Camille, he's far Camille. from crossing the line. She's doing a very good job. Linda, your thoughts? Camille. Okay, is that when she makes the comments, how convenient, which she's made a couple of times here, uh, the attorney for Amber Heard then should be jumping up and saying, Your Honor, this is inappropriate. We'd ask it to stop. That's the only thing I think in that, French, that say, is being allowed Camille. to happen because I know if I try to make those say comments it, in court, people be jumping up Camille. all over me and not letting me do it. You can't even say okay it's, when an answer is given sometimes. It's kind of hard to say because the, the end of Camille has yeah. a weird okay um so we're fast the, at the end the court is should be coming back from so lunch here any Kimmy. second now any minute Kimmy. Uh, so we just want to let you know so stay tuned for that we have another question marie i'm gonna send this one to you Kimmy. And Lucas is asking, defamation lawsuits are especially hard to win. Is it too soon to calculate the odds for Johnny Depp? Marie, what do you think? I think it's too soon to calculate the odds for Johnny Depp because this testimony that is being elicited from Amber Heard is really, really showing that Amber is not the only one diminishing, omitting, and embellishing. They're both doing it. And I, yeah. I say this because um, there was a, an audio from 2016 where they were already divorced and they met somewhere to do some sort of damage control because things were going out of control now in that audio both of them put themselves in a situation where mutual abuse could be verified Johnny says I don't want this to go any further she says, I know you don't, because they're making me out to look like a liar, and I have all the evidence. And he is saying, you know what, it'll be bad for you too, because we both were guilty in, in a way. What? Now, you know what? It's not over until all the evidence is produced. All right. Yeah, it's not over till it's over, and we're still. It might not seem like that long of a time until it's over, but it's still a while. Closing arguments are next Friday, May twenty seventh. So we still no, got some time. I and, don't. You know, I, pendulum I, can swing I, back and forth. In I these things. slimly agree, but I most it. disagree. Um, Gene, I'm going to give you this question from right. Stephanie Gowdy. It's a five dollar question on YouTube. Amber said she submitted everything to her lawyers. Can her team bring out new pictures that her team has Pointing not seen? Pointing at possible collateral damage isn't an admission. Um, could, of similar harm on both sides sure or similar things. It's just not. The other side. They can't, they I don't can't agree with it. They can't blindside the other side 
um, but they could on redirect try to bring in some photos but uh, if they weren't listed as exhibits the judge may not let them in all right uh, and we want to let you know that the court uh, you know everybody's back in the courtroom except for the jury there's a sidebar going on right now so everybody is uh, up at the bench the attorneys and judge ask karate uh, let's go now um, Jean this is from C period per five dollar question on YouTube why can't we hear anything when lawyers ask to approach the judge is that stuff that stays off the record or <laughs> the sidebars are where the rubber meets the road if you're an attorney. There's some things that happen in the sidebar that the public will not know, but uh, it's pretty important. So those sidebars are, are sealed, if you will, from the jury. I can't uh, they may eventually become because public after this trial's over. But that's where legal I'm, arguments I'm in are made, now. Let me and entry arguments are made, and some very pointed arguments are made that attorneys don't usually make in front of a jury, right. but they do in sidebar. <laughs> it can be a little more coarse up there, yes, I think. But, a little uh, more like, it, you know, we're at the you know bar hanging out. Uh, I'm not a big fan of sidebars unless the judge puts it on the record later, but speaking of something I am a fan of regarding sidebars, the Law and Crime Sidebar Podcast. You guys, we love putting this together for you. Um, we've been doing it for several weeks now, and it's available on Apple, Google, Spotify, and YouTube, wherever else you get your podcasts. It's a great listen. Jesse Weber and I work hard on this every day, um, and we try to bring you the very latest information. Um, I put together something that sh I think is out right now, just came out in the last hour or so, mm -hmm. on um, Amber Heard's direct from yesterday and then the beginning of the cross. Uh, so there's some goodies in there. You won't want to uh, miss that, so check us out. Uh, again, we are waiting for court to start uh, over again. Oh my gosh, we have to read, we would start up again. This is from Twitch, Toto Rock. <laughs> <laughs> like Toto, the band, I don't know. Hello, thank you for all the work you've done. I was wondering what is the impact about Hollywood articles mentioning that Amber Heard became a figure a of anti-domestic violence and link with current case. And this is uh, from France. That's, uh, this is, uh, Toto Rock is from France. So thanks, Toto Rock. Um, Gene, I guess I'll send that question to you. Could you repeat that okay, question? Okay, yeah, sorry, I was a little over the, all over the place. Um, I was wondering what is the impact of Hollywood articles mentioning that Amber Heard became a figure of anti-domestic violence and link with current case? So the, the, there's a language difference there, so. Okay, uh, will the articles, uh, the Hollywood articles saying that she was an anti-domestic abuse uh, champion uh, going to be introduced at trial? Uh, maybe not, but she's already described that, and her op-ed basically speaks for itself that at some point in 2018, uh, she wore a mantle of someone who was against uh, domestic violence. So that's very important for the jury. It may come out in, uh, in the next couple of days, uh, the articles themselves, but uh, maybe in closing referred to. I think Camille Vasquez might have brought them up like when we were kind of getting out here for lunch. Well, um, do I get the chance? I think I maybe get the, one the of them after, came right? up. And, and it was stuff talking it about just bought um, it. Amber Heard, uh, these articles, and about Johnny Depp uh, being a victim of domestic violence. All right, Aaliyah Henderson Carter. It just Linda. sent the message. Dude, it just sent it. It didn't let me modify it. So dumb, it's fine. It's fine, I didn't see it. <coughs> Shut up. That's a good idea, sorry. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, I, I sent a sticker. I'm not signing up. I'm not signing up. Shut up. All right, thank you. You can be seated. All right, your next question. We're breaking all the rules today. Uh, 
Tom, may I please have you put up uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 881A? Eight eight one A. Ms. Hurd, I'm going to ask you to take a look at Plaintiff's Exhibit eight eight one A. Um, this is one of the articles containing the counterclaim statements by Adam Waldman. Is that correct? I haven't seen the article yet. Eight eight okay. one A. Why don't we go to page eight of this article? <laughs> oh my God. Adam Waldman, Depp's lawyer, said afterwards, quote, Amber Heard and her friends in the media use fake sexual violence allegations as both a sword and shield, depending on their needs. They have selected some of her sexual violence hoax facts as a sword, inflicting them on the public and Mr. Depp. Well, do you see right. that? Yes, I do. Is that one of the statements that you allege are defamatory? It's defamatory? That's, that's correct. Um, can we please go to Plaintiff's Exhibit 881B? And if we could go to page 10 and 11. Show me, please. What's up with the buzzing? In exhibit, Plaintiff's Exhibit 881B, Duff's lawyer Adam Waldman said the various discrepancies prove that nothing heard and her friends said about the events of May 21, 2016 could be considered credible. Quite simply, this was an ambush, a hoax. They set Mr. Depp up by calling the cops, but the first attempt didn't do the trick, he told the DailyMail.com. The officers came to the penthouses, thoroughly searched and interviewed, and left after seeing no damage to face or property. So Amber, her friends, spilled a little wine and roughed the place up, got their story straight under the direction of a lawyer and publicist, and then placed a second call to 911. We heard about this yesterday. But even this didn't have... Oh, apologize. You're fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, man. Come on, Dud. Guys, what's up with the buzzing? You guys, you guys hear the buzzing, right? I oh, there you go. Good job, Robin. Thanks, Addy. Okay, now what? Yeah, they kind of spoke about this uh, thing yesterday, so I don't know why they're going back to it, but I guess there's a, a reason for it. We'll see how it goes. Unless, Chad, that was during direct. Was that during direct or during uh, the juicer? Do not, get, do not get it twisted. Interesting. Does another word called juicer? Well, I think it's a juicer. It depends. Depends what kind of what kind of how you use it. Is that really a bad thing? I don't think it's a bad thing. A juicer is something that ha that has energy. It has presence. A juicer, a juicer is something that that goes. It does. A juicer just. It doesn't need to think. It just is and does. It's active. It's a, it's an active part of whatever the, whatever you're talking about. It goes in in the first sentence or not. It is both at the same time. You understand? And if we can please uh, pull up plaintiff's exhibit eight eight one C. And go to page 11. Emma's going to win this. Even if she wins this, I don't think it matters that much. This is another article, Ms. Heard, where you argue that uh, Mr. Waldman's statements are defamatory, correct? I don't know if this is taken from that article because I can't see the article in full. It's page 11 of the article. And the statement reads, Statement reads, The 
Testament reads The buzzing is back and it's now hardcore. I guess it's like a whole mass like a whole nest. It's nesting. We have reached the beginning of the end of Ms. Hurd's abuse host against Mr. Depp. Is that correct? Is that one of the defam what you claim is one of the defamatory statements sent I, by Mr. Waldman? I believe so. Okay. Thank you. Ms. Hurd, you're not aware of any career opportunities that you lost as a result of Mr. Waldman's statements, are you? Well, it's kind of hard to point to the jobs you're not offered, right. to the gigs you don't get. You were not replaced in Aquaman 2, were you? They released me from my contract, and I fought to stay in it, and they kept me in it. I just don't know how much I'm in, actually, of the final cut. And you testified yesterday that L'Oreal actually extended your contract in April of 2020. Is that correct? In part. They extended and it and held me. And you testified yesterday that L'Oreal extended your contract again in November of 2021, correct? Not exactly. They extended it because it couldn't use me or any of the materials uh, for me. And that extension was for 20 months, right? That's correct. Okay. Ms. Hurd, you testified yesterday how Mr. Waldman's statements, quote, torture you every day. Do you recall that testimony? I do. And then, um, and that you look at them every day. I look at the um, online attacks, the media, you can't avoid it, to be honest, that those statements are often attached to. Yeah. I don't look at his statements every day. Okay. And you testified that you just want to move on with your life, right? I do very much want to move on with my life. But you've gone out of your way to engage with Mr. Waldman on social media, haven't you? Uh, I have made a comment, I believe, once. I did not, I would not characterize that as engaging with him. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1266. Uh oh. I, you, you, it's right there. Your microphone. Yeah. Your microphone. Just, I, I don't have this yet, so I'm asking for it it's to right be there. given to okay. me before. It's a photograph. I think it's just a. Okay. This is your tweet, right, Ms. Hurd? That is correct. I'm going to move to admit and publish this tweet. Object on relevance. What is it? The objection. I'm sorry. Is it, what's the Relev objection? I'm sorry. Relevance. All right. I'll overrule the objection. Eight eight one C in evidence. Sorry. Can we please have it published to the jury? It's a tweet. I'm sorry. One two six six. I apologize. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wildman. I may be wearing makeup. This is from March 26, 2021, right? That's what it looks like, yes. And this is after he made the statement you claim, the statements you claim are defamatory, right, Ms. Hurd? 21, yes. Ms. Hurd, you tweeted at Adam Waldman, quote, yes, Mr. Waldman, I may be wearing makeup on this occasion, but on every occasion you will still be short. Did I read that right? Yes. Okay. We can put this down. Thank you. Ms. Hurd, since your relationship with Mr. Depp ended, you have completed your level three sommelier training, haven't you? I haven't completed it yet. You're I just on stopped. level two? No, I'm on level three. My man kind of got boiled up, but to you be honest. You also have had a baby, right? I have. And you enjoy being a mother? More than anything. You still love to cook? I do. And you love to hike? I actually charred. I'm taking a break on hiking for a minute. You have friends, right? I do have friends. And you spend time with those friends? Occasionally, when I can. And you exercise regularly? Every day. You just filmed a movie in March of 2022, isn't that right? Yes, the one I just shot in Guatemala that I spoke of earlier. And you have, um, you had a major role in a major film that's scheduled to be released soon, is that correct? Aquaman 2? As I said, I don't know if I will even be in the final cut, or how much I will be. It was difficult to how, see in the movie. How much? If, you're, if, she's in, if she's the main character, wouldn't she be in it? You struck Mr. Depp multiple times during your relationship, didn't you, Ms. Heard? There were many times I had to use my body to defend myself, and that included swinging wherever I could. If it meant I could get away, absolutely. If it meant 
a, a difference between a sore face and a broken nose? You bet I would. You That's bet. your testimony under oath that you never struck Mr. Depp as the initial aggressor? Well, I, he was holding me against the wall by my neck. You know, I might be the first person to have been the, the, the first one to slap, which happened in Australia, you know, and he was choking me. But I wouldn't say I was the initial aggressor in that situation. You got physical with Mr. Depp often during your relationship, didn't you? I had to defend myself as best I could. Um, didn't seem to make much of a difference. You just couldn't control yourself, could you, Ms. Hurd? I tried to defend myself when I could, um, but it was after years of not defending myself. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 356? And, Your Honor, portions of the ex exhibit were entered into evidence yesterday, but we moved to admit the entire six. recording. All right, and eight. I can confirm that there is no other voices besides Ms. Hurd's and Mr. Depp's. And I intend to play um, from 129.27 to 130.07. So I have 356A in evidence. Does any objection to the, the entire 356 coming into evidence? If you may, if I may. Hold okay. On just for sure. a moment, Your Honor. I have to check on something. Which one? Speak louder, I want to hear it. Your Honor, can you do the excerpt for now and we'll double check our notes on that because there was one that had something in that, that we couldn't go and I just can't right. find my notes on that. Oh, right we'll now. just call it 356B for now. That's fine, and thank then, you, Your Honor. Could you just give me the, the times again? Yes, of course. 12927 to 13007. All right, and I'm just told that we already have a B, so we have to do 356C. Okay. 40 second you. clip. Okay, thank you, that's Your Honor. it. This better be good. I can't promise you I won't get physical with that. God, I fucking sometimes get so mad, I lose it. I can fucking promise you I'm you know do everything to change. I promise you. I'm not gonna go around divorce. I will not say divorce unless I leave you. Unless it's it. And then I hope you leave me. I'm not going to if you need to, I will leave you. It's fair. I can't do it. You know, and I think honestly, if we hold each other accountable to that, it's fair. Ms. Hurd, that's you and Mr. Depp on that recording, correct? That's correct. And you told Mr. Depp, quote, I can't promise you that I won't get physical, end quote, correct? That, that's correct. He was accusing me of instigating something in a situation I explained yesterday. And you also told Mr. Depp that sometimes you get so mad you lose it, correct? That's correct. I also explained the context of that fight yesterday. Isn't that exactly what you told Ben King on your way back from Australia? That you get so mad you lose it? Absolutely not. I know that that's what Ben King testified to, but I never had that conversation with Ben King. What? If we could please In play... Meantime, I'm sorry. Um, I checked, and I have no objection to the entirety of 356 right. coming so in. So 356 in its entirety will be in evidence. All right, thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. We could please play from what's now been admitted. Play is this not the fourth time? Is this somebody's lying? From 705 to 743. This is the fourth time. She says in two days that everybody's lying on stand, no, on under oath. Everybody's lying. Fucking altercation don't. with you. Then don't. You fucking hit me. At last least. Last night, you fucking. What about all the other times you split? It, come on, you cannot act like that. It's about that. It's well, not. Well, on a plane, I can't split. No, and you hit back. So don't act like you don't fucking participate. I pushed you. I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You and I both know that you split when there is no physical violence. And that you do it and meet, like at the very beginning of fights these days. And if you split and you go into a different room and you don't actually leave that house, it does nothing but perpetuate the fight. And you what don't the actually fuck? do it respectfully. You don't. She's justifying physical harm because he escapes Sir, a verbal argument? On this recording? Yes, it is. Can we please uh, pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 343? And I believe that one's been admitted already into evidence. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And just for the record, um, we're playing from 24601 to 24720. I said to Travis, I said, Good. no, I said to you, hey, okay. tell Travis right. what just happened. Oh, you, well, you told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do 
that. She said, no, I tell them what you said. And I lied. And that you punched me in You're the right. fucking thing. And you, you figured it all out. And you said, no, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you, you lie. And then I, I didn't I punch you, by the way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, uh, hit you across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. I don't know. Yeah. No, I, when you fucking have a close You didn't get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are you? How, what am I supposed saying. to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. That's the difference between me and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you started. You are such a baby. Grow the fuck up, Tony. Says you. I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Man. That's you and Mr. Depp on that recording, right, Mr. That's correct. That is damning. You hit Mr. Depp, right? Yeah, I had to hit his body to get Ms. him Hurd, out of the door. My question was, you said on that recording that you hit Mr. Depp, right? Yes, I did. Okay. And you accused him of being a baby for not wanting to be in a physical fight with you, right? Incorrect. I accused him of being a baby for complaining about me hitting him when he was trying to get through the door. I was trying to barricade. Right. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 368? And again, Your Honor, this is a recording of just Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd. Um, I'm going to move for the ex entire exhibit to be moved into evidence. All right, any objections? No, objection three, six, eight. Uh, I don't think so, no, Your Honor. All right, no objection. Three, six, eight in evidence in its entirety. Okay. This is shitty law. Any, anyway. I mean, she's actually ill, though. I mean, it's, I don't know. Open the bathroom door when you were knocking on it. After a few times I opened, and you, you know, you just come in, you just kept going, you just kept going, kept going. I tried to close the door three times. My fault, no. You know, please, please, yeah. just don't, you know, and then wait, and then. Nope. Then I, 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 I accidentally, I swear, when I was trying to close the door, I guess it scraped your toes. And I didn't, I, you know, I didn't mean to do that. And I bent down, and you either pushed or you kicked. I think you kicked the door open. I, I mean, so the door, yeah, more open, so that it would I hit me. And it hit no, me. I, wait, I didn't mean wait. to. I didn't know it that. It hit me in the fucking head. But I did not mean to do that. I, I don't know what I was about. bent down behind the door. I did not do anything to her. I did not kick a, a door or push a door so that it would hit you. I did not. I, I swear. But I, I don't even, that did not. It was not my intention. I, I think I remember when the door scraped my toes, I, um, I, I reacted, but this whole, the door thing, I, I remember, I, I never did that. That wasn't on purpose. I might've done it on accident. Okay. But. So let's say that was an accident. I then stood up. I don't even know if I said, I mean, I might've said like, what the fuck, what, you know, Whatever, because I just been hit in the head with the fucking corner of the door. I'm so sorry. I did not. I'm sorry. Mom. And then I stood up, and then you fucking clocked me. I I remember hitting you as a response to the door thing. What? Mm. That is not how that the door thing. I'm really sorry about hitting you with the door with our. Uh, hitting your head I did not mean to nor you didn't uh, mean to hit me in the head with the door but you meant to I did punch mean, me in the jaw I meant to hit you and I I, I did not do this thing with the door I, I do remember I did mean to hit you so that you didn't yeah. mean the door no god no I didn't and but punching me in the, in the jaw I didn't you. okay I'm sorry I hit you I did mean to hit you but it was in a res in response I just reacted in response to response to what my foot I just reacted and I'm sorry it's below me your foot that was why you punched me yeah but but I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry if I what Again, that's you and Mr. Depp on that recording, right? That's correct. 
And Mr. Depp was hiding from you in the bathroom. Isn't Incorrect. that right, Ms. Hurd? Incorrect. Well, Mr. Depp said on that recording, I opened the bathroom door when you were knocking on it. Does he? he? I don't know if he said that. In, I, I didn't hear that. And Mr. Depp said, when I was trying to close the door, I guess it scraped your toes. He says that, doesn't he? Correct. And then you kicked the bathroom door into his head, didn't you? No, I didn't. And, and I then you punched him in the jaw. myself in that audio. You can hear it. Defended. Right. And then you punched him in the jaw. I also did not do that. I tried to make that clear on the audio tape, too. So, in futility. So Mr. Depp said, you meant to punch me in the jaw, right? Are you asking me what he said on the, yeah. on the recording? Yes, he said that. And then you respond, I meant to hit you, didn't you? I, as I explained yesterday, I was trying to get him off the door. What? And you said, I remember, I did mean to hit you. Meaning the door. The door this was on doesn't the add up. You've I reacted this. instinctively to that. Yeah, you've heard this audio before, haven't you, Ms. Heard? Yeah, we've already had this trial before. Yeah, you've played, it was played for you when you were deposed in 2016 in connection with your divorce from Mr. Depp, wasn't it? That's one of the times I've heard it, yes. Okay. So you've had plenty of time to think about how to respond to this recording, haven't you? I don't know what you mean by that. Well, let's take a look at how you responded to it the first time. Can we please pull up what will be marked Plaintiff's Exhibit 1261? In any, ca in any case, the next thing that I'm going to play your, your to Honor, you okay. uh, as Hugh. All right. This is another new. Oh, you want to okay. come? Okay. Okay. I wish they asked more questions about it because they're ba they they backtracked. So she does something and she says she's doing something. It doesn't make sense. From what I understand, right? From what I understand, door, right? Door, like this, right? And and then uh, uh, Mr. J is here, right? And uh, she's here, right? And then he's trying to hide into, in, inside of the, the the bathroom. This is the bathroom. Okay, guys, guys, this is an invisible wall. Okay, you guys see it or not? So then, she tries to bust in, she tries to get in, and she's trying to hide, right? And then she's, so her toe stubs. And then, and then he goes like, oh, well, what the fuck? What the fuck? Because he thinks he hurts her, right? She, she, right? And then, in response to that, she kicks the door in his face, and smokes him, then opens it, then she punches him. But in the question, she says that, oh yeah, I punched him in response to the toe. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? It, it, it doesn't. The door open in the words? Oh, you're right. I'm going to read it into the record. Oh, question. she was so, pulling um, it. I will. Oh. So, Your Honor, for reference, and I will provide a copy so right. of the deposition, Ms. Hurd's deposition in the divorce. It's uh, page 372, lines starting at line 5 through 377, line 12. All right. She's I pushing. Think. Okay. Yes. May I approach, Your Honor? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. In any capacity, she is the one trying Honor, to go. With permission, may we please I'm play? Done. Can we just get to that page? Make sure everybody's at the. Oh, could you could you say the page number again, yes, please? Yes, absolutely. In any capacity, she's trying to breach the door. <laughs> page three seventy two, lines five to three seventy seven, line. One is what I have. Twelve. Line twelve. Alright. If we could have a moment, you're under two. Read so it before. It's she's trying to be violent, hurts herself by doing so, then responds with two more acts of violence back to back because of her own her own actions. That's so dumb.
Don't you fucking dare, dud. To read it before it's played. By the way, it will. I will never lag. It, it will always be the, the broadcast. So I don't want to be rude. It just. It's how it is. Or YouTube. I don't lag. I do not lag. Guys, I do not lag. To read it before it's played. You're lagging as well? You're watching as you're lagging? I'm also lagging. I'm going to it's lagging. Thank you, Your Honor. If we can please have it published to the jury in the gallery. The next thing that I'm going to play to you uh, as Hugh. Would you listen to this, please? I, I'm going to play it on their, on their uh, the Twitch thing. Guys, it's not me. I'm, 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 I promise. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. If we can please have it published to the jury in the gallery. Okay. Sunny man, can you link their, 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 their broadcast? The next thing that I'm going to play to you uh, as Hugh. Would you listen to this? No, Addy, it's YouTube. YouTube. See? See? Look, the numbers are all fucked up. YouTube is crashing. YouTube just sucks balls. Your Honor, maybe you stop that. I'm sorry. Shh. Sorry. Shh. I'll I'll stop talking. Take it off. Yeah, Twitch is crashing and YouTube. But mostly YouTube. Okay. Damn, she aged. Holy shit. Okay. Then they can do a prop. They can do it through reading the deposition, Your Honor. They don't need to do that. In six years? I asked them to take it off the screen. <sighs> Happens, yeah, I get it. Um, all call plays a decent role in that for sure. Okay, all the wine. Are you kidding me? That's fine. Thank you. I have no objection. Can we that. please uh, start it over? The next thing that I'm going to play to you uh, as Hugh, would you listen to this, please? This is punching. Right. Sure you are. My name's Jenny Lee. I was in the bathroom. I was in the I was in I accidentally, I swear, when I was trying to close the door, 
him in that uh, uh, excerpt that you hit him with the door but did not intend to hit him, correct? Did you say that? I, uh, I said whatever I said in that recording. Okay. I don't, um, when you play it for me, it's hard for me to remember every single And that's a recording marked as exhibit the punch uh, Q. That Q. Q. Would you continue to listen to exhibit Q? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Are these from the same day? I'm, I'm, I'm reacting, but this whole the door thing, I, I remember, I never did that. That was in all purpose. I'm not eating, man. Oh, my God. I don't even know if I said, I might have said, what the fuck, you know, whatever. I just been in the head with the fucking corner of the door. I'm so sorry. I did not. I'm sorry. I did not stood up. I, I remember hitting you as a response to the door thing. Yeah. That's exactly what I just told her. Yeah. I know you're really sorry about hitting you at the door. Uh, hitting your head did not mean to ignore. You don't need to hit me in the head with the door, but you meant to I didn't punch me in the jaw. I meant to hit you, and I. I I did not do this thing at the door. I, I do remember. I did mean to hit you. Was that you didn't mean? The door? No, God, no. I didn't. I didn't. Okay, I'm sorry. So on the tape, you tell Johnny Depp that you did mean to hit him. And it also misrepresents and misrepresents okay. what actually happened, which is him trying to get into a room. I'm trying to keep him out. Of. <coughs> and then he runs the door over my toes, trying to get into the room. I tried to push him out of it, which is what the hit is referred to. And Johnny, whenever he was injured or touched at all, was re referred to it in these ways of punching or clogged or whatever. And whether you discussed it with him or not, the last thing you do in, in talking to him afterwards or trying to reconcile with him is to get into what the definition of those words mean to him. Never, I never even addressed it. He would, if he was ever pushed, it was, it was a quote. He called it a, a cold clock. I mean, it's just very dramatic. Isn't about it true? Man? You're smiling as that audio recording is being played in your deposition, aren't you, Miss Heard? Not smiling because of the audio. I'm smiling because of what's happening around me. You even roll your eyes at one point, don't you? I was sitting opposite a whole table full of lawyers who were snickering, laughing, and rolling their eyes at me while I was talking. Is there something amusing about kicking a door into your husband's head? No, I was rolling my eyes and commenting on what I was experiencing at that time in yeah. recounting the story. Is there something amusing to you about punching your husband in the jaw? That is not what I was smiling about, and no, I do not think it's amusing. Ms. Hurd, you testified yesterday that all you want to do is move on. Do you remember that testimony? Yes, I do. Yeah, your exact words were, quote, I just want him to leave me alone. I want to move on with my life, and he won't let me. Do you remember that? Uh-oh. Yes, that is correct. That's, that's Major Cappuccino. But that's not true, is it, Ms. Hurd? It is very true. You just haven't been able to move on with your life, have you? From Mr. Depp. I'm here, aren't I? In fact, on October 11th, 2018, that's not you actually commenced an arbitration action against Mr. Depp for defamation, didn't you? Um, I don't recall that, no. Your Honor, may I approach? May we approach? Oh, she's going line of questioning, and then she's saying, I don't recall when she does or whatever? What's going to happen here?
Chad, is she allowed to continue a lot of questioning that is past a uh, event if she says that the event she doesn't recall and that she doesn't really exist? Is she allowed to continue asking questions about it? Pull out plaintiff's it? exhibit 219. She is, okay. I misheard. If you could please read to yourself the first page of exhibit 219. All right. Hmm. Come on, Michelle. Come on. We're waiting to blush it up. Also, oh, stop blushing, right? Sorry. And if you can also read to yourself the second page of Exhibit Two One Nine. Oh, today it's Tom. Oh man, up on Michelle. Yes. And if you can scroll down, Tom, again, Miss Heard, just to look at that page. Yeah, I agree. Tom is Tom is pretty good. Yeah, Tom does a pretty good job at scrolling and whatnot. He's pretty good at it. And then scroll down to the next page, please. Yeah, he, he has a good vibe of where they're trying to go with the with the document and follow through with the, with the scrolling. He's a scrolling. scrolling On the next page. Sullivan. Oh, it's her paralegal. Is it? Do you get paid a lot as a paralegal who does the scrolling for high like this or not? Does that refresh your recollection, Ms. Heard, that you did, in fact, in October of 2018, two months before you published the op-ed in this case, that's the subject of this case, you initiated an arbitration against Mr. Depp for defamation? It's not my understanding I initiated an arbitration. I, it's my understanding that our lawyers sent a lawyer, I mean, a letter to his lawyers after he called me a liar again, effectively, in an interview. And that's two months before your op-ed that was published in December of 2018, right? That is correct. And that's six months before Mr. Depp filed a case, this case against you, correct? That's correct. So you fired the first shot, not Mr. Depp. I disagree. We sent a letter. Okay. Thank you. That's essentially what that means. Ms. Heard, isn't it true that you once filled out a customs form falsely so that you could get... May we approach? Okay. Oh, wow. Impressive. Elizabeth, if the tables were turned and it was Amber's lawyers, they would have finished a sentence even though the objection was made to try to sneak this information. And even though the, the objection uh, uh, would have been um, sustained, they would have, the jury would have still been affected by it, which is one of their main strategies. I'm, I'm, I'm not even being biased. That's what they do. It's, it's a bread and butter. They've been doing it over and over again. I like that there's eyebrows. I think they're pretty good. It's like a, it's, it's like a, a permanent surprise angry. It's like him. No?
But I, I, did, I can't do it without like actually forcing my eyes. I'm trying to do it, but without my eyes being uh, uh, squinched. It's hard, man. What is that? What is this remix? Oh hell nah. What? Top right, the sleeper. Oh yeah, this guy is kind of slumped, you're not wrong. Holy. Do you get paid a lot as a pedal legal? Who does this? Do you get paid a lot as a pedal? Like the hoodie text on. So I'm, as my brother is Jeff, I got it for me. I, I came here with no clothes, so they went to shop, shopping for me. Mr. Hurd, you testified yesterday that when you left the courthouse after obtaining the domestic violence restraining order against Mr. Depp, you walked out to quote a sea of uh, paparazzi and cameras, right? That's correct. You testified that you were surprised to see the sea of cameras. That's correct. Because it was quiet when you went into the courthouse that morning. And the divorce had remained under the radar up to that point. You testified that no one knew about your divorce, so you thought it was going to stay that way, right? No, I always figured it would come out. I just was trying to buy time. You knew the media had been alerted that you were filing for divorce, right, Ms. Heard? No, I just knew that it was impossible to do that privately, so you could just hope it was a matter of time. Yeah, you knew but they were going to be there, didn't you? Nah. No, I did not. No shot is a coincidence. I assume, I assume since it's a public building that there is a Absolutely no shot of possibility. Nope. But um, I was, you know, I was, I was shocked. Just stop. Your publicist Jody Gottlieb was there at the courthouse with you, wasn't she? Yes, she was. So you anticipated that you might need your publicist? I thought the filing might make, um, well, I was told the filing was public, that it would be impossible. There's no way for you to do a, a, fi a private filing. And then the second that I filed for the TRO, it would be public news. I didn't expect all these photographers and cameras to show up at the courthouse in real time, but they did. If we could please uh, pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit uh, 1280, which is a clip from your divorce nope. deposition. And you have at uh, page I can alert you. You have the transcript there, page what? 74, lines 22. You said 874? 74. 74. Line 22 through 75, line 13. I'm, I'm sorry, just 72 lines. 74, line 22 through 75, line 13. Bueno. In between the filing, which was done privately. Your Honor, may we approach? Okay. okay. The reason why I say the reason why I'm so adamant about this, and I know this is this is just manipulated with or just fake, because she files, and who knows how much time happened? Who knows how much time it is between the filing and her going to court, right? It all stays private. It all stays private. All this is private. Private. All, nobody knows about anything, and it just so happens that by the time that she gets out of the house, goes to the courthouse, and does a thing, right? That people now know and are also at the courthouse, ready for ready to catch her. In that amount of time, that from all that time, it's all private. 
that small amount of time, zeros of the courthouse, everybody knows they're going to show up. No shot. Fuck off. No shot. Just no shot. And it so happens that she has no. It just so happens that she has no makeup or whatever. When she admittedly said that not only her face, her face wash has uh, a foundation in it, but two, she never walks in LA without makeup. Uh, without makeup on. That's just cap. That's cappuccino. That that's cap Ross. That's cap That's cap a loss. Cap a floss. That's cap a cap a moss. The whole thing. If we could please play and display to the jury Plaintiff's Exhibit 1280. 1280? Ms. Hurd, did you send a text message to Jerry Judge on May 24, 2016, telling Jerry Judge, quote, I'm desperately trying to reach Johnny. It's extremely important. Please tell him. I remember sending the text message that is in front of me right now to Jerry. Uh, and I would like, I remember sending this because I wanted to tell Johnny or have him told by Jerry or someone who knew him or was close to him. Basically, I didn't want him to find out online that I had or was about to file or I had already filed for divorce. I wanted him to know verbally. So I was trying to reach him through a third party to tell him. When I say reach, I'm specifically saying I would like him to know information coming from me or coming from Jerry from me so that he Wait, finds what? out about that, that's the divorce filing or my intention to do so from some other source other than TMZ, which was alerted. You slipped up there, didn't you, Ms. Hurd? You let it slip out that TMZ had been alerted to your filing of the domestic violence restraining order, didn't you? I disagree. That's not what I'm talking about. TMZ is the same outlet that you released the video of Mr. Depp attacking the kitchen cabinets the day before this deposition was taken, wasn't it? I didn't do that. I don't TMZ know how owns to do that. the copyright to that video now, doesn't it? I have no idea what TMZ owns. Did they owns. pay you for that? I never got paid for it because I had nothing to do with that. So TMZ was just lucky in getting the inside scoop to your divorce from Mr. Depp, huh? I have no idea. It is not, that's not my area of exp expertise. I wouldn't even know how to do that. And also, what does that get me? If I wanted to leak things about Johnny, I could have done that in a much more successful way, in a bigger way. But she did. For years. Not when years. you were extorting him for $7 million. I got a fraction of what I was entitled to in the state of California, by the way. Right. What extortion? Tossa Van Reeves, your ex-wife. She's mauled. Right? That's right. She's my ex-partner. She's the one that told, that you told this jury Mr. Depp was jealous of, right? Yeah, well, that was a 2013 fight in, around March, yes. You testified that he tried to burn one of her paintings, right? That's correct. You testified he tried to burn um, one of your favorite paintings that she did, right? I don't know if it was one of my favorites. <laughs> You committed domestic violence against Miss Van Reed during your relationship, didn't you? No, I did not. You assaulted her at a Seattle airport in 2009, didn't you? No, I did not. And people saw that? That's not true. And it was covered in the press. Isn't that true? It was, a, it was planted in the press by Johnny's team two days after I got the TRO. Uh, not coincidentally. Can you please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1279? Planted, fake, edited, but her pictures? Nah, dude. Your Honor, may we approach? It's a glitch. It's a light. It's a problem with the camera. The sun was feeling shy that day. The the lighting on my camera was bugged. Interference with 5G. Jesus, man. Interesting. Like my excuses? Shut up, idiot. I'm not even bothering. I'm not bothering. Literally, I'm not. I'm literally not bothering. If you could please have that article displayed for the witness. This is an article from two years ago, correct, Miss Heard? 
I don't know when this May was. of 2020. That's not when it came out, no. This story started getting planted in, after I got a TRO, after I got a restraining order against Johnny. The headline says Amber Heard Objection, allegedly Your struck. Objection, Your Honor. I, I think Your Honor ruled she can't say that. If you want to approach again. She can't say that? Well, why the, f why the fuck not? I'm on Tim Camilli. Go Camilli, go. The title reads, Amber Heard allegedly grabbed, struck her ex-girlfriend at the airport. Doesn't it? Yes, and that's not true. May we approach? Okay. Dude, I, I just think it's crazy that she claims so many things are true, fake, uh, people are lying under oath. She's saying that everybody's lying. The doctors, the guards, the whatever. Like, is she just that unlikable that, that, that people will be skewed against her? Like, there's either she's lying or she's so unbearable in real life that people are just skewed to fuck over in court, which is unlikely. Or both. So the article, the title is Amber Heard allegedly struck her ex-girlfriend. She's already no, oh, overruled. Go ahead. Thank you. If I may start over. Amber Heard allegedly struck her ex-girlfriend Tossa Van Rie at the airport in 2009. Did I read that right? Yes. This is another example of the smear campaign. So Mr. Depp is not the only domestic partner you've assaulted, is he, Ms. Heard? I've never assaulted Mr. Depp or anyone else that I've been romantically linked to, ever. No further questions, Your Honor. Wait, right. wait, what? I mean, I'm you. sorry, redirect. Ms. Heard, did Ms. Van Ray come out after that article came in and make a public statement it was false? Of course. Yeah. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I, Your Honor, I should at least be <laughs> overruled. Thank you. Of course she did. Okay. Now, let's talk about the TMZ alerted. Explain to the jury what you meant by the TMZ was alerted. Uh, so when you make these kind of filings, meaning divorce, uh, marriage, things like that, they are public record. And so when we file for divorce, when I file for divorce, I ask my team to file in the most discreet way, literally to put it under a stack. She said they missed it. File it at the end of day. So kind of had more of a shot of being missed by the paparazzi and by TMZ and those sorts of. She said they missed it. Outlets. I believe that we had been remarkably lucky following the divorce, that it wasn't picked up and that it gave me a, a precious few days um, of, of, of peace at that really fragile time. When I found out that they were going to run the story or that they had the information, I was trying to get a hold of Johnny to clarify that I did not do this in a punitive way. I didn't want him to be mad at me. I didn't, you know, I didn't want him to find out in that sort of context online. And who had connections to TMZ? Objection calls for speculation. Uh, do you know? I who, do know. Johnny and I Honor, spoke about Your Honor, calls for speculation. The objection. Uh, did Mr. Depp tell you about who had connections with, Ms. with TMZ? Yes, we talked about it. His lawyer, Laura Wasser. Okay. Now, I'm going to start at the very beginning here. Um, you were asked by Ms. Vasquez about why Mr. Depp won't or can't look you in the eye. And she read out, or she played a tape in which Mr. Depp said, you will not see my eyes again. Do you recall that? I do. And no. that was during the mediation process in July, uh, good one, correct? Then. That was Objection the leading. first one. Sustained okay. the leading. When was this? That was in July of 2016. Was that, that was the first mediation. And 
We had a short exchange, and he put a note in my pocket that said, I'll love you dead or alive. You're kidding, right? You're kidding, right? Ed out, or she played a tape in which Mr. Depp said, you will not see my eyes again. Do you recall that? Everybody's lagging, everybody's lagging. that was during the mediation process in July, correct? That was the leading. First one, sustained okay. the leading. When was this? That was in July 2016. That was the first mediation. And we had a short exchange, and he put a note in my pocket that said, I'll love you dead or alive. I'm sorry? Okay. Yeah, it's them. Confirmed. Do you recognize... Now we're good. Now we're synced up. Okay, well, I mean, this is broken. Oh no, I did the broadcast. Meeting? When was this? That was in July of 2016. That was the first mediation. We had a short exchange and he put a note in my pocket that said, I'll love you. 10 to 10 when it's fixed. Could you tell the jury what the coaster was that he slipped into your pocket, what it said? He said, I love you forever, my Slim, dead or alive. And what, if anything, did it have in addition? His new phone number. Okay. And, and to be, just so we're clear, on how many occasions in that second mediation did Mr. Depp look you in the eye? Um, many. Okay. And when Ms. Vasquez asked you if you knew why Mr. Depp couldn't or wouldn't look you in the eye here or in the UK, you said, yes, you know. Why? Please tell the jury why. Because he's guilty. Because he's, he knows he's lying. What? Otherwise, why can't he look at me? I survived. I survived that man and I'm here and I'm able to look at him. Thank you. You were asked about a bruise what that was, was on that? your arm uh, from March 15, 2013. Do you recall how long before the picture you had sustained that bruise? I do. How long? Two weeks. <clears throat> you were asked a number of times by Ms. Vasquez if you took pictures from your incidents earlier in the relationship. Yes. Why didn't you? It was something I started doing only kind of incidentally. You know, I was commenting to my best friend. I was looking for support from my mom, things like that. I, you know, there, there was, um, a shame to say, never a thought that, that this would happen. I mean, not until December and my best friend taking pictures of me to capture it. Did that even, that wasn't even a thing. It has been suggested by Ms. Vasquez to you in your questions that you didn't tell anyone about the abuse until the TRO. Is that true? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. All right. What if any, all right. <coughs> Who did you tell? about the abuse during the time it was happening. Objection, Your Honor. Leading That's not offered to, it's, and it's, hearsay. It's, it's, sustained. Your Honor, it's prior consistent statements. It's, it's leading, it's there. sustained. Next question. Okay. What, if anything, did you tell to anyone about the abuse? Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain. Your Honor, Your Honor, may I approach That's you? fine. Go. Dude. kind of crazy first question she goes in this big mall but whatever all of it and she just snaps and it's like you're in a car and she's and she just clutches and it's and then it's back to how the how the fuck how did I even do that she just, she just, she just clutched up man oh that's not the clutch oh yeah the clutch is on the foot uh, well Well, my car doesn't have a clutch. It's automatic. You know what I mean, though? It, ch it should change these gears.
The cars? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know I had I had three race cars. Boom. All, all, all automatic. But you can put them in manual though. Uh, it's not semi car. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start banning people in chat that say semi car. It's li Show us your phone. Ms. Heard, how many people have you shared the fact of abuse prior to 2015? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. How Calls many? for hearsay. How many? Overruled. <laughs> Roughly about 10. Can you name them? Objection, yes. Your Honor. Hearsay. She, I think she can. It's not offered. It's just to show that she had, that she informed people before. They're suggesting. Objection, Your Honor. Can we approach? This right. is, again, an approach. Damn. I like that. I like that she mutes her mic instead of spamming. I like that. It's high inappropriate. I agree also. Camille is right. Roughly about 10. Can you name them? Yes. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I think she can. It's not after. It's just to show that she had, that she informed people before. There's suggestion, Your Honor. Can we approach this? Is, again. This is inappropriate. Okay, guys, I think it's one of the more adult things that goes the hardest of the statement. That something is inappropriate. Because I think you can say something is weird. If there's a bunch of objective, objectives or words you could use, which is something is inappropriate, I think it's like, it's a role. That's, that's inappropriate. Yep. You were asked um, whether you had consulted a medical doctor no, it's kind of about now. any problems with your nose, correct? That's correct. And you indicated that you, in fact, had after the divorce, Objection correct? Objection leading. I, 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 did, did, you, did you or did you not consult an a, a, a ENT after the divorce? Objection I did. leading. Did you produce medical records to the defendants relating to this. Objection, no. leading calls. Right. I'll sustain the objection. Thank you. And, and Next question. And Your Honor, if we could, right. the uh, witness could be instructed not to answer until I right. lodge my objection. Let's wait for the objection, could, please. Could we bring so up I told you they're cheating. Exhibit told you. 1077. Holy. Do you recognize this document? Smoking. My screen is black. Oh, sorry. Wait. Yes, I do. And could you tell us what it is? That's the uh, what my ENT, the ears, nose, and throat doctor, um, told me was objection, my, Your Honor. Here's the damage. All right. I'll, when there's objection, please stop. Sorry, okay, thank you. All right. I'll sustain the objection as to hearsay. Okay. Uh, I, I'm. Uh, what if any? You were asked if you had. It, it was suggested that you had not produced this in discovery. Is that true? Or Objection, false? Your Honor. Leading. Your Honor, she, and she absolutely so did it's, that. It's leading. Is it's leading mm -hmm. question though? I'll sustain mm -hmm. the objection as to leading. Damn. What if anything did you do to produce medical records to the defendant, to the uh, plaintiff in this case? I turned over all of my devices, and they had a um, the. Johnny's team had a third party or someone they selected as a third party go and pull all relevant documents from those devices, which I handed over. Do you know how many were handed over? I, I, hundreds of thousands, I believe. Maybe, maybe. Objection, Your Honor. Lack of foundation. Okay. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Oh my God, and dude. Do you, what if anything did you produce to the plaintiff in connection with your consultation with an ENT specialist relating to your nose. Objection, leading, sustained. What, I foundation, what hearsay. 
what if anything that is not the cure all <laughs> she's stacking when did you see an ENT specialist 2017 or 2016 or 17 and as a result of that consultation, what did you learn about your nose? Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'm not asking her to tell what they said. No, I'll sustain the objection. <laughs> it feels like when you do a little rogue in a while. What, if dude? any, production did you make to the plaintiffs of your medical records with the ENT. Objection, Your Honor, lack of foundation. If you, only, if you only have foundation. Do you know whether the records, medical records uh, from your EMT were produced in discovery? Objection, in Your Honor, lack of foundation calls for speculation. I'm just I'm I'm asking. overruled if she knows. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Oh, she knows it. And do you rec do you recall? I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, I'm trying. What, it's not about the rules. If anything? Did the medical records reflect about your nose? Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. She's trying so hard. Do you have injuries to your nose? Yes. Please describe those to the jury. I have um, I'm gonna a bunch of scar to the, tissue. I'm going to object to the extent it calls for hearsay and lack of foundation. Oh, She's overruled. An improper expert opinion. Well, we'll I, she can certainly testify. That's, we'll, we'll see where it goes. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I have um, a significant amount of scar tissue in my nose. Objection, Your Honor. I'll sustain the objection. What if any difficulty do you have breathing? Objection leading. That's why you go to what a doctor. Anything, and that does cure. No, it doesn't. But oh, I'll, I'll, I'll overrule the objection. Thank you. Do you remember the question? I have um, a significant amount of trouble breathing at night, and I have been putting off having surgery for it. Okay. Which can happen if you do cocaine. Oh, sorry. Now, you were asked about December 15, 2015, and Ms. Vasquez suggested that you did not report the abuse or the injuries to Aaron Falati. Do you recall Objection, that question? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. Yes. I'm entitled sustain. to go into what Ms. Vasquez asked. The objection is leading. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Um, hey! Did you report? What, if anything, did you report to Aaron Filotti about the abuse you sustained on 12-15-2015? Objection leading and hearsay. Now, now, now we're synced up. Guys, it's almost like if you want to present what happened to your nose and what are the consequences your nose suffered, it's almost like you have to go get treated to a doctor. And it's almost like... If you don't go to a doctor, therefore can't produce a medical record, it's because your nose wasn't injured in the first place. It's almost like the nose wasn't injured. Holy fuck, how hard can that be to just... Hey, dude, how hard? This is a, a, a logical conclusion. Christ, man. Otherwise, this makes no sense. You can't talk about this. It's like if I said, yeah, guys, I have dislocated arm with two missing ligaments, damage to my bicep, and irreparable damage to my inner bone. Oh, how do you know? Well, I mean, my arm hurts after I got punched by uh, somebody in the street. It just, it just kind of hurts. I can feel it. Who the fuck are you to say that? Who do, what the fuck do you know? Yeah, I get it. Your symptom is pain here. Okay, yeah, maybe you could say that. But... It's, 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 it's why you get a, a medical professional to make a report and produce the record, uh, produce the record into the discovery, and then you produce it as evidence. Because you can't do it, dude.
This is her? Leaving the hearsay <laughs> lack of foundation. Holy shit. Oh, Jesus. Is speculation true? What, what, what was the other one? What was the other one? Something in the expert opinion? Improper expert opinion. I'm gonna keep that in the back of my back pocket. I'm gonna keep that in my back pocket. Improper expert opinion. Relevancy. Unresponsive. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Calls for hearsay, foundation, compa compound, okay, what else? Leading. Calls for ma, true. Calls for ma is very, very known in the, in the, in the realm of, of law. Calls for ma. Oh, what's ma? Oh, I got you, dude. <laughs> my balls. <laughs> No? Asked and answered. True. What else we got? Yeah, I'm starting to get a good gist of this. Not uh, I'm pretty sure I could uh, I could defend myself in in law. In 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 a court. If I get caught doing dumb shit, I'm gonna just self represent. Relevance. Isn't it kind of the biggest diss though? If you if you if you if you uh, have to go to court for something, you're not a lawyer. You have no background in law. You show up on your own with no lawyer, and you smoke. That's gonna just get Chad. That's definitely just get Chad. That's hyper Chad. Scope, yes, yeah, scope. Oh wow, that badge though, holy so brilliant. Man, he's got some ice on that for sure. That piece has got some ice. You're gonna have to test that. Factory new. Actually an ice style badge, deadass. Maybe my co-counsel? Oh fuck no. Go council, dude. You go in there, dude. You go, dude. You brawl it solo. Are you allowed as a member of the bar to represent yourself in a, in a case or whatnot? Yes, cool. Sounds fun. GTRP lawyer. Nah, that'd be boring because the, the judges are dog shit. Why, why would you want to play a lawyer in RP if the lawyers are dog shit? Did you tell Nurse Falati on 12-16-2015 about the injuries you sustained from the 12-15-2015 attack? I did. I believe I sent her pictures too. Okay. You want Pluto? Um, and did you text with Nurse Filati on 12-16-2015 about the injuries that you had suffered as a result of 
Mr. Depp's attack on you on 12-15? Yes, she guided me through a concussion check. And through the phone, through Zoom. And did you tell Connell Cowan about the injuries you sustained? Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. It's prior consistent statements, Your Honor. All right, I'm going to sustain the objection at this point. Next question. Do you recall Dr. Laurel Anderson testifying that she saw two black eyes Objection, on 1217? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. leading. Okay. What, if anything, do you recall from Laurel Anderson's testimony in this case about what she observed on 12-17-2015? Objection, Your Honor. This is outside the scope of cross-examination. It's prior consistent statement. I'm going to sustain the objection. It's observations I, I, I for the 12-17. I'll argue with the judge. Sustain the objection. She's arguing with the judge. May, may I approach? Okay. Oh. Ooh, dude, she's getting on her nerves. She is not happy. I mean, she's getting absolutely dismantled, but on top of that, she's getting mad at the fucking judge ruling. Like, she, she dude, well, th th this lady is, uh, dude. Literally no pixel lawyer, dead ass. Alibaba lawyer. When in December did you see Dr. Laurel Anderson? Objection, I... lack of foundation. Overrule. I saw her two days after the attack. So on what day did you see her then? Um, that would have been the 17th of December, 2016, and I told her what happened. Okay. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. And w when did you uh, see Dr. Connell Cowan? I saw him the next day, December 16th, is my best recollection. Let's jump to East Asia for a moment. Um, and we saw a number of pictures hey. from the backlist. Um, what, if any, motivation would you have to claim that Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back, knowing you had a backlist dress. Spamming you. Objection, Your Honor. I, I, leading. I think I can bring Calls for speculation. It's still, still leading. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Why would? Why did you say that Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back in East Asia? <laughs> In the closet of the hotel room in Tokyo. <laughs> He's like, um, let her, let her I get I said that. that because it happened to me. And it would have been much more convenient if I was picking it up <laughs> to not include that detail, knowing I had a backless dress and I walked a press line and got photographed. She said, this is dog shit, just let her have it. <laughs> now, we've heard testimony about Mr. Depp uh, making a total of 65 million in 2015 and 2016 from his experts. Objection, Your Honor. Why leading? You, I haven't asked the hearsay. Question. Scope. I mean, why did you not ask for 32.5 million from Mr. Depp? Your Honor, leading. I said, why did you not ask? Irrelevant. I'll sustain the objection. Sustain objection to leading. Next question. Why? Why can I just ask? Why did you not ask for 32.5 million from Mr. Depp? Because I don't want Austin it. Austin answered, relevance. Oh, overrule, good. Because I didn't want it. I realized that that's what I was entitled to. It is, Austin answered. It, it is. Doesn't it is, though. Oh, unless it's by segments. The tape recording that was played that has you laughing quite a bit. Can you tell the jury what the context of that particular tape recording was? I don't really recall a whole lot about what was going on. I know we had been fighting kind of ad nauseum and in this 
sort of loop, if you will, and I'm doing my best to um, not show my pain. That's what I was trying to do, was trying to be tough, not show what kind of pain I was in. Okay. Now, yeah. Ms. Vasquez asked you about how you got your role in Aquaman. Could you please describe to the jury how you got your role yes. in Aquaman? I auditioned, not Johnny, I auditioned. I worked really hard and I went to where we were filming the, the first movie, Justice League. I went, I think, five or five and a half months early before filming commenced when I heard that they wanted to fire me, and so I put myself in the job. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Sustain. Keep it away. I worked what, really what hard. <laughs> I worked really hard on that and had to prove myself. Chapel Road. And I did that for, even though I was only filming for six days, I was there for six months. Just worked my butt off. That's what why. Any, what if any role did How? Mr. Depp play in your getting what? Aquaman? He tried to have me fired from it. Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. All right, I'll sustain his speculation. How do you know that he tried to have you fired? Objection, from? Your Honor. Calls for speculation and hearsay and lack of foundation. Founda I'm trying to lay a foundation. All right, lay a foundation. I saw it. I saw the emails. I saw the text. I'll sustain the objection as to hearsay. Next question. You were asked about Isaac Baruch and why he and and that he saw no marks. What is your recollection of your interaction Please with don't. Isaac Baruch during the week of May 22nd? I saw Isaac when I was coming or going, meaning I was leaving or arriving to the building. I saw him at a distance. We did not have a, a in-depth conversation, nor would we. Um, and I told him, actually, right after it happened, what his friend Objection, had done. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I, I don't think it's offered to prove the truth of the matter you've asserted. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Stay away from what was said. Can you just tell us what, what interaction you had with him and, and his opportunity to observe you with absolutely no makeup? Objection, That's Your impossible. Honor. Leading. I'll sustain the objection. It's leading. Please describe <laughs> for the jury your interaction with Isaac Baruch during the week of May 22nd. Well, not only did I have makeup on, but I, I did attempt to kind of let him know what happened. Objection, what? Your Honor. Hearsay. And also, what the fuck was that answer? Sustain objection. Next question. You were asked some questions about Officer Melissa Science's testimony. What, if anything, do you recall relating to Officer Melissa Science's testimony relating to your injuries? Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Your Honor said I could redirect after the cross examination when she. Holy! I think she's gonna cry. If you're not happy with the objections, ask better questions. How hard can it be? If you have eight objections that are all sustained, okay, back there on the one question, I think maybe just try to get another angle, another topic or something. I don't know. What's up? Just some scaffy. Oh, no, see. Yeah. Isn't it? Giga Chad. Why the fuck do I even click these links, man? Why these days do I do I even click these links? I, I don't even know what the fuck, dude. Sorry, I, I, oh. What, if anything, do you recall of Officer Sainz's testimony in this case relating to your injuries and the property destruction? Well, you're kidding, right? I recall her saying that she didn't feel that You're kidding, right? Okay. And what about the property damage? She claims she did not see any property damage, but I walked with her over broken glass. So I'm, 
I don't know why she's saying that. Okay. I'll let it fix. Relax. YouTube sucks. What, if any, interactions did you have with Alejandro Romero during the week of May 22? I spoke to him briefly. Objection, Your Honor, to the extent it calls for hearsay. Uh, overruled at this point. I spoke to him. I, I just I spoke to him briefly in passing as I was entering and maybe when, when I was exiting the building. But always when I was on my way out or in from being outside, meaning makeup. I had makeup on always, as I do. Why did James? Why did James Franco visit you on the evening of five twenty two two thousand sixteen? For some juice. Mm. Objection. Calls for speculation. Do you know? Yes. Please tell us. Because he was my friend, and he lived next door, quite literally next door. And I had, frankly, exhausted my support network with my usual friends, and was happy to welcome as much friendship at that time as I could possibly exhausted? get. Exhausted. Now, the video showed uh, him laying his head on your shoulder. Can you describe for the jury what the interaction was, without saying what was said, what the interaction was that led to that? He, uh, after seeing my face, put his Objection, head Honor, on my calls shoulder. calls for speculation. That doesn't call for speculation. If she sees that he, he no, sees her. He, he touched no. the side of my I'll face, too. the objection. And, okay. Okay. Again, I, again, you know, again. You can instruct the witness. If to you could wait till after the objection, please. All right. Next what did, did, what did Mr. Franco do uh, on the elevator before laying his head on your shoulder? He kind of touched the side of my face and responded to what he saw. Cool. We talked about the, uh, you were shown a bunch of uh, newspaper headlines and there was one in particular referring to sexual violence. Uh, what, if anything, did Mr. Waldman do to you relating to that article? Objection, Your Honor. Lack of foundation calls for speculation. What did he do to her? Unintelligible? I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was carrying the paper that had that headline on it that he leaked and threw it at me at the UK trial. We were unfortunately sat kind of actually literally next to one another with COVID spacing in between us. And he threw the paper down at me as he sat down with that on the cover. And where was that? in the UK at the UK trial. Objection, Your Honor. This is beyond the scope. That's not beyond the no, scope. Overruled. Thank you. Why did you tweet about the makeup and Mr. Waldman? Because he was calling me a liar and a hoaxer and that this was an elaborate hoax just to get Johnny. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Next question. Yeah. Okay. Um, Oh, I don't have any more questions, Your Honor. All right, thank you. All right, ma'am, you can have a seat next to your attorney, okay? You can you can go have a seat next to her. That's fine. She just give up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take our afternoon recess then for fifteen minutes. Do not discuss the case with anybody, and don't do any outside research, okay? Wait, Addie, what's going on afterwards? Let me ask Addie. <laughs> Kitchen in the dungeon. All right. Is is your next witness a live witness, remote no, witness, or deposition? It would be by deposition? Deposition. All right. So we'll get the TV set up for that, and let's just come back well, at three thirty. Okay. Thank All right. Thank you. Chat. What's going on after? I'm asking Eddie. Have you had any communications with Ms. Heard at all, including text or emails or otherwise, in connection with your preparation for this deposition? No. I Have you had any, when's the last time you spoke to her? April of last year, April or May, almost a year ago. Uh, Mr. Wright, when did you first uh, meet Ms. Heard? I met Amber in the end of 2011. And where did you meet her? In Los Angeles. 
And what were the circumstances of the meeting? A friend yes. was introducing us yes. to each other um, so fuck? that I could photograph her for a large portrait series that I was doing at the time. And what was your profession in 2011? I was a photographer and I worked for the New York Times, I think. I don't recall exactly everything, but... In 2011, you were both a photographer and separately worked for the New York Times. Is he real? I worked for the New York Times as a journalist and photographer. And what was, what is your profession today? I'm a writer and a producer. And between 2011 and through the present, have you had any other professions other than photographer, writer, or producer? Yes. And what are those? I've hosted a television show or two. I made some podcasts. I... wrote two other books, uh, two books, three books, three books. I've written three books. Um, a number of things. I don't know. There are more things, but I, yeah, I've always sure. been a multi-hyphenate person. To the best of my recollection, uh, we initially met at a mutual friend's house which I think I already stated. Um, that friend is also an actor and had met Amber at the Children's Hospital while they were both volunteering and knew that Amber had done quite a bit of LGBT activism and uh, mentioned my project to her and then invited her over to, our, uh, the other friend invited Amber to her house so that we could all meet and um, Amber and I discovered that we liked the nose? same books and we liked psychology and, and just, you know, laughed and had fun that night. And then I asked her if she would participate in the photo project, I think, or somebody did. And she said yes. Um, a couple of days later, I went to the house that she was staying at and I photographed her for the project and then thereafter I went back to New York where I lived and I remember her texting me and saying that she was shooting a movie in New York and did I want to get lunch um, so we got lunch and we became friends okay please walk me through that we met in 2011 we started becoming friends soon thereafter um in 20, very early in 2013, um, I came to LA to spend a couple of months with my then, I don't know if she was my girlfriend or my fiance at that point, but the person that I was in a relationship with, um, in a very serious relationship with. And um, during the time that I was in LA, I spent more time with Amber. We both spent more time with Amber. Um, and I was introduced to Johnny, and uh, the summer of 2013, I ended up moving to LA, during which Amber and Johnny and I got even closer, very, very close, and then um, we remained close, the three of us, for two-ish years, and then all of this happened, this nightmare, and, uh, and Johnny and I stopped being friends, and Amber and I oh, he has stayed a, friends. A bull ringing. Um, and then Amber and I were friends up until the date that I told you that we last spoke. Okay. And at some point in time, uh, did you live on the same property as Johnny Depp and Amber Heard? Yes. And when was that? <laughs> It was August 2013 until, um, I believe, June 1st of 2014, I moved into my own house, so nine months. 
and um, why is it that you uh, left that property, left living there? Because I didn't want to live for free in someone's property and I wanted to have my own house and support myself. And for how long after that did you uh, stay close with both Johnny and Amber? I stayed close with both of them. Um, I don't remember. It, it was a... Hmm. I, sometime in 2015, I think, late 2015 maybe, um, Johnny and I were no longer... I think the period when I really stopped considering Johnny a friend of mine was December of 2015. Okay, well, let me ask it this way. Um, you never saw Mr. Depp assault or beat Ms. Heard on any occasion, correct? That's correct. I, I just would like to clarify, Mr. Preciado, that's a question you already asked me, so you're asking me the same question again about whether or not I witnessed Mr. Depp assault Ms. Heard? That's right. No, I have not witnessed that. Let me ask it this way then. Have you ever personally seen Mr. Depp assault or beat Ms. Heard on any occasion? No. Now, back to this same paragraph where it says, huh? my experience of Johnny during the time that, he, that we were close from 2013 through 2015 uh, was that he could be incredibly kind. Yes, I, think, I think he's loyal. glitching. Um, can you give me examples of his kindness, generosity, and loyalty during that per period of time? Johnny, when sober, was lovely and magical and very funny. Um, Johnny, when sober, was incredibly lucid and um, imaginative and I felt a kindred connection with him and a, a shared perspective on the world that I've shared with very few people in my life. Um, so I've got something. Johnny, something for a picture, I can't find it. when sober, understood how much influence he had over people, and he was very um, kind to them about it and generous with talking to them about whatever came up and he was also when sober very um you know he made time for people's nervousness around him which i witnessed on a number of occasions he also um he had his his number of houses on that street and there was a constant rotation of different people coming to town who could all afford to live somewhere else or stay somewhere else who um, he would let and enjoyed having in those houses, which I find to be um, generous. In the next paragraph, paragraph six, you refer to uh, Mr. Depp's uh, struggles with respect to Oxycontin, you say that in late 2013, after a dental surgery, he became hooked on Oxycontin. Did you ever experience him while he was on Oxycontin? Yes. And while he was on Oxycontin, did you ever experience uh, him to be mean or vicious? I can't answer that with any accuracy because I don't know whether or not the times that I did see him be mean or vicious, he was also on Oxycontin. In paragraph five, where you say that um, he could he could be incredibly mean and vicious, especially when he was drunk or high. When you refer to drunk or high, what substances are you referring to? The substances that I saw him ingest with my own eyes were cocaine and hard liquor. Um, ingest? Marijuana. Uh, ecstasy. Mushrooms. That works. Is that how you say it? Uh, 
To take food, drink, or substance in it by swallowing or absorbing. And we're back to glitching. The substances what? that I saw him ingest with my own eyes. Yeah, it's lagging. Let me fix the um... and hard liquor, um, marijuana, uh, ecstasy, mushrooms. Drink uh, alcohol, he would become paranoid. Um, it's just buggy. It's buggy. Yeah, I, I think that I answered your question. You mentioned that uh, you witnessed him having had cocaine. Did you ever have cocaine with him? No. Were there any drugs or or substances that you uh, took with him? I don't smoke marijuana. I don't do cocaine. For the entire period that I knew Johnny and there after, I did not drink alcohol. There was a, I think, one week period um, during the peak of my breakup, during which Johnny offered me um, some pain pills to get through the intensity of that situation. Um, and that was the only time that I took any substances for three and a half years. No, that's not true. That was the only time that I took any um, substances with Johnny and uh, yeah yeah all, all the other things that I had stated previously about what I do and don't do are also accurate so I'm sorry just to, to this AI yeah, sucks it, is your testimony that um, when you witnessed Mr. Depp drunk and high you were not also either drunk or high is that your testimony? My testimony is that during the entire period that I knew Mr. Depp, I was never drunk or drinking or consuming alcohol at all. My testimony is that for a one, maybe two week, possibly two and a half week, I don't remember, period, um, on a sporadic occasion, I took some pain pills that Mr. Depp offered me for to get through an extreme emotional pain situation. Um, when I witnessed Johnny doing cocaine, I was not drunk or high. Other occasions that I witnessed Johnny drinking, I was not drunk or high. Um, there was a very narrow window during which I was taking oh, some uh, mind-altering pain pills for a very brief period during which I witnessed Johnny Drunk and high. Did you ever witness Miss Amber Heard drunk or high? Yes. And did you ever witness her drink alcohol? Yes. Objection. Did you ever witness her um, ingesting cocaine? Are you are you asking like ever in the history of time have I ever witnessed Amber ingest cocaine? That's the first question. Yes. The answer is right. no. Amber was vehemently against cocaine. Did you ever uh, witness her uh, smoke marijuana? No. Marijuana is not her drug. What is her drug? I haven't spoken to Amber in a year, but as far as I know and have known her for the last 11 or 12 years, Amber doesn't have a narcotic of choice. Have you seen her ingest ecstasy? Yes, I believe so. Yes. How many times have you seen her ingest ecstasy? I can think of one instance in particular when she took it um, for her birthday, like a celebration. Uh, wasn't Do you recall what year that was? I'm an event. Other than the uh, narcotics and alcohol uh, that I mentioned, did you ever witness Ms. Heard uh, ingest any other uh, drugs? Are you asking me if other than what did you ask me about cocaine ecstasy and mushrooms i've witnessed amber taking any other illegal narcotics or are you asking me about prescription medications can you clarify uh, narcotics other than prescription narcotics i don't know but i don't actually think so, no. okay. 
Amber drinks red wine um, when she's not training, or let me rephrase that. Amber, when I knew her, drank red wine in the evenings uh, fairly regularly, with the exception of when she was training for an acting role. Okay. Uh, have Have you ever witnessed uh, Mr. Mi I'm sorry, misheard um, intoxication? I think he's out of battery. Just give him a minute. Yes. And how often would you estimate that you witnessed misheard uh, intoxicated? I, I don't know how to quantify intoxicated. If you're asking me how often I witnessed her drunk, is that your question? Yes. Yeah. Amber is um, strangely immune to getting drunk unless she's really drunk a lot so I didn't what? see her drunk very often I saw her um, drinking often but I didn't see her um, out of her faculties very often like you know I saw that a handful of times in the 11 years that I knew her and how would you describe medical her, conclusion how he, she's immune affects Ms. Hurd's personality based on your experience you know it depends on the circumstance how does he know i don't know if she's in or not it was during a moment when she was celebrating it would make her loose like if we were salsa dancing then you know she would have fun and be fun and, and at a party and you know inebriated and dancing and having fun if she was in a stressful situation, um, I think it would just kind of exacerbate whatever the, the feeling of the moment was. I'm going to uh, ask you to state your name for the record. Nobody has yet. This is me. <laughs> in case you haven't recognized your voice. All right, go ahead. My name is Io Let's bring up uh, Depp Exhibit Number One again, please. Wait, what's happening? Mr. Tillett Wright, you were asked some questions by Mr. Presidio, and I'm going to take you back up to the first page where you were asked some questions. Um, and he he started out with, I, I'm just going to draw draw your attention to paragraph four. And you indicated you met Johnny Depp through Amber. Uh, and you hit it off immediately. Do you see that? Yes, I do. Okay. And then you explained to Mr. Presidio that you considered Johnny to be a close friend and you cared very much about Mr. Depp. Is that correct? He became a close friend and I did care very much about him. I still care very much about him. All right. Could you please describe that? relationship that you had with Mr. Depp up until I think you said uh, you'll December tell it right. of 2015? Sure. Um, okay, Mr. Depp and I first met, Amber invited me over to his house with my then partner, girlfriend, I don't know if she was my fiance yet or not, um, in I think February of 2013 right at the beginning of 2013. Um, <clears throat> and we all hung out, the four of us hung out in his house, um, in his living room, and just kind of talked and got to know each other. And it was sweet. I was mostly hanging out with Amber and kind of meeting this person. It was a trip to meet someone like that, you know, and see his house. And he was very friendly and very welcoming and very kind. Um, and then the next time we saw each other was at, um, Amber and I both like to do what we call family dinners. So we invite people over and cook for them and, and have a dinner party. And um, Amber did an elaborate family dinner at her house and Johnny and I and my ex and Amber, and I believe Whitney were there. I don't know if anyone else was there. I'm sure somebody, other people were there. I don't remember. Um, and Johnny and I really connected at that dinner. We were sitting either opposite each other or just catty corner from each other. And um, 
I left feeling a very intense connection to him, and I was like, well, yeah, sure, everybody probably feels an intense connection to him because of who he is. I forget it. It's ridiculous. And then a couple of days later, um, Amber had another dinner, some such, such a dinner at her house, and uh, Johnny and I had another really good time and, and felt very connected and really good laughed one, a lot and whatever. And um, at the end of the dinner, as I was standing to leave with my ex, I don't know what chat is about this. Chat, I'm gonna refresh this so I can watch this one. Um, I I don't really know how to say this because it doesn't happen to me very often, but I think I love you. <laughs> and what? I felt strange because I felt the same way. And I said, that's funny because I had that same experience after the last dinner party too. Wait, so what? And then we joked about how crazy and ridiculous that felt. Um, and we exchanged phone numbers and then he... He texted me wanting to talk about Amber a couple of times, and I felt that it was like kind of violating her privacy. So I said that I was happy to be friendly with him and happy to, um, I don't remember exactly what I said, but something to the effect of like, huh? you know, I, I'm happy to be, to give advice or to, to help you guys stay in concert with each other, but I don't want to um, violate anybody's privacy with the other one and he I think he really respected that and really liked that because he also values his privacy greatly um, and then yeah I was in LA for a couple more months and I don't know I think maybe we hung out more during that period I'm not sure um, he really I don't respected remember like that because he also values his privacy. Sorry, guys, really. this is better, this is better, it's better. We have to then, title, yeah, sorry. For a couple more months. Sorry, sorry. Know, maybe we hung out more during that period, I'm not sure. Um, I don't remember if they came to New York during the next stretch of time or what happened, but um, basically by the summer, I came back to LA to write um, and had a very bad yeah, it's because break up it's with better. that fiance and was going through some things personally that Johnny, um, you know, he was like, I recognize what's happening for you. Uh, it was like, particularly bad anxiety related trauma related things um and he I, I didn't expect him to offer me any support around that stuff but he just was like wait i see what you're going through um you know this is my experience of it i have the same thing and let's talk about it and like if you need anything i'm here and i was like thank you so much you know i didn't really expect that um and I went Today back to New York for to be with my family for a couple of days or maybe a week or something. And um, it was very painful to be there. And he had said, if it's painful to be there, you know, just let me know and come back and stay here. And so I did. And I came back and, and I originally was going to stay at Amber's house because um, she kept her apartment for a number of years while they were together, even though she stayed at his house a lot. Um, I knew, I knew, I knew it would do it, I knew it. That she paid for, etc. And I, she was, you know, the person that I had known longer, so I felt more comfortable being at her house. And then, um, the consensus was that I should be closer to them. And so they said, oh, there's this house that's just sitting empty at the end of the street, just stay there. And I was very hesitant because I didn't want to take advantage of him. Um, and he was insistent and he was very kind about it. and. And he said that he understood fully what having PTSD and anxiety could do and that he wanted to help. Um, so I, I went and I stayed there. And then that was, I'm guessing, in August of 2013. And then in September, I think, Amber went to England to shoot a movie. Um, so I was there and Johnny and I would hang out on our own. And Johnny doesn't have a ton of friends. Um, because he can't, and um, oh. I would go up and hang out with him, you know? We really enjoyed each other, we really liked each other, and so we would just hang out, you know, on a daily basis, eat dinner. Or you fucking sucker. Unbelievable, YouTube, man. YouTube, fix your shit, like, man. Uh, fix your uh, shit, YouTube, what the- Did you ever call Mr. Deb brother, or your brother refer to him as your brother? Yes, I did. Now, 
I'm going to take you to paragraph five of Deb exhibit number one. And uh, Mr. Presidio asked you about this paragraph as well. And at the end of it, you had said, and he could be incredibly mean and vicious, especially when he was drunk or high. What did you mean by that? What I meant by that was on a number of occasions, um, I saw, you know, Amber or he, I think also would ask me to come and help. He and I had more of a like, mano a mano kind of relationship and what does that mean? she and I had a I, I was kind of like the only person that would check either of them um, for a while man and so man. they would both ask me to do that with each other um, so I saw him huh? for example I remember there was a time when um it was very late at night. I was down the hill, so I went up the hill and he was outside by the pool with a glass of what I understood to be whiskey and she was inside crying um, and very upset in the kitchen, I think. And then I went outside and talked to him for a long time. Um, situations like that or um, How is that vicious? And he would say things. He said something to me that night that I, I thought that night by the pool where I thought, Jesus Christ, you know, um, things like she's gonna, you know, all she's got is her looks and, you know, she has no talent. And when her tits start to sag, um, and her face gets wrinkly, nobody is gonna be interested in her um, for anything. And she's, so she, you know, better like to figure out another way to survive and shit like that. Sorry, pardon me, things like that. And um, I also witnessed him um, when Amber was in England Marilyn Manson and Paul Bettany came over at one point, and there was so vicious a for studying facts. Like cocaine and alcohol involved that I witnessed them doing together. Um, I don't specifically recall if Mr. Bettany did or did not partake in the cocaine, um, or really much of anything except things that he said and his personality. But, I don't agree um, that this could Mr. be uh, as sexist, Mr. Depp. The reality is a lot of cocaine. What, if anything, did Mr. I'll say later. Depp tell you about his struggles with drugs and alcohol? It's not and, like that. Um, we sat on the couch and he told me a number of things. He told me about it's his childhood. Like that. He told me about growing up in Kentucky. He told me about growing up in, very poor and how his mom was verbally and physically abusive. He told me that when he was very, very young, like 13 or something, he started drinking and taking drugs, I think, or at least drinking quite heavily. And he was even kind of like, yeah, it's crazy, I know, but I've been doing it my whole life and built like a tank. And so that was kind of the nature of the conversation. Um, and he told me that he had struggled with ever not drinking or ever not doing drugs. And he also told me that he didn't particularly enjoy being sober. Um, but that, you know, people around him were very concerned. He was very, very um, concerned with his children and he would express shame or regret about times that he had been inebriated to the point of falling down or embarrassing himself, you know, urinating on himself, things like that, when his children were around and that he was very grateful to the people who had kind of shielded them and whisked them away and he told me that um in his oh. relationships with previous women uh his drug and alcohol use had been an issue um but that he just didn't really like life sober and that it was too painful to be alive without um imbibing or 
I wonder where this is going. Why did they bring his as a witness? Um, He's got like nothing. He also told me that he uh, had He's experienced great bouts of jealousy in relationships that had that had also led to a lot of drinking and a lot of um, rage activities. Um, he told me that that happened with Winona. He told me that that happened with um, character witness. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Kate. And sorry, Winona Ryder and Kate Moss. He told me that that had happened with Vanessa Parody. Mr. Tillett Wright, um, what, if any, observations did you make about <laughs> Mr. Depp abusing Oxycontin? Over the course of those two years, Mr. Depp told me verbatim that he was addicted to Oxycontin. Um, and I have a text message from him where he expresses that um, it's extraordinarily hard to kick and that it, um, I don't remember exactly the words that he uses, but he, he, he My man needs some fucking oxy content to, to do it. Holy shit, many man. Many times as like the hardest thing that he's ever tried to kick which he's tried to kick most things. Oh, he said it was harder than heroin. Um, is, come on. I, so he, I did not steal a joke. Uh, that was mine. Open and verbose about OxyContin. I haven't gotten addicted to OxyContin. So what, if any, observations did you make uh, about Mr. Deb smoking cigarettes and joints? Marijuana. <laughs> Mr. Depp as far as I could see, always had a cigarette or joint in his mouth at all times, to the point where I was confused about how he could function. He also showed me his marijuana closet that had, I don't know, tens and tens of pounds of weed in it. Jesus. Oh, what if any observations closet? did you make while you were staying at Sweetser? I think you said that was August 2013 through May of 2014 with respect to uh, the type of alcohol and the amount of alcohol that Mr. Depp was consuming. When I saw Mr. Depp drink, um, it was often hard liquor. I believe it was whiskey and gin and tequila maybe um could also be vodka i don't know he had a full bar in his in 80 the house that they with his recording studio in it that they mostly stayed in so um i know whiskey for sure and there was also red wine a lot of red wine and when you talk about the whiskey and the red wine how much did you observe mr depp consume on any given occasion of those? Uh, I don't know. The one occasion I know specifically was the one that I mentioned before during the argument where he suddenly had a glass of whiskey. And I remember it being like, I remember clock because I grew up counting people's drinks. I remember clocking that it was a very large pour in the glass of whiskey. If you recall those, I, I think my question was, you know, what if any observations did you make or did Mr. Yes, Depp ever tell you? Whose witness is this? Who called like him? Mr. Depp was very open with everyone that he was a heavy user. And, um... <clears throat> Amber witness. He told me about, I know there was one instance where he had this very large house property. So if Sweetser Avenue goes like this, um, the house that I was staying at, 76 is down here, then there's 78, which is right here, and then up here is 80, and then across the street, I guess, is 82. And 82 is a very large compound. So he and I were staying, I was at 76 or up at 80, and then 82 they lived in for a brief period of time. Um, and he told me about four houses like and a compound into 82 into the like the property into the like because it was very lush and very a lot of trees. Um, 
and went up quite far up the hill and he told me about kind of like blacking out and going in there on one instance um that's it he told me i know that he told me that in australia um, he had blacked out um but he also told me that he fucked up so i don't know in terms of specific blackouts There were a number, there, uh, I think he said on the plane, he said that he didn't remember what had happened. What, if anything, did Mr. Depp say to you about whether he wanted to become sober and clean? What, if anything? Mr. Depp um, expressed to me that he wanted to get sober for Amber, that he didn't enjoy being sober. Um, that it wasn't fun and that it, it was distressing and exhausting. Um, so he's just not wrong? And very hard to do. He didn't, he really, really um, resented having to be sober. Um, yeah, he didn't, he didn't want to be. And, and what, if anything, did Mr. Depp say to you about his perception of Amber's role in him becoming sober and clean. He expressed a number of times that he felt like she was his leash and she was holding him back from doing what he wanted to do in terms of substances and alcohol. Um, oh, I just want to go back to another incident that I remember he told me he blacked out, was on, on the island, he went to the Bahamas. There were two different instances. One was, um, I guess, like they had only recently met and he told me that he passed out face down in the sand while his kids were there and that um, the staff had like whisked his kids away so that they didn't see it. Mr. Tiller, right, when you said that Mr. Depp uh, used the term monster, what do you recall him saying about that? And the language that ended up being kind of settled on was that there was so how long is this? a side of him that was the monster and that it was not who he was, but it was something that lived within him that he had to battle. And the language that he always used was that of um, battle and battling, battling the demon, battling the monster. Um, so that the monster, you know, he would say things ask. like, the monster will not win. Um, I will not be that type of man, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be that type of man or husband. I don't want to hurt. I'm not uh, Abby. He would call her slim, he, I, our slim, our girl, referring to all of her friends and him and her and I, yeah. What, if any, observations did you make of Mr. Depp, both in terms of physical as well as temperament, when you perceived him as having too much to drink? Mr. Depp would drink and or take drugs. He would get very mean, very surly, very... Uh, paranoid, extremely paranoid. He would weave these elaborate situations in which Amber was having affairs with every man that she ever worked with and every woman she ever came in contact with. Um, <clears throat> he became very demeaning. Loving. Johnny is incredibly intelligent, incredibly smart and witty, and he would point his jokes at people, um, Amber's appearance, her talent, um, her lack of talent as he perceived it, um, why he thought that she was actually famous, which he always implied was just because of her looks, um, and because he thought that everyone wanted to have sex with her, um, and he would insult his fans, Um, he called them, I remember he called them remoras, which is a type of, um, 
sucker fish that attaches itself to the hull of a ship and puts a hole in it and then sinks it. Um, he would rail against his mother and his sister, um, sisters, pretty much, you know, anyone that he felt had crossed him or could cross him, um, he became very nasty about. What, if anything, do you recall Mr. Depp saying about uh, his mother and comparing his mother to Amber? Mr. Depp told me that his mom was viciously cruel to him during his upbringing um, and that she was also viciously, like, violent um, with him and with his siblings and with his father. Um, he referred to her, pardon my language, as a bitch um, and a cunt a lot. Um, and he seemed to kind of compare them in the sense that he didn't he agree with that. Was he said at one point, um, Something to the effect, it's right here actually. Uh, yeah, I already have a mom who was a bitch to me. I don't need another one in my life. He, there was a fair bit of that kind of like, you know, my mom's been awful enough to me already. I don't need another woman who's gonna also be awful to me. What if any discussions did you have with Johnny about the fights he had with Amber? We had a lot of discussions about his fights with Amber. Um, <clears throat> what do you recall? In the very beginning, he expressed that she made him feel crazy, that he was so in love that it made him he feel crazy. He looks like scuffed Michael Moore. Um, the very first time that I mentioned, September of 23, 13 when he and I were alone together a lot he True. expressed that he thought that she was cheating on him and sleeping with her co-stars in England on the films and I said to him on the film and I said to him listen you know I know her I think pretty well and I talk to her a lot and I think I think if she was having an affair I would be one of the very few people that she would tell about it and I don't hold secrets or lies for anybody and I would I would tell you if that was happening so you could make your own decisions but um, as far as I know that's really not the case and I think that she's really in love with you and I think that she also is worried that you Why, are but having she did she though. because both of you are used to being sex symbols on earth and both of you need to just accept the fact that you're really in love with each other and lean in and be together and love each Did other. You know? um, and he told me that sometimes his jealousy would make him um, feel crazy and outside himself and that uh, he had to get it under control um, and that it would cause them to fight to be specific in regard to your question. Um, <clears throat> he told me about the fight that they had the time that I went up there are you asking for specific instances, or are you asking about the nature of their fights? No, I, yeah, I am asking for what he told you about their fights and specific instances, yes. So to continue with what I was saying from before, he told me about the fight um, in the middle of the night uh, when I was living down the hill at Sweetser, when I, I mentioned that I saw him with a heavy pour of whiskey I went outside to the pool and spoke to him um, and he told me about the argument that they had had and that she gets mean during fights um, and that it really hurts his feelings and that he then lashes out at her um, and that, you know, she called him old and he then calls her soon to be ugly um, and talentless and that they get really ugly with each other. Um, 
he told me. <sighs> so he gets vicious when had. drunk, um, and she gets we vicious when England sober. That September. Okay. Um, it was Whitney's birthday, I think. Amber's sister, Whitney, um, and Amber was stuck working. My birthday, Raquel's birthday, and Whitney's birthday, the three people who she was the closest to um, all have birthdays in September. Raquel's just before the end of August, whatever. We're all Virgos, and um, she couldn't be with any of us on our birthday, so we all went to England to surprise her. And during that trip, Johnny proposed to her um, and they then, I'm pretty sure that night after the proposal, got in a huge fight, um, which he all, they both told me about separately. Um, and he said, I'm pretty sure that he trashed the hotel room. Let's see. I spoke to him after, I went and talked to him after their, their fight on the plane. Um, so t t that's the that's the Boston LA plane incident. Is that right? That's correct. So, Mr. Kelly Wright, I'm going to ask you about the Boston LA flight uh, incident. You talked about it a little bit earlier, and you just said now that you spoke with Mr. Depp about it. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. What do you recall? of your discussion with Mr. Depp about the Boston plane incident that happened in May of 2014. And I went upstairs to his bedroom, which was like blacked out, um, and I, I woke him up. I remember shaking his shoulder and saying to him, hey buddy, like wake up, which was not something that a lot of people did to Johnny, wake him from his slumber. Um, and he woke up and we had a conversation about what happened on the plane. And he didn't really remember being on the plane. He didn't really remember getting off the plane. Um, he didn't really remember much detail of anything. And, I, and he swore up and down that he was gonna stop and he was gonna stop drinking and taking drugs and he was gonna never do it again. Wait. How's that incident? What, what if any uh, astrology meetings Andy? related to alcohol uh, did you and Amber attend in this time frame? I, I understand because we didn't go to many meetings. Um, we, we, I took Amber with me to um, Al-Anon, which is a, it's like a sister program for, for the family and friends and loved ones of addicts and alcoholics, which I regularly attended. So she came with me to a number of Al-Anon meetings and she also had, um, I think one or two phone calls with my dad's wife about how she dealt with helping him um, get off of his drugs and, and drink less. And um, Typical she goes. read a number of Lola, books yeah. about it. She was watching documentaries about it. She would listen to any radio show she could get on, like anything, anything she could get her hands on that would give her some tools for how to deal with this, she consumed in that period. What, if any, communications did did Johnny have with you in this time frame about wanting to get back with Amber after the Boston plane incident? Chat, it chat, because I'll be honest, chat, guys, guys, I'm very invested with the whole trial thing, but this is making me kind of snooze. I, I actually go chat a little bit on this one. Midtown. Um, I might just skip. <sighs> And Johnny started reaching out to me. He, he went eventually back to Boston to start filming again. Would have been in like the next day or two because we weren't there for that long. <clears throat> and um, he reached out to me and basically said to the, something to the effect of like- I'm not tired. I'm just, I'm just not- you the, know, guys, I have to fix this. I think with, with all the witnesses and everybody that, that were close to them, I think we have a good scope of their character. Uh, of their character. I didn't get it in ad much, and also he's kind of boring. Trying to reach Amber too, but she I'm not great at all. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm, I'm doing good today. I know that he had um, engaged Dr. Kipper, and that he intended, with every fiber in his being, to get sober, and that the nature of the conversation at that point was that he he was going to beat this thing. You know. Yes, please describe for me what transpired. What what you discussed with. 
Johnny and Amber relating to Australia in two I'll give five minutes, I'll see. After they were, because they were married in February and they went to Australia in the spring. Um, if, if, you know, can I, if, I'm gonna interrupt you just for a moment and forgive me, I just wanna keep it chronologically there. Um, you you described earlier they don't know how long you it takes. were present for the wedding, correct? In February of 2015? I'm not correct at yes. all. Okay. Uh, and you also had discussed uh, about Amber wanting Johnny to be sober for the wedding. What, if any, observations did you make about Johnny uh, at the ceremony and with respect to whether he was sober and clean? You know... I don't actually know whether Johnny was, I don't think Johnny was drinking on the day of their wedding. I really don't actually think he was. Let me rephrase that, before the ceremony on the day of their wedding. Because I was going back and forth between I'm probably their, not cranky, I'm just kind of bored, that's um, all. Okay, guys, I'm actually gonna skip respective, it. Like, okay, respective preparation okay, quarters where they guys, were getting guys, ready. Guys, I'm actually gonna skip it. Guys, it's it's boring as fuck. I'm sorry, chat. I know, chat, guys, it's a trial and there's a lot of information and the things that are very important, guys. Guys, I'm not, I'm, guys, I'm not even mad about it. I'm not even mad at it. I just feel like I'm just kinda bored. Sorry. I'm just bored about it. I told you guys I would watch this as much as I feel like it was content and I, I'm, I'm legitimately actually bored.